stage race hosted in the spectacular Graubünden region in the iconic Swiss Alps. The Spa Swiss Epic gives mountain bikers all over the world the chance to experience the Alps in the best way possible, by bike, and also the opportunity to conquer them. They'll be competing over five days, 350 kilometers, with 10,850 meters of climbing. And over those five days, it'll be a special week in August for the 600 riders competing this week. It always is, and the 2023 edition is particularly special. This is the 10th edition of Switzerland's premium mountain bike stage race. And at the start are some of the top athletes of the sport. We're going to be meeting Olympians, national champions, recent world championship medalists, and also, most importantly, the dedicated amateurs that come out and share the trails with the world's best and test themselves on the same course on the same day as the top professionals. That is truly special of this sport of mountain bike stage race, a rare thing in world sport. And uh, we'll also be visiting some spectacular towns, the towns of Lenzerheide, the host town today of stage one and stage two. We're gonna be visiting San Moritz and uh, finishing off the week in Davos in the magnificent Graubünden region. And soon we'll be going to meet the top riders, the amateurs and the top professionals. And they'll be introduced by Dario Linde and he's on the start line today in, uh, in Lenzerheide. And uh, he'll be calling the race and all of the exciting live action that is sure to unfold over these next five days and 350 kilometers of fierce competition. It's a demanding and very rewarding five-day stage race. There are some spectacular trails to be visited and some of the best in the world, the most iconic trails in the world. And that's the thing about the, the Spa Swiss Epic is that it's part of the Epic series, part of exploring the world, racing the world and finding iconic locations all around the world to, for mountain bikers to test their skills, absorb the culture and really experience the essence of mountain biking. And uh, the Spa Swiss Epic features a new route each year. It's a unique test of endurance resolve and skill, just like uh, any of the Epic Series races with the pinnacle of the Epic Series being the Absa Cape Epic. And each of the Epic Series races explores the iconic regions. And in Switzerland in particular, they'll be taking in the staggering view of the snow-capped jagged skyline set as the perfect antidote to the physical and mental demands of mountain bike stage racing. And uh, the two person teams will be competing, the top professionals, ambitious amateurs alike. They'll be exploring the seemingly endless magical trails in Switzerland, in the Graubünden region, staying overnight in rooms in Lenzerheide, St. Moritz and uh, Davos. They'll be having an unforgettable Alpine experience. And down on the line, we're right now watching the warm up routine of the Cannondale Vass team and they'll be having high ambitions. They have had a really great season so far. They had a stage win, a spectacular stage win at the Absa Cape Epic, the grand finale, a prestigious stage win. No doubt they have set their sights high this year. And as we said, we're gonna be going down to see Dario Linder, who is in touch with the athletes. He's on the start line in Lenzerheide today, and he'll be calling the race all week and bringing us the action from the, uh, from the line and from the Swiss Epic down in Graubünden. Yes, I can. So, good morning, everybody. This is a Swiss Epic in Lenzerheide in the world famous bike kingdom. So. Next to me, this is uh, Andreas Wieland. He's uh, my uh, my friend today, speaking uh, Red Romain. Is exact, that right? Exactly. Exact. Uh, yo, when you're done, Chinese information for a month in Cordial Bambini, as we say, pick two more events to try. It's for the June, I'll go El Grigion. 
Yeah. If you didn't understood anything, that's Rage Romaine. So in this part of Switzerland, about 90,000 people are talking this language. And uh, we're having a, a partnership with RTR, the company together, streaming it live out from uh, Graubünden in, into the world. And uh, yeah. It's fantastic. We just have a look outside. The weather looks good. It's not that warm at the moment. It's 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 really fresh. So we're having about uh, 14, 15 degrees at the moment. So it's warming up during the day, up to uh, 30 degrees. So I have to hello to uh, Stefan Sam. Stefan Sam is one of our live bike riders uh, on course. So Stefan, come on for a second if you have time. Okay, we don't have enough time. So, <laughs> Stefan Sam is one of our, of our bike riders on course. He's bringing the live footage on, on the e-bike. And, uh, yeah, he did that for uh, several years. He's a three-time winner of the Cape Epic. Done that a few years ago, of, uh, always live on, on his bull's bike. He's having an e-bike. He's having an e-bike, so not... <laughs> Not a not a, a beer bike, and uh, he's following uh, the leaders. Do you take the ladies or uh, the men? Stefan Sam is uh, following the men today. So live footage from him. Not only live footage, we can chat with each other during uh, the whole whole stage stage one. This is uh, in Lenzer Heide. It's a round course, yeah, very fantastic one, 51 kilometers long. 1,808 meters of climbing uh, and the same amount of meters uh, downhilling, yeah. And especially the downhill thing is something special up here in the bike kingdom. So a lot of man-made trails, a lot of berms, a lot of jumps, yeah, and a lot of flow. A lot of flow is waiting for all the riders. I look up to the Pitch Galottas at the moment from my place on and, uh, yeah, from down there, this is the last downhill back to um, to our village, and uh, this downhill is, is so amazing. Andreas, have you done these trails before as well? Once, yeah, three weeks ago in Ballezze Region, che ho la prima etapa, c'è un contin kilometer, due millimetri differenza d'altezza, che è il Mecca Science Diddle Mountain Bike in Svizzera, la region da lei. I va due sgassi e giù, da vos nus il Pizz Carlottes, con Ballezze Trails, a Val, e forse pure più pretenziosa etapa, con Swiss Epic, d'Antonio Cregliolina Buna, etapa per l'Angiaco, con Swiss Epic, due milli a venti e trei scodici, c'è un contin kilometer, con exact 2000 meters differenza di altezza di Eshon oh, in paradiso di Kuhn Bike che è Lenzer Heide yeah, it's definitely like that it's, it's a real bike paradise and not only Lenzer Heide is a bike paradise so we're moving over tomorrow into the Engadin to St. Moritz real famous place and uh, the trails there are, yeah, they're stunning so we're high alpine trails we're on high alpine attitude as well so that makes it even harder for all the riders which are not used to that highness and then um, on Wednesday, we're staying, no, Thursday is it, Thursday is it, we're staying in, uh, in the Engadin in San Moritz and then uh, we're moving over to the force, two days in the force till uh, Saturday and a lot of real nice trails are waiting for all, for all the riders and uh, the weather forecast for the whole week looks pretty good so there's a bit of a thunderstorm uh, announced for the, this afternoon, probably around three or four, we're not sure at the moment sometimes. Yeah, most of the time the weather stays really, really nice here in, uh, in Graubünden. So this is the sunny place of Switzerland. <laughs> Everybody's talking about the Chile. No, Graubünden is the sunniest place in Switzerland and even the best place for mountain biking. We are right on the start line at the moment, so pretty close to all the riders. And uh, yeah, everybody starts to get a bit nervous. It's busy down here. And uh, yeah. Close to me is uh, and, um, Thomas Frischkrecht at the moment, and he's competing as well. But before we have a chat with Frisch, we're being back to Neil. Well, we're hearing from Dario Linde down on the start line, and he's mentioned uh, Thomas Frischkrecht, the founder of the uh, Spa Swiss Epic back in 2014, a co founder and uh, one of three co founders. And it's great to see him down at the start riding his own home race and also his race. And uh, Dario, you mentioned the weather and it is one of those factors that does affect uh, the experience of the riders and also the difficulty of the day. 
and they have a big challenge ahead of them on stage one, a 51 kilometer day ahead of them. It's a, well, you could say in mountain biking terms, uh, a fairly short day, 51 kilometers, but with 2000 meters of climbing, it is no easy feat to accomplish. And uh, it all starts in Lenzerheide. They call it the bike kingdom and it marks the start of the 2023 Spa Super Pacific. Over 300 kilometers of dedicated mountain bike trails is, is this is characterized by these 300 kilometers of mountain bike trails. Some of the best trails in the work, two bike parks, and uh, the teams are guaranteed an action-packed opening first day with these highlighted trails. Stage one begins in Lenzerheide and heads immediately, but gradually upwards to the lower slopes of the Parpon Schwarzhorn. And along the trail, Arcelor where the burn in the legs is definitely going to be felt, but the incredible views of the valley below will be the antidote to that. And once the teams reach Arcelor, the climbing truly begins. They'll be heading up to the Panorama Trail, the Bike Park Flow Line, and Nino's Gold Trail. And yes, you guessed it, named after Nino Schurter, the 10-time world champion, having won the record number of World Cups. And in fact, he won on these trails when he won his world champs in 2018. The race finishing in Lenzerheide. It's a loop course today, and we're going back to the start. Well, we saw the uh, nervous faces of the top professionals lining up. And of the favorite teams, we have Daniel Gessmeyer and Wout Allemann. Gessmeyer is one of the most accomplished racers at the Spa Swiss Epic. He's won, it, he's won it before, he's been on the podium before, and he's partnered with Wout Allemann. It's a special team, this. It's a partnership between a Aust an Austrian rider and a Belgian rider. Belgian newly crowned national champion, also Daniel Gessmeyer, also newly crowned national champion. In fact, Wout Allemann is the European champion and they hold that favorite status, the number one, one board, number one, two board, and they'll be closely watched by Martin Stozek, freshly off a fantastic World Championships performance. He got the silver medal second in World Championships, and Mark Stutzman, part of the Canyon Northwave team, will have his work cut out for him. Hans Becking, another major feature at the Epic Series, the Epic Series races. He's racing with Peter Prusi's trusty partner, Jose Diaz, whom he won the Andorra Epic with, isn't with him. Today it's Peter Prus, the Estonian, also a national champion of Estonia. Hans Beckingham is a well-known campaigner at Epic Series races and will no doubt see some action from the Dutchman. In the women's category, there is no doubt as to who the favorites are. Bettini Yanis and Adele Marath, last year's winners, 2022 winners and 2019 winners, they know exactly what they have to do to take uh, that coveted leader's jersey, the Chievita leader's jerseys, the orange jerseys that you'll see characterized by the race. They won't wear them today. Today is a day when they will compete for it. And uh, they had a fantastic year, almost, un, you could say, un, um, unchallenged for that lead. But this year, for sure, they'll be challenged by Monica Calderon and Tessa Kortikas. Calderon had a successful Absa Cape Epic campaign, winning the grand finale. So she'll no doubt be buoyed by that enthusiasm and that uh, the taste of victory as she races with uh, Tessa Kortikas for Cannondale Vass Arabe women's team. And the winners of the Absa Cape Epic in 2023 Vera Lawza, Kim Lacourt, Elizeta, Efficient, Infinity Insure. This team are hardly the dark horses. They may have been the dark horses last year. They won the grand finale at the Swiss Epic in 2022. It was, one could say, the uh, awakening moment for them. It was their moment that uh, really catapulted them into, world, into the world limelight of mountain bike stage racing. And they'll be looking to double up on that victory that they had in the early part of the year in uh, March at the Absa Cape Epic. And in front of us, we have the Austrian national champion, the European champion, and the uh, challengers, the Canyon Northwave team, looking to, uh, to topple them off that favorite, uh, that favorite status. We've seen some fantastic performances from Wout Allemann, who we see in the European Championships jersey. He's won two stages of the Absa Cape Epic, and Gessmeyer, the Austrian, is very much at home 
at the Swiss Epic in the Alps. Uh, being an Austrian, he uh, he won the Swiss Epic with Rabensteiner in 2022 and in 2021. 2020 disappointing years for him. He didn't finish the race. Fourth in 2019 with Vincent Dorn and in 2017 he won with uh, Jochen Kess. Second, 2014, 2015, 2016. A fantastic record for the Austrian. He knows exactly what he has to do. Well practiced. This is, you could say, even though he's an Austrian and he's racing in Switzerland, it's almost his home race because he knows this territory very well. And Wout Allemann, a worthy partner of the Austrian. We've got a few minutes until the start and uh, it's all that nervous moment of the riders just before they head off at maximum speed to the first climb of the day, heading up to the Panorama Trail. It's uh, around about uh, 10 kilometers into the race. They'll start that climb up to the Panorama Trail and then they'll reach the first water point just before the 20 kilometer mark. And they'll be looking forward to that bike, pla bike park flow line as they descend into the second part of the race. But uh, no doubt they'll be uh, concerned not just about the trail ahead, but by their competitors. Allemann and uh, Gersmeyer have Martin Stozik and Mark Stutzman to worry about. They have also had a good, um, you could say Stozik's had a good record at the Spa Swiss Epic. He was third with Christian Heineck in 2020 and with two finishes in one stage win at the Absa Cape Epic. He was second in 2021 at the Absa Cape Epic. Silver medalist at the World Championships this year. Not long ago, just a week ago in fact, he was racing with the world's best and uh, stood on the podium. He is a national champion as well in the marathon discipline. So Stozek, normally racing with uh, his, um, his German partner, but uh, this year, he, at the Spa Swiss Epic, he will be competing with Mark Stutzman. Sievolt is uh, his default partner at the Absa Cape Epic. We've seen him race successfully at the Absa Cape Epic with Sievolt. Andreas Sievolt, the German former world champion. This year, he relinquishes that spot and uh, Stozek will be racing with, uh, with Stutzman. Stutzman is, uh, he was third with, um, third at the 2019 Spa Swiss Epic and fourth in 2015. So he is no stranger to the race and he has finished the Absa Cape Epic once, and he was seventh. So that qualifies him as an epic legend. He was second at the Swiss National Championships, and uh, he has won a few marathon series races, so a well-accomplished mountain bike stage racer is Mark Stutzman. We'll also see there the Bulls team. That's Simon Schneller, and in the National Championship jersey, Axel Rudil Cortinat. Schneller, the German, 26 years old, 1.93 meters and 74 kilograms. Some big levers to get over those climbs. And he was uh, raised in near the uh, Black Forest. And in terms of his spa specific history, 2020, and they're off. They're off to compete on this 51 kilometer, 2,000 meters of climbing stage from Lenzerheide to Lenzerheide. It's a loop course of uh, some pretty challenging mountain biking. And we're looking forward to As hearing from out on the course. Behind the bike, stay neutral. We're going to get ready to invite our A batch to the start line. So Dario is in direct contact and with the Bulls Media e bikes. The Very special and almost unprecedented. Uh, a bit of technology that we have here, we're able to really be able to be in touch with the uh, Bulls Media e-bike riders, Stefan Sam and Thomas Ditch, both accomplished riders in their own right. Stefan Sam, a three times winner of the Absa Cape Epic, and uh, it'll be treated to a rider's view thanks to these Bulls Media e-bikes. And from out in the course, Dario Linda is in direct contact with Thomas Ditch and Stefan Sam. Say a wonderful happy birthday to one of our mixed teams, Jose, riding with Ane. Happy birthday to you. Put up your hand, Ane. Feliz cumpleaños. Have a wonderful birthday today from Chile. And it's one minute to go for the A bunch. Are you ready, A bunch? Where the smiles? 
Here we go. We can see some nervous smiles. And we're behind the first starting it's batch of the day. They started at 9 o'clock this morning, local time uh, in the uh, race village of Lenzerheide. And uh, we will be uh, witnessing this. Oh, there's a bit of an upset. And they'll be just going, just going around any of the obstacles in the road. Of course, we are on the local roads of Lenzerheide. And the first batch has gone off. That'll be the top men contenders. And very and soon, in a few minutes, we'll be village. watching the Lenzo top women contenders start the race. Fifteen seconds to go before the start nine, of the next batch. Eight, and they start seven, in batches because six, of just the, five, four, the nature of the trails three, means that it gives two, the riders a chance one, to enjoy the trails. Uh, just to stop any, any possibility of congestion. There is a lot of science that goes into the uh, start batches and deciding, uh, for the organizers deciding who goes into each start batch, but uh, making sure that the mountain bikers have the ultimate mountain biking experience, enjoy those flow trails that characterizes the region of Lenzerheide, and in fact of the Graubünden region. Over 300 kilometers of bike park trails and flow trails that we'll see in the area. We'll only be exploring a few kilometers of them, relatively few, but we can be rest assured that the course designer has picked the very finest treating the riders to the real ultimate mountain biking experience. And uh, the route today crosses itself a few times and teams will begin to understand why Lenzerheide is known as the bike kingdom. And uh, we've talked already about the Nino's Gold Trail, the trail that made history when Nino Schota won the 2018 World Championships on it. And then, of course, we'll also be, uh, the second part of the race, we'll be looking forward to seeing the trail as it heads up to the high level trail and the top fops and heading down to the finale in Lenzerheide. Right now we're live with the e-bike and we can see there on the left hand side of the display riding at 12 kilometers an hour up this steep climb. We're with Stefan Sam and uh, we'll be speaking to Daria Lede who's in direct contact with Stefan Sam. He'll be hearing exactly, we'll be hearing exactly what it's like on the trail behind the world's top mountain bike riders. So the riders are now in the first uphill. And now we went back to the start line. So next group is uh, making themselves ready for a start. So I already heard there are a lot of ladies that are at the start of this year's edition of the Swiss Epic. This is the women's field. The women's elite field. And um, in the women's elite field and in the men's elite field, our two guys on the bike, Thomas and uh, Stefan are following the riders. So Thomas is in the back at the moment of this ladies. Now you heard the start shoot and uh, women's elite ladies are now on course followed by our live cam. So live broadcasting out of a rider's pers perspective through the whole day, through the whole race. So the first part of the stage, so the first few kilometers this is a flat on, on a gravel road, so and then we have a first real uh, short climb. Then it's going up and down, and then we have the longest uphill. Yeah, the second longest uphill of today. It's going up on the Bike Kingdom uh, site, where, uh, which is really famous for the, for the World Cup. So just a few uh, weeks ago, we had the mountain bike downhill World Cup there and the cross country World Cup with this, uh, yeah, famous win from uh, Nino Schurter as a world record holder in case of um, World Cup wins. So, they're really turning into this part of the course um, after, yeah, probably um, two hours, one and a half hour. 
and then there's a second climb coming up on the other side of the valley. So Lancet Heide is really in a, in, a, in a valley, it's an open valley. We have two sides, it's real high mountains. Lancet Heide is upon 1,500 meters and uh, people are climbing up today on to 2,100 meters. And on the other side, the Bitschgalottas, the highest point of today is on 2,321 meters. So to get uh, 1,880 meters uh, of climbing, the climbing is a lot on, uh, on gravel roads, on white roads, so really easy to overtake. But uh, the downhills, these are flow trails, so just single trails on these parts of, of the course. It's sometimes um, yeah, not possible to overtake each other. It's a real tactical race as well especially because it's uh, it's the first stage so it's a uh, yeah it's a short one only 51 that means uh yeah checking out uh, your rivals checking out your power and uh, that makes the first day always a bit uh, special especially for yeah for the riders which are not used to that to the highness so a lot of the riders they arrived on a saturday sunday to acclimate a little bit to have a few rides up here to get into the groove, to get into the mood, uh, uh, to meet each other, to have a chat. Probably a chat is not possible uh, <laughs> during the race. So, for the women's and the men's elite, it's not possible to have a chat. So, I used to ride with, uh, with an e-bike with a front group just a few, uh, just three years ago. I was always in the front group with the e-bike and I was the only one talking up because uh, it was that exhausting because it was, it's so quiet always. So the elite women and elite men, it's always quiet. They're not talking to each other, not even between the teams. So that was uh, really interesting to see and to hear. So what's going on? So, and in, in the back, so with the fun categories and stuff like that, it's always, it's always good fun, always time for a chat, some rivalry between uh, the teams, but also some real nice friendship. They help each other out if they're having a flat tire or uh, running out of water and uh, stuff like that. It's, yeah, it's always nice, nice to see that. A lot of uh, pictures been taken and posting. So follow us on uh, our social media, on uh, Instagram, on Facebook, and uh, yeah, be live on YouTube as well. Now we see a bit of the course. Now you see the um, Lancer Heide, with the main part of it, and um, this is the climb and. Uh, the sign uh, 20Ks, it's going to Charmoyne. Charmoyne is the start of the Downhill World Cup. And they're taking a bit of the easier line. They're not uh, doing the Downhill World Cup with their marathon bikes. They're taking the flow line. So this is the real easy line, a real flow in there, a few jumps. And from there on, it's going down until there. It's, it's an uphill, but the view is amazing up there. So you see the whole valley uh, from, uh, yeah, from a bird perspective. Stefan Sam, he's always following the riders, the top riders in the men's elite field. And uh, we tried to have a chat later on with him, so some uh, insights from him. If you see something and he knows exactly where the top riders are. So they have, they have always been together. So they're not allowed to ride for their own. So both of this is a two-team event, a two-team race, and that riders always have to be together. So they have a GPS um, data chip with them. And uh, if, if they're too far away from each other, yeah, more than two minutes is not allowed. So that uh, makes it really hard to, to check where uh, your partner is, and you always have to check is your partner close to you. Stefan, can you hear me at the moment? And then we try to have a chat with him. He's at the back of the field, of the men's field at the moment. You're seeing a real nice speed for an uphill. 12 kilometers on this uh, first uphill. It looks, it looks not that steep, it looks flat, but uh, it's definitely not. So we're right in the, in, in the middle now. So they're going to the left side now and having a, a real short uh, downhill. This is the first part of uh, today's opening stage 
of this year edition of the Swiss Epic. So Stefan moved forward a bit. We've seen a lot of riders already a bit in the back. So, Stefan, you're in the downhill. I probably is too concentrated for, <laughs> for the downhill. <laughs> it's not an easy one. So this this is a rocky downhill at the moment. We have a lot of these trails as well. These are normally hiking trails, and then we have a lot of these uh, single trails coming in later on. Oh, first crash. First crash in uh, in the men's elite field. I couldn't figure out which team it was or two riders crash together in this uh, first downhill of today. So that does not make it easy for these guys. So as soon as we have contact with uh, Stefan Zahm, he will know which team or which riders are involved in this uh, in this crash. So this is a real nice uh, first single trail, yeah, and a lot of trails like that. Are waiting uh, for all of the riders during uh, this whole Swiss epic week, conquer of the Alps. Yeah, this is the claim of this week. And um, if you arrive on Saturday. Interfos, you definitely conquered the Alps. <laughs> so we're still on the start line here in Lenze Heide, a parking place for Dial, so uh, close to uh, the lift station for, for the winter time, so a lot of uh, lifts going up from this part um, of Lenzenheide as well and uh, now it's time for the masters and uh, and the ground master making themselves ready for the Cape Swiss epic start of this year edition so this is typical Swiss sir on the left side you see the cows and sometimes the cows are on the trails as well so we have to take care of that you see the world famous cow shit, Hoaflada. That was a real interesting thing last year, together with Stefan Sam. So Hoaflada slalom was one of the uh, side events we had. <laughs> now you're getting used to that. <laughs> so real nice pictures from uh, Stefan Sam. There's another rider dropping back at the moment. So probably this is the teammate of one of the riders involved in the crash uh, earlier on. So in that case, he has uh, to wait for his uh, companion, not to stretch up more than um, two minutes. So this is the uh, man's field. Andreas. Yeah, the pink quart dura. Zell, Swiss Epic 2023 lanciato con una passage tra la beach pitost lai buffet tais pitost plata von che valo sedo la prima ascensione sedo e la region the bike kingdom lo sedo dalla parte al pai dal roton a lui lo è sils trails dentro altre lo è la region che in conoscenza con tutto de poi della coppa mondiale da mountain bike lui va il Nino Gold Trail, no canino Schub Trail, the remaining the Vantaus Campion Mundial al Dua Media George Pia in a region fetch popular, fetch spectacular, fetch in conuscent, Lubin in Eoni Nagada, Lu a Laia Bonkivalu, the Lautravart, Eoni Nagada, Tyson Sien contro il Pizza Scarlottes. Als profis quels an lanciau la cursa exact dallas uh, nove dentrautere in Ramon che combatte si dir per in uh, plazza da podest Padri Barandun che parte insieme col campione svizzero da maraton con Conny Loser nos ne viu uh, Thomas Frischkner che ha i partiu zel che è un staus de cursa del campionato mondiale a Glasgow a Budju di spede da se preparà pia cinque svizz e piga dumele vente trais Thomas Frischkner che parte con Severin Dich uh, Sascha de Plaza din outer Ramon, che è la partenza, è il che uh, parte con Marcel Führer dalla Svizzera 
orientale Sascha de Plata, sei el che combatta in sede in sia categoria per in Plata da Podest, e le donne, quelle di elite a in partita, se due parte di Dino Puspai, vince due tre minuti in gruppa, e vince, se capisce, o quel da hobby, quel da fan, a profi, scordate, quel da tutti, si inviati, se vi in quarturo, non si che un malet, non si va in sede, se c'è un buffet, c'è un e si, due mountain bikers con e-bikes, sto in di persecutation, quel da Thomas Dietz e Stefan Sam in quella camera con una GoPro da Viadi in Adina dalla gruppa da testa delle donne e l'altra dalla gruppa da testa del Roman. Scordici lanciata vai via dalla parte del Pai del Rothorn. Rothorn si è dato quella regione, Leo Venina Gada, e ho seen via the trails, che viene non a voi, a lei, a Vanlu, da l'altra parte. Scordici in una tappa da 50 km, arriva a 2 mm in sì, con Valencia Trails in giù, Trails proprio in sasce di spettacolare se dentro se che vi arsi in canoscien vi arsi vieni nei dini che ho fatto fare vacanze per avere mai i con mountain bike in quella regione da laica valin ticket le so di sco in dos meccas del sport da mountain bike in pizza che vasi nus als malese les emprimas donas che van an si e i stau in a certa tensione o se da me un tutini u fei fei u asaival di senza che pesce in pau nervosi e i se in a gaina tensione von quella emprima etapa in sa bu propi Romania. Quando si sente, Don Tonino guarda chi si è inviato e va a lutto e si sente Fate, Fate, Bain, Dario. Exactly, thank you very much, Andrea. So if you wonder what language that was, that was Ray Tromain. So you can speak in your native language, Andrea. So it's good for you. Perfect, it's perfect. I love it. And me, I have to speak in English, so it makes it sometimes a bit more complicated. But this is Irina Lützelschwab. The member of the team Torpado Bulls together with Katasina Sosna. He's at the moment um, together with uh, Thomas Diaz in the front today, dropping into this uh, first downhill of the day. In the moment, men's group, we already had a little crash there, dropping back uh, two riders. It looks easy now for the ladies. So this is probably some kind of a, of a wake-up call. So this uh, down here sounds like a ka kang ka kang 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 So this is a real nice wake-up sound if you need that on your phone. That would be great. So uh, Thomas is uh, following uh, the ladies, the leading ladies. They're coming together in this downhill and see different techniques. So there's already a rider dropping back from the master's field. And the ladies, they're taking uh, the, the outside line. So that makes it a, a bit easier for them. So the man's had a crash before. And already some fans on course now. So we've seen at the, at the uphill. The man being on uh, around 12 kilometers per hour on the uphill lane has been around nine kilometers and we're back in the village with uh, with the next group of riders starting uh, their adventure this uh, year's edition of the uh, swiss epic wow they look relaxed now huh so still having a chat still ordering their uh, their lunch or whatever <laughs> so uh we don't know. So there are food stations on course. So real nice ones. So they're getting their isotonic drinks. They're getting some food and stuff and uh, water. So for uh, the fun guys and ladies, so they're taking it easy. They're having uh, some Swiss cheese there. <laughs> they're having some uh, nice meat or whatever they want to. And in the front, yeah, there's only a trail for dinner. So does not make it easier and at the end of every stage so the village is really nice the village is really good so the pro riders and the fun riders are uh, coming together having a chat about the stage getting some inside tips so i'm going back to andreas you 
Jane. Deze keer een zaterdag zijn prins met de zwijze asfalt bij een Ramon. Pito specifiek in deze keer ook wel als equipes de Vos die eerst onze kapesje partner en VP bij een Vos. Dat is natuurlijk mijn zijn boe. Da gas nu wendt zijn prins met zijn specie en tot 339 kilometer. Toen dies, toen etappe, ze koei een boe mijn 12 mm differenza dal Tetsia. Dus we zijn de Vos als groep zo kapart. Lanciata scodet in te geden zie je nu wij zo'n en die ook kun in Walti horrend tempo kan ben bezien als cyclist de elite zijn wel als wie is een paar naturale wie is de dal van eerst per via tijdjes de dal bo wakker zijn ook in zes centen weer mijn elles Alps Zwitser zelfs Alps regiones stoen die een keer wel eens kapers en de staat ziet kan koins koers kan volgen goed in ja Staat iets kan koen, ze kunnen zijn de woon hier met een premier groep, dat zijn de deze vijf vijf compacten samen. Spectaculaire Laura, perfecta. Ja, je hebt het zelfs boekelieren. Hij heeft een paar een blijf en Tony speelt in die aan de balet. Ze kunnen relatief biasulei, wanneer de temperatuur is relatief altes. Durant die hier toch een trente duus trente treis graad in de regio de Queri, ook heet als bikers en Kuntenski zijn er in pauze als oud oud in de gade. Dat is meer in de regio dan Lailo, wij binnen van directie een eentje dienen. Lo, Sonny Muretti, ook hij eeuw in de gade piaalt de team waar hij Swiss Epic Lo, kun in de duas etappes in de regio de Tavau. Pia Lai, Sonny Muretti, het Tavau is hier qua streis punt centraal de koei Swiss Epic. Dat was het voor zijn scout. De prossima gruppa che parte dentro l'altra è con Lea e Petra Thüringa lanciata davanti a una grande gruppa tutti insieme a mountain bikers da hobby che stanno in ton ES feed e quels entra noi per vero ma in dominia quella questo vis epic quella avventura per Biars forse in una tortura forse per per mio collega Bo Dario, ko pos ko partai. Where does Hopi study? Um, as I told you before, I made it with the e-bikes a few times. Ah. And yeah, probably with the proper bike. Yeah, as an adventure, you said before, it would be great. But it's more, as you said, a torture, not a not not an adventure. So, Andreas, yeah. What about you? What's much to? Yeah. How's your light? I don't know. Maybe. Nisto je se trenal, po fakt vela, po fakt vela, ko je kurs pruki, što ti je čun dis. La grande švida, kin se je ono kvarta čunava din tik fit, also. Ina duas etapas, ok, tri sport se kvarta čun etapas je. For five days, it's it's a long way. It's really really hard. Yeah. After three days, it's really hard. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a it's a five stage five day stage race, and every day it's a lot of climbing, long distances, and uh, real long days. So they start early in the morning. So this is the latest start of the week. We're at uh, 9:24 uh, at the moment in Switzerland. So uh, normally they're starting uh, half an hour or an hour earlier in the day, and then uh, they're on the bike for uh, for uh, probably some of them for nine hours. <laughs> That's yeah. That's that's really long day. Every day, every day, every day. These are the poor ones. But every day has 24 hours. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, but no, it's it's hard. Yeah. So the last one, sometimes they miss the massages because they're already they're already gone. But there's still some food left. So you try to bring everybody the best possibility to to recover as fast as possible. And recovery is the main thing. In a, in, a, in a week like that, so they have real nice hotels, so real nice uh, dinner, so they can uh, they can book a massage and have a massage here, yeah. And uh, nutrition is always really important during the whole day, so that they drink and uh, uh, eat enough during the the whole day. And uh, we will talk about things like that later on with our uh, guys. At, at, at the front, with the, with the camera, with uh, Stefan and um, and Thomas, we're having it easy. Andreas and me sitting uh, at the starting line <laughs> in Lenzenheide. Easy peasy. Uh, easy peasy.
<lacht> Machen wir das, was wir am besten können, ein bisschen yeah. darüber reden. Genau, genau. <lacht> das kommt Dario, die äh, La Grande Schweine, Propi de Serecria, Mintje di, die sind die Puspelauter, die Fit, die das Kombas, die am Frechtesten der Mäune. Biars werden dann fahren mit Massages, Autos werden dann tun fahren mit Boing de Glatsch. Nino Schuchter hat jetzt das Championat des Mundiales als Boing de Glatsch, ein viel effektives Kino Massage. Stein in Quartura, cool das Kombo, denn in der Boingere, cool auch Freude, cool sein zu sehen, dass viel effektiv, cool das Profis fahren, weil die drohen der Lass Kurs. Das Quer ist rekreat, auch der Vitier, mir auch bei einer Serie in der Bühne China, der Wabaul. Ja, wir haben gut Energie. Der Biber, wir haben ja wir drohen der Lass Etappe. Quei tot faktus can immens importans pour vero main dominia quei Swiss epic zuch quel za chun diz quei ai tot organizau in tesens minchina in hotel in quel as in quel strai slogan zalai soi muretzi e da davau si gira fange cun bunas chinas as pibiar zane funes mi gai in mecanist ca pai nel material ca pai nas velos ki ston bons da diu cun cun quei orden Uh, e aqui são ver mais se concentrar, se focusar no nosso da curso. Então, o boi da Glatz, qual foi o que você fez esta De Marma. Gobada, mano. Ispa. É para Gobada, não é? Gobada. Zwei, drei Grad. Você sei, é muito kalt da oben. Ja, das, ja, wir probieren es. Ja, nem der will mal schauen, was wäre, wenn man Sasch gibt, zu toben, doch du mir oder drei dir denn. Das wäre noch Ja, genau. Ja, du hast vorher von uh, der Mechanik geredet. So, Andreas was talking uh, about mechanics. So there are only a few points where they can get some help from the outside. So normally on a Swiss Epic, they, everything they have to fix by their own. So every, some of the riders are carrying a backpack. So they're carrying uh, some inner tubes with them. So I'm for sure a tool. And uh, yeah, that, that makes it even, even hard for all the riders as well. So if they break something at their bike, they have to fix it by their own or at their at the service point. So at the service point there are some mechanics and they can help them. The big teams, they always bring uh, their own mechanic with them and um, yeah, during the whole night they're working on the bikes of, of the team. So we're going back to Neil. Yeah, thanks Dario. It's great, some really good insights on the start line in Lenzerheide and uh, also seeing those nervous faces at the start in all of the start batches, all the way from the top professionals right down to the final start batches. And that nervous energy that you see, those uh, half smiles on the faces of the riders as they set off on this five-day adventure. You could say it is a race, but for many it'll be an adventure. And uh, you mentioned the uh, professionalism of the top riders, and that is uh, certainly all the flows all the way down to even the, um, the amateurs finishing the back markers. It may be amateurs, but they will have a very professional approach because to conquer a five-day stage race in the Alps, in Switzerland, um, some of the most iconic trails, it is, no, it is a big challenge. So they'll adopt some of the uh, professional professionals' approaches to, um, to the race and to their preparation. Uh, certainly they're training they'll most most of the riders will be following a coach they'll be following a training program and that training program will be uh, will include what what uh, athletes will call tapering so that's why there will be a bit of a nervous energy some pent-up energy uh, from that tapering tapering means that the riders will be doing far less volume training volume that they would be doing um, in their maximum volume weeks so this last week they'll be sitting with their feet up recovering, making sure they hit the start nice and fresh and ready for those five days of intense racing. And you can see there some enthusiasm ready to head off on their adventure for the next five days, exploring the region of Graubünden and uh, having some great fun. And certainly on today's course, the uh, loop around Lenzerheide and taking in some of the most fantastic trails, including the flow trail. They'll be looking forward to that in the first half of the race as they uh, pass through Nino's Gold Trail. That is pretty much the halfway mark, Nino's Gold Trail. And they have um, one more obstacle to to climb. That is the uh, the Juna Hut. And that is the highest point in the race, around about the 37-kilometer uh, mark at 2,216 meters. That is the highest point in today's stage. Not of the week, of course. They'll be uh, climbing a little bit higher than that, of course, in the Swiss Alps. But 2,216 meters is a high point indeed for any rider. The altitude 
the riders are not used to the altitude. If they haven't done any altitude training, you could say that might be uh, might be a chink in the armor of some of the riders who uh, who live at sea level, for instance. But for the Swiss nationals, for the locals, they will have no problem. They'll be well accustomed to riding at that altitude and also on these trails. Trails around Switzerland, there are flow trails. There are some tricky technical trails we saw in the... Uh, Top men's category, the UCI professional men's category. Just a little bit of um, attention, drifting, and uh, we saw two riders uh, head off. <laughs> so they were going straight, and they really should have been taking that uh, that tight right-hander. So it's not just about the trails themselves, but also about the speed that they're riding at. It'll be white-hot racing from the start. Be keen to take that uh, GB to leaders jersey, the yellow jersey for the UCI men's category will be up for grabs at the end of the stage. It's a prestigious day to win because the winner takes all. The winner will take that leader's jersey and take the lead in the overall general classification. That is why the races are here. That's what is all to play for is the general classification. A stage win is prestigious, but of course the overall is even more prestigious. To win the title of uh, winner of the Spa Swiss Epic is a prestigious title indeed. Part of the Epic Series, the pinnacle of the Epic Series is the Absa Cape Epic held in the Western Cape in South Africa. And that is typically in March. And right now we're heading towards the deep into summer in the European summer in Switzerland. And uh, certainly the riders are enjoying the great weather that we're seeing here in Lenzerheide today. And hopefully it'll prevail throughout the week. The weather can play a role in the racing and also in uh, the experience of a rider as we see the Cannondale Vass Rider just on the right hand side in the white shirt, just slightly off the pace on the climb. These are the climbs that will be uh, challenging the riders all week, and it's a bad sign for the rider, uh, the Canada Vas Arabe rider, that is Bar Martin and Miguel Munoz, and they are already losing touch with the leaders. And we can see at 15 kilometers an hour, Stefan Sam in the Bulls Media e bike just catching up, just keeping an eye on exactly what's going on at the front of the field. And we'll be able to hear fairly soon when we regain contact with Stefan exactly what's happening in the racing. But really early on in the day, on stage one, in the first 20 kilometers before the first water point, the pace has lit up. And we have a real race on our hands with the favorite team, Willie Pirelli, Daniel Gesmeyer, Bart Allemann, no doubt pushing the pace as hard as they can, putting all of the other teams under pressure. And it's not just about getting extra time on the, uh, their rivals, it's also about keeping the trails clear. We just saw their Topata factory, Casey South, Jakob Doragoni, and uh, we go back up to as get as close to the front of the field as possible to see exactly how the racing is unfolding in the UCI men's category at the 2023 Spa Swiss Epic, team number 17. That is a, uh, a team of Pierre Bellau, the French team, Bellau and Gros Lambert. And we head up really towards the sharp end of the field. There's some huge gaps that have already formed. The pace must have been set by Willia Pirelli, Canyon Northwave, and Buff Megamo. Those are the three favorite teams, no doubt, pushing the pace super hard. Gesmar and Alleman of Willia Pirelli are the favorite team of the race, but Canyon Northwave, no doubt, will be watching them closely. Hey, Barnett. Yeah. So we already have been through the first uh, checkpoint. So, William Pirelli, Daniel Geismann, but Aleman, these guys are in the lead, but it's a big group together. So, till uh, place 15, yeah, they're in, uh, no, yeah, in seven minutes on course. Yeah. Yeah. So guys are, are in the lead is the Ville Pirelli team, Daniel Geis, my Wout Aleman. So first time they formed together in this uh, edition of the um, Swiss Epic. So Daniel Geis is a former winner of the Swiss Epic. So he's uh, he really know the Swiss Epic and uh, he really knows uh, some of the trails around uh, this place. So uh, it's easy for him to earn time to himself. So people, Riders, they don't even exactly know the stage before, so they have to follow the signs and that makes it even harder for them to figure out uh, where they go and, uh, yeah, how hard 
the uphills are. So uh, it's not uh, a round course. So uh, even up here in uh, Lenz and Heide, they start at the village, they come back to the village, but everything else is uh, mostly unknown for them. A little bit they figure out, but uh, yeah, a lot of it, even the terrain is really hard for them. Stefan, can you hear me at the moment? Yes, sorry, I can hear you. Stefan, uh, Sam is uh, with the uh, leaders at the moment. I'm not exactly with the leaders, uh, just catching up. Second uphill as well on a, on a gravel road, right in the middle of, uh, of the men's elite field. So as I said before, till uh, let's have a look at the first checkpoint. Yeah, everything is uh, really close together. And uh, even the first masters like Florian Vogel and uh, Martin Guyan are in contact uh, ale, with, ale, the, uh, with this first group. So Florian Vogel, former uh, European champion, cross country, uh, won one World Cup race in Fort William just uh, a few years ago, together with uh, his companion Martin uh, Guyan, Martin Guyan, under 19 uh, Swiss national um, team trainer <laughs> and uh, a former XC World Cup rider as well. Also, in Bremsan, the Capesha Son, Conton Giubian, 8 km dalla testa, il moment, Villier Pirelli, con Daniel Geismeier in Austria, che parte un insieme con Wout Aleman, il Belgese. Geismeier, quel che è Gudinau, von Inon, il Swiss Epic 2022, tutto intorno a un insieme con l'Italiano Fabian Rabenstein, in Austria, che tutto intorno a quel che conosce, forse fatto in quel trails, e già sta usando un vergau, un po' in quel trails, che è la regione da Lai. La gruppa da testa, tutto Tonne und Totzen zähmen wir wohl die Totals Favorit oder Björn Zion, sind dann zum Beispiel Kenyan Northwave, Team Dus, was der Ekuts Favorit, Martin Stosek, der La Tschechia, gepaart dann zähmen wir Schweizer Marc Stutzmann, E. Fadri Barandun, Kun Koni Loser, du Schweizer Team der Lachse, Els, El Gruppe der Teste, was der Ekuts Favorit, Martin Stosek, der La Tschechia, gepaart dann zähmen wir Schweizer Marc Stutzmann, E. Fadri Barandun, Weber Planisaun, ihre Preview, da fahren sie immer mit der Kurse Kuhn Andrin Beli, da sa Goin. Andrin Beli hat den Traut, der Gudinjau und der Bike Giro in der Indiana. Andrin Beli hat den Ton Ruklaus in den Trainermänen von den Chinas Jamnas. Und das ist die Studie davor, für die Parkour Swiss Epic, für das erste Operell in das Punkt Kulminon sind. Und ohne per Andrin Beli, da sa Goin ja auch Koni Loser sie aus den Spiesuch Priu. Quei platz da partenza an semen kunskodic fadri barandun al enge di nesel za dieci sa san franca tot vasco je vijau kum batter prim platz da potege ke vasi nu selz malets nu ki va in si per parte passage relativ teises tecnicas nu ke e las ciclistas nil ciclist de elite stond si zum magari vini giu dal mountain bike purta ni stusha si ado al velo Du dat je dan toch niet kwalis passages, nu kie wa a grado, keu ze een pochton, da vira main sirwa sain te ket, se nutrien te ket, baiber, ma ja, forte skurla ol en prima ga in te ket, las gombas, tanka, noves vorstas, leu pala proxima astensiu ni wa. Dina si giu en se se, durant kwal en prima etapa de bien chun konte kilometers, keu la region da lai, duas gadas vai, fitch en si, lunge en si, sains di, in a gada la vart al pai del Rothorn, a lui dal l'autra vart, direct si un pizz carlottas, nu che i va relativa main tais en si, avon che vengi nu a ngiu push pai, e la arrivada, partenza da arrivada, ai ur dal lac da Lions, e set el madem liug. Quez dusca con camera, con la GoPro, vid al velo, con i bike, in a gada Stefan Sam in Svizia, che ha dentro auto, con i au trais gadas al Cape Epic, a lui Thomas Dietz, al Franzosi, in specialista maraton, ja, a gest marau avon, sin si a pais, in ele venius numerusas ga, campion Franzos da maraton, ele quel che accompagna pia, als omens d'elite, respectief, les donas d'elite. Che vasinus als gruppa che in se sets bo da vontir dal tot in tom biarse un ensemen, das in primas attaccas ai già dau, els favoris, ein pia schon in ticket venida scappa dals autos. Codic, buona temperatura, io io ne dino in pau in blu, in bo fit bia sulei buccalire, io les di, perfect, ideal per far corsa da mountain bike.
Yes, it's, for the guys, it's uh, it's perfect the temperature. You already had to wear a jacket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I know it, it, it's really perfect at the moment, so it stays during the whole day. Not too warm because we're in whole high alpine attitude starting at 1500 meters and uh, we are with the ladies at the moment on the live e-bike climbing up with uh, 12 k's an hour in the front there's the team the force closures as well with the european champion adelheid morat so and uh, they're still pretty close together in the first group. So we tried to figure out the first live timing of today. As um, we said before, at the men's field, it's really easy. And we're uh, scrolling down to the women's field at the first uh, checkpoint of uh, today. That's the team, the fourth closest, Bettina Janus and Adelheid Moritz in the lead, together with uh, Elisade Efficient Infinity Insure. Yeah, very long name, huh? Vera Losig and Kim Lecord on the third place. Turpado Bulls, Katasina Sosna and Irina Sützelschwab. And then the gap opened a little bit to the fourth group. This is Cannondale Vaz, Monica Calderon and Tessa Gortekas. Only about uh, 21 seconds in the back. The team Sank Moritz. Our Aurelia Halbwax and Sarah Hill on fifth place. Sixth place, 58. Next ride, this is Crystal Baumann and uh, Sandra Stedelmann. Already 41 seconds behind. So, this is the results of the stage one of the first uh, checkpoint. No, the stage isn't over yet. So, a lot of... Uh, Things to do for all the riders. Kenyan, Northwave, Stosek, Stutzmann are in the lead. In front of Pirelli and Buff Megamo on third place. We are going back to Neil. We have uh, pretty much the uh, first four teams all in a group, and that is Canyon Northwave, William Pirelli, Buff Megamo, Topara Factory. Uh, perhaps a surprise to see them at the very front. Casey South, Jakob Dorigoni, uh, fantastic performance so far by the Swiss and the uh, the Italian rider. And uh, the group that is around about 30 seconds back, uh, interesting um, interesting riders in that group. Uh, Connie Loza, multiple Swiss champion, and Lucas Fluckiger, also a uh, well-decorated rider in the sport. And Simon Schneller, a well-known campaigner at the Absa Cape Epic. So Team Larks, Baron Dern and Connie Lawser riding with Bulls and Affinity BIXS. That is a, a strong chasing group. And a little bit further back, we have Scott Racing 1 and Scott Racing 2. And uh, it looks like if we were really to throw a blanket over it right now, Teams 1 to 7, that's where the, uh, that's where the contenders are sitting at the moment. But Team Larks, Bulls, Infinity, BIXS have a lot of work to do to catch up with Canyon Northwave, William Pirelli, and Buff Megamo and Topata Factory to really make uh, today theirs. The, is the yellow jersey up for grabs at the end of the stage? The winner takes all. The winner will take that jersey and take it into stage two. A prestigious win. Perhaps uh, for some riders, it might be a little bit of a pressure, but pre bit of pressure of having a yellow jersey on the shoulders because you then have a target on your back. But at the same time, it also gives the confidence to the team. So it depends on how each team will, will view the yellow jersey, but uh, it does come down to a sprint finish. Perhaps uh, we'll see how the politics plays out towards the end of the day. But uh, for sure, any rider riding in a race as prestigious as the Spa Swiss Epic, they will want to get as many stage wins as they can. So when they one day look back on their career, they can say they've won a stage in Lenzerheide. Really, you could say one of the homes of mountain biking and certainly a spiritual home considering this is one of the winningest areas for Nina Schurter, who's a 10-time world champion, another Swiss national. We haven't seen today, we won't see this week at the race. He's just fresh off the world championships. He got a third at uh, the World Cross Country Championships a few days ago. But today it's all to play for, for the top four teams. William Pirelli, Canyon Northwave, Bulls and Buff Megamo and uh, Canadel Vas Arabe. We've seen Canadel Vas Arabe a little bit off the back, but Topada Factory, surprise of that front group. Casey South, Jakob Dorigoni, fantastic performance from them so far. We expect to see more from the Bulls team, um, Simon Schneller and Axel Rudil Kortinat. But uh, 
Still a long way to go for the stage. 51 kilometers. They've only just passed the 20 kilometer mark. And uh, they still have to climb the major obstacle of the day. That is the Yuna Hut at 2,216 meters high. Before they get there, they've got to go past the high level trail. But they have their reward, top fops, as they head down to Gotta Lane. And we're now with the top women contenders, Vera Laws and Kim Lacourt, the winners of the Absa Cape Epic in 2023. They are in touch with the leaders. In fact, we saw Bettina Yanis struggling on the very steep climb, having to dismount and uh, her partner having to wait for her. But we expect big things from Laws and Lacourt, the Namibian and the Mauritian rider who showed fantastic performance in 2022, winning the grand finale, a fantastic performance that really s springboarded them into the limelight. And uh, the Namibian and the Mauritian had a fantastic year. Very exciting women's field, women's race at the Absa Cape Epic. We saw the, uh, the leader's jersey, the orange leader's jersey, change shoulders many times. Dramatic race. And they were the ones that prevailed in the end. And no doubt they'll be showing their resolve throughout the week uh, in uh, Bunden region in the Swiss Alps. Right now witnessing the onboard footage from Thomas Ditch women and we're also getting a good eye, bird's eye view of the course of the day. You can see there right in the middle that is where they're heading. They're heading up to the uh, up the climb and Thomas Ditch just uh, following the top riders well qualified to do so on the Bulls Media e-bike. Thomas Ditch is a well-known campaigner at the Absa Cape Epic. Um, trusty support team for the five-time winner, Carl Platt, and the three-time winner, Stefan Sam. And that has the skills to be able to follow the world's best. Right now, we're with uh, the Buff Megamo team and Hans Becking riding behind Peter Proust, the national champion, newly crowned Estonian champion. They have lost touch with the leaders. Might be struggling a little bit. And Hans Becking, a very experienced campaigner, will be letting his partner just set the pace, not to put his partner too far into the red. There is an untested partnership here. Hans Becking usually rides with uh, his partner, Jose Diaz. Very successful campaigners, the two of them. Tried and tested partnership. It's all about that partnership. But he'll be focusing on the well-being of his partner, Peter Pruce making sure that he can nurse him through the stage. If he is struggling at any point, he'll be looking after him. You can see they're just up on the right in the distance, frustrating for the uh, Dutchman and the Estonian, trying to just get back in touch with, uh, with the leaders on this tricky climb. But no doubt that if the other teams, that's Canyon Northwave and Willie Perley, if they smell any weakness, if they smell blood in the water, they will maximize that. They know that Buff Megamo is a threat to the overall. So it will be very interesting to see how this race plays out. But if there is a gap now, it's a bad sign for the uh, Buff Megamo team. But uh, you never know. Any rider can have a bad day. And with mountain bike stage racing, anything can happen. A mechanical, a, f uh, a flat, maybe even bad legs on the day. So there is still lots to play for. As uh, the Bulls Media e-bike, Stefan Sam, just takes us right back up to the very front of the race. And we have in front of us the Torpado factory team. That's Casey South, Jakob Dorigoni. And right in front of us, we have Jakob Dorigoni, the Italian. And Stefan Somm will want to just get ahead of him to see who is setting this infernal pace at the front. Daniel Gesmeyer will no doubt be a culprit of this. He is very much at home in the Alps, being an Austrian. And it's very much his race. He is a multiple winner of the race. And... Uh, been on the podium several times and he's partnered with a trusted partner someone he's ridden with before he knows the partnership he knows about Alleman about Alleman on superb form having won the European Championships the uh, also a Belgian champion and with cycling being very one of the biggest sports in Belgium is of course cycling it's cycling's heartland and uh, no doubt to hold a title like that is an auspicious thing. Reflects the quality of the rider of Alleman. And as we suspected, we can see Canyon Northwave on the front. Martin Stozek fresh off a second place at the World Championships just a few days ago. And Mark Stutzman, the Swiss rider, 
certainly up for the task. Stutzman, in his home race, he is an epic legend. An epic legend is a rider who has ridden the Absa Cape Epic, the Swiss Epic, and one of the two races, the other two Epic Series races, the uh, Four Islands in Croatia and the Andorra Epic. And uh, Stutzman, very hungry for a race in his home, uh, very hungry for a victory in his home race in Switzerland. So we can see that from the map in the, on the screen there, we've got the position of the top men's team and the top women's team. Right now in the top left-hand corner, we are with Stefan Sam, who is with the men's category leaders. And we're going to go back to Dario, who is on the start line in Lenzerheide. What are you seeing there, Dario? Thank you, Neil. Yeah, you, you talked about uh, Mark Stutzmann. Because uh, he won the Swiss champion title just uh, last week at the Eiger Bike Challenge. But he's not wearing the Swiss uh, champion jersey at the moment. But he's in a superb form at the moment. And now they're on this short downhill here in Lancet Hyde. It is a real nice uh, single trail. Like that, it looks beautiful at the moment. So there's a few down into the valley of Lenzer Heide. You see the lake of uh, Lenzer Heide on the right-hand side. Yeah, not enough time for the for the riders in the front to enjoy the view. But uh, the ones in the back, they will do that. Yeah, it's, it's a real hard fight. We said um, that the field is stretching up at the moment. So there are a few teams uh, in the lead at the moment, uh, losing contact, as Neil told you before. And look at this trail. This trail is so amazing. <laughs> I want to ride. I want to ride. And this tra the sound of this tray is a bit different. It's not the kakakakang -ka 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 we heard before, so it's like a chop. Wow, real nice one. Real nice one. Yeah, but it's even hard to follow uh, some of the riders. And it makes it uh, special as well. So if you're too close in the downhill, it's always dangerous. So probably you're not used to that, to have a rider in front of you. And. Um, there's still a lot of rocks and a lot of stones in the field, so you always have a clear view. Some riders enjoying that to have a, yeah, a bit of a, a gap to the next riders. And uh, it's coming together on the, on the next uh, short uphill. So uh, the riders are now on the transfer to the Alpschamoin. We call it Alpschamoin is the part where the flow trail in the Bike Kingdom Park starts. We see us as a premise, as Omens Delite Cinque Trail, direction Alps Harmonia, Boeing the Speed Graves Trails, Boeing the Speed Pretensiusia. Den Terrain, just a little chat, a bit of in character, the Din Flow Trail, Pauke Krapi, Badenton, Edin, Puspoensi, also a Boeing Trail, no Kiva Mo and You, but in Svesa Kaventil is different, as Kalas Gupas in Ozin Tick. In not louder on a dinner's gone favorite a lanciata for three brand dundle raminendel grisun cult el team lax con in a retard being in a mese minute in a minute a co current set in yay in attractive trail con in a viala vista you a silly region the line with a due de la vacle al lack the lie a divine says she can panorama trail via do well to a grat a dinner see a you in the case for the Technical mind for both force LP pretensions as a data durant question passages can be happy pretensions as a great trail go direction Alba Charmoin. Dina push by the Vase natural man tot film mau cool quel kai es in viadi e kunin kunin a camera elden ton in in e mountain bike via in a mountain bike con batteria Elsa hanno dominato magari a cupo che quel tegni e ho sucto un conto chilometri di puntons mezzo di differenza da te ti ho si sa forza che a cupo venia si sono a tonge da tonge sulla zeta per la navonta o chionta navonta 5 chilometri a esi luda mi da a cupo yeah sometimes they really change the the battery about three or three times a day 
So it's uh, they're running out of uh, of battery because the riders are so fast, and they have accelerated all the time. So between the leaders and uh, and and uh, the second group. So for the for the bike riders on the e-bike like Stefan Sam at the moment, it's as well a real hard job. We're talking about later with him about the weight of 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 the complete outfit of the complete gear he's wearing so he's having a backpack with the live stuff in it two cameras a chesty another one on the helmet then um, the microphone and all this stuff so that way it's a few case as well so we're still on this transfer single trail real beautiful one so this is a natural flow trail built by uh, the cows and, and the hikers and uh, sometimes these are the best trail builders <laughs> so they have um, a lot of flow as well so you're allowed to mountain bike on all the trails in this part of uh, switzerland in graubünden so there are only some uh, short trails where you're not allowed to ride but most of it yeah probably all of them the whole hiking trails you're allowed to mountain bike and that makes it uh, as a real mountain bike paradise this is by the cape epic the swiss epic sorry <laughs> is guest here in this beautiful part of uh, switzerland so we have a lot of alps here so where the cows go up during a uh, summertime so a lot of nice roads are going up as well as we can see here a lot of lift stations and they need uh, a road up as well so i wonder if neil was skiing once in them well i'm i'm fortunate to, to enough have skied once in my life but uh, it was in austria not in uh, in switzerland <laughs> but certainly mountain biking hey, done some mountain biking in Switzerland for sure and uh, it really is uh, it is the home of mountain biking or one of the homes of mountain biking there are several iconic regions in their world for some fantastic mountain biking and no doubt Switzerland is one of them and uh, just saw there just a little bit earlier with the, the um, top teams in uh, contention right now the teams at the front Willia Pirelli and Canyon Northwave are pushing the pace super hard they did put a bit of a gap into to a part of factory Casey South was able to maintain that pace but he needs to wait for his partner it's a two-person team stage race he would need to he had to wait for his partner Jakob Dorigoni and uh, back to the feed zone this is where the there'll be a bit of a regrouping but uh, Casey South having a fantastic race waited for his partner Jakob Dorigoni no harm done the teams have come back together again they grabbed a quick uh, bit of some fluids and some energy gels perhaps as well and they'll be refueling for the next part of the stage the onslaught that is to come and the uh, as they roll down into Lenzerheide and a prestigious stage win stage one that's what they'll be looking for but uh, definitely we can say for now that the strongest teams in the race so far if we were to uh, if we're really to make a judgment call right now Canyon North Waves Martin Stozek and Mar Mark Stutzman both on fantastic form Daniel Gesmar and Vod Allemann are able to match that pace and uh, in close watch are Topado Factory, Casey South, Jakob Dorigoni. But we do need to take a look back to see where Buff Megamo is. And now we're with the women's category. And it is the team of Lorza and Lacorte. The winners of the 2023 Absa Cape Epic are putting in a storming performance. They are really on the rise. Momentum is in their favor. And they'll be looking to put another Epic Series title to their names, the Spartans, they were third overall in 2022. They won a stage. It was um, momentum, as we say, is a big thing in mountain bike stage racing. They have the confidence of that Absa Cape Epic win, and they are being fueled by it for sure. And Lorza at the front, setting the pace in the Namibian National Championship. She's a multiple Namibian champion not just in mountain biking not in just mountain bike marathon in cross country marathon on the road and accomplished namibian cyclist and lacorte also holding the title of national champion in of mauritius wearing the colorful jerseys resplendent in their jerseys you see that the rules are in the race that the riders have to wear the same shirt so they can be identifiable as a team but in their case, they are wearing different shirts because they are national champions in their respective countries. And Lorza and Lacorte have become firm friends, and not only firm friends, but a deadly partnership. 
and they have over two minutes over the favorites going into the race. You could say half an hour ago or so, um, let's call it an hour ago, we were saying that Davos Klosters, it was their race to win. Janus and Marath have won it twice already, uh, but the team of Lawson and Lacourt are definitely uh, looking like they're hungry for this one. To a part of Bulls, that Sosna and Luchel Schwab, Luchel Schwab had some bad luck, still not able to uh, race in the Absa Cape Epic full to her capacity, but in her home race in Switzerland, she is looking good for a third spot, riding with the Lithuanian Sosna. Not, not a tried partnership, um, one that was formed for the race, but no doubt the former swimmer, the Swiss Luchel Schwab, will be looking to uh, get on the podium for 2023. And in fourth spot, the all-Swiss team, Barman and Stadelmann, over s uh, just under seven minutes down, but all to play for for Lozen and Lecourt. They are in a storming day. Putting a bit of pressure on Janusen Marath. Adel Marath, a well-known cross-country campaigner, has moved more to the mountain bike uh, marathon discipline and stage racing. And she'll need to look after her partner, Bettina Janus, throughout the stage and live to fight another day. But two minutes up the road is ominous at this early stage in a mountain bike stage race. And right now we're riding with uh, the Bulls Media e-bike of Thomas Ditch. He'll be following the women's category riders throughout today. And we're going to be seeing some exciting action. And clever tactics here from Kim Lacourt and Vera Lawser. The traditional tactic between the in the team dynamic that goes on, it's best to let the rider set the pace at the front. So if there is a stronger climber of the two, and this could change, of course, from day to day, Kim Lacourt and Vera Lawser are a very evenly matched team. But perhaps on the day, it will be the slightly weaker partner will take, will set the pace so that the stronger partner doesn't put too much pressure on the on the weaker one. Uh, but Vera Laws are just setting the pace. Perhaps she is the um, not the strongest climber, but certainly on the flats, the more powerful rider will be setting the pace at the front. Vera Laws are setting the pace and putting more time, minute by minute, into the uh, the favorite team before we started today. Bettina Janus and Adama Rath, the all German team. Bettina Janus is an epic legend, having done three epic series races, including the Absa Cape Epic, and Adama Rath, a multiple winner of the Spa Swiss Epic, looking to take another title, but uh, the hunger of Vera Lorza and Kim Lacourt, there is no doubt about that. And we are back with the men's category. This is Stefan Sam on the Bulls Media e-bike. He is with the top three contending teams all together, the top three teams, Canyon Northwave, Willia Pirelli, and the Topada Factory team of the Italian and the Swiss rider. And you can see there on the front, we have Wout Allemann, that is the William Pirelli rider. He is clearly feeling his legs today. They are on a storming day. Them and Canyon Northwave have been setting the pace at the front and putting as much pressure on their rivals. The race has absolutely opened up now, and it's really come down to these three teams. We haven't yet got some time gaps to the uh, chasing teams. We saw earlier that 30 seconds at the last time check, we saw 30 seconds back were the Bulls team and... Uh, the team locks of uh, Lawson and Barrington, but uh, that gap is no doubt growing. We're just following the, uh, the rider, that is the Italian rider of uh, Torpata Factory, that is Jakob Dorigoni, just losing a bit of touch on the climb. And he seems to be struggling a bit, a bit, little bit. Casey South will need to keep an eye on his, on how his partner is doing. He'll need to wait for him. They are not permitted to be separated by more than two minutes. It's a team race. They have to finish. In fact, they have to ride within two minutes of each other at all times. That is the rules of the race. And uh, Daniel Gesmeyer and Bart Allemann, Martin Stozek and Mark Stutzman will smell weakness for sure, and they will exploit this gap. And that is their job of the day: is to exploit any weaknesses they can find because then the more they can narrow that field down at the front then there's a far less uh, far less variables to control and of course it does come down if it does come down to a sprint finish with only having two teams in there it's only another team to manage if you were guest mine Alleman looking for a stage win you'd be very happy just to have Stozek and Stutzman and not to have too many other riders in the mix as they enter the finish shoot in Lenzerheide. 
right now we're with Stefan Sam. Reminder that uh, Stefan Sam is a three times winner of the Absa Cape Epic, so no doubt qualified to be able to follow the world's best on these trails. His bike is a little bit better built for um, for uh, for grip, you could say. Oh, and we have a, an issue there. Casey South has an issue. We'll see how quickly. That is one of the major factors of mountain bike stage racing is accidents happen. Flats happen, mechanicals happen. It's all about how you deal with it. It's how you manage the uh, how you manage the situation. Must be calm, must be collected, and also he'll take this chance to to wait for his partner. Okay, what we see there is he's just putting some sealant into the tire. He'll have a compressed air canister, and that compressed air will be mixed with some sealant, and he'll just hope and pray that he can get some sealant into that tire. And uh, the other essential equipment is a tire plug. And it is um, technology that was actually, if you could call it technology, that actually was derived and first really put into place at the Absa Cape Epic, where the uh, trail surfaces are really rough, and sharp rocks can, uh, can cut the the tires and the sidewalls <laughs> we just saw there uh, coming through there. That was a Buff Megamo team of uh, the Hans Becking and Proust partnership. And the back on the e-bike is Stefan Sam chasing down the leaders to see exactly what's happening at the front of the race. It looked like uh, Casey South had control over the situation. That tire it was seemed like a manageable situation. It seemed to manage to get the sealant into the tire. And it's all about getting that uh, problem solved as soon as possible and getting back onto the trails and back onto the pace. But right now we're with uh, Stefan Sam on the Bulls Media e-bike, but uh, with uh, Dario Linda is a special guest today. So we're back here in Lenzerheide, and we're having a guest with us. So, Andreas Willam from uh, RTR, there's an interview coming up from you. Yeah, it's a great pleasure to be here to be here for you to be here 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 to be Swiss Epic, this is the first time to be here 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 to I know that we are going to the place of the Pertence, where we are the stand, the arrival, the The place is a good place. A good place to be in the place. We are going to be in Col calendar private, col calendar del lavoro. E ma se preparà a sti dei, senza in buona preparazione, senza in bien entrenamento, a sti buffa in Swiss Epic, c'è un dis, c'è un etapa, tra i 140 km, con c'è un profil che va, si bia si indiosa. Che sta in ciò, essere trenato, se vi fa di un paio chilometri. Yeah, in this case, I said that I'm going to train and I'm going to do a kilometer and I'm going to do a lot of pleasure. I'm going to do a lot of concurrence with the people who are prepared and I'm going to do a lot of pleasure. Yes, I'm going to do a lot of pleasure. In Swiss Epic, in the region of Soi Mouret, I'm going to do a lot of discourse. There's a lot of attention and there's a lot of pleasure. Per vero ma in dominiasci in corsa. Ho oh, la, la grande sfida di seguire chi in va in dus, also io sto sto con sta l'equipe, il, il partenari che, che fa con te la corsa, uh, sto in, in sto marai in sin lauter, in sto è funzionai in con lauter, uh, marai in smondi in 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 esperte dat constante. Lui naturalmente schon, als de vos dice se lui è un po' de morde, uh, di sto marai che la che la condizione Constat è che i fegli importanti è il nutrimento. Tin sbaglio a mai andrec è bove defects naturalmente. Defects vengono giù in zona, due equipe cano giù defects che stanno se capisci lo pina se non svelo smi cina con el in cins uaffen dan forse in slaughter reserve. 
quello di quello che vai si la morale un po' sin zaci in defect forse Gesù si grada la prima etapa e in minchia caso qui qui dipende naturalmente da chi già è la corsa se quando si vede che le due equipe si devono grada la prima etapa la prima ora e la prima due ore se qui qui c'è un si che va va si la morale si che che stai sburrando essere in prima di quando va naturalmente non si con giù è il limite di ciò che sai sai capita che che si vede in giubbai ad altro in in plato se quando si non si vede Die Lavour ist die Firma BMC, die also jeden Sonnen Material steht, ich kann Stein, steht wenn die Klitsch, weil das Material funktioniert, ich kann ein paar Tonnen, sie hat das Material nicht, ich kann nicht, ich kann nicht, wie du Pause sitzt, ich kann nicht, 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 das Material ist schon mal nicht mehr, es ist nicht mehr fern. Ja, also ich denke, ich denke, naturalmente, wenn man da als der Voss uns, als der Voss die Agents, die Grandezze der Les Rodes, wie das Bikes, die aus der Wende 26 Zoll sind, sind 29 Zoll. Der Nief, nie der Pim Perons, waren als Biarze kun, kun Pneus in Tech Pilats, also kun mit da und wenn der Pim Baul du sin, du, du schun, du sie sich jetzt schon la Dezze ist der du s Komma Quater. Um, wie das Profil, als ich, als ich Busse mit da aus Schibia. Also wenn sie, sie hier wieder das Problem ist, also ich war an, an uns mit da und wenn die 10 mm, das Biach sind, sind 10 oder 10 mm. Aber ich brenne in den Problem, aber ich bin sehr komfort. Ich wollte aber dich als Welt, wenn ich in den Tick Tick Griff bin, ich bin ja wie man auch sagt, um einfach zu wohnen, schon in die Jahre, sie sind ja Gramm, gerade wie Velos, 8, 9 Kilo, das sind die. Ich sehe schon, wenn ich aber ein bisschen greife, wenn ich ein bisschen greife, dann ist es ein bisschen greife. Exakt, exakt. Als Velo sind wir nicht ein bisschen greife. Also, wir haben ein Tag zwei Kilo, das ist ein Modell. Ich habe die Idee, ich bin ein bisschen greife, dass es ein Komfort ist, dass es ein Velo-Rolle mehr ist. Das ist in einer zweiten Sicherheit. Also, wenn jemand auf den Nuss kann, kann ein paar ein bisschen greife, dass es eine kleine Platte ist. Qui fa il livello automatico ma in tempi grefs. C'è che ti ha zeon detto che vuole un portante bai per via, se nutri via. 2025 ti è stato la partenza, c'è mai a scel. C'è un dis gels. Alzo, c'è un altro via gels, qui con stat. Io ho già dentro un mio pone, un po' di banana, perché... Qui non si mai picca in ton gels, poi non si può più fare da quel gels e quel... Quei dolci, allora c'è che noi smiamo dentro e non c'è un po' di vasi di stanno e un po' di fritti. Allora c'è che ho biscuiti che deve, che non sai che non mi dà una funzione, semplicemente in forma in te, per dire, se c'è dentro il denso. Hai il buon vondo di quel gel, senza c'è un dis. E il magun che è so volvius. Quei chance che non sto già a dare, che non si vede il clic che è il magun, che non si vede il super, ma è in un'altra propria vonda, se c'è un dis, poi è in un'altra propria vonda, poi è in un'altra vonda. E se c'è che non sto a trenare, forse non sono mai, per quelli che non sono forse bocca, per quelli che non sono mai di un gel, in bocca vengono a cercare, ma è in un gel, sa che funziona? Questo funziona, questo è per i devosi op. Nel mio modo era già un stau di trenare la lanciata sessione un po' con gel, se ci non si vedeva in tutti i tempi più lunghi, che si prendeva anche un po' di sforzo, in realtà in due gel per sentire di quello che è il magun, sentire un po' di quel dolce. Non so se non so che è un giù, il flow trail è un giù, Wo fehlt die Prätensions? Wo kann es sein, wenn es jetzt schammer schall wäre? Wo? Ein bisschen Käse, ja. Wo wäre es auch bei Ihnen? Ich glaube, es war ein Dekadio. Es ist ins Meer, cool Laura. Die Paare der Dessert perfekt. Wo man mir kaul, wo man mir freut. Bundestemperatur. Aber es funktioniert an Semen. Ich habe es gerne eine zweite Taktik. Aber es war ein Dekadio, eine Etappe. La tattica, si adatta quello durante il dì, durante la corsa? Io credo che questo si adatta durante la corsa e l'unica che noi siamo, noi siamo un po' più di voi, 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 
Hai zero in bianco un po' fermo in giuchio, quasi. Bianco è con sé esperienza che aveva del del de vasone, se l'ausi sta o c'è che dina Elma vor der von. Da ve von in in tempo che il che io venivo de de di Swenter, a mo sa ve mi ne buna lingua lui, quasi. Questo è un po' tanto. Di qualche più fermo se di in giu va o da von in giu, questo son Nus vevan fa giu que scha e per quel che le sa mo sa di ne buna lingua de da in certe situazioni di in giu. Dar mir han über Gels geredet. Fünf Tage lang Gelkes. Das 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 han i mitgekriegt. Ja, ja. Nicht Schnitzelpomfri. Nicht Schnitzelpomfri, Schnitzelpomfri wär jetzt falsch. Uh, this was a, an interview with uh, the Michi Meisen, a former competitor at the at the Swiss Sapic in the native language Rätromanisch, we call it here. This is the fourth language in uh, Switzerland. It sounds probably a bit strange to you, but uh, in this part of Switzerland, this is the language spoken. So uh, Remigi, we talked about this uh, shell, shell eating during five days. <laughs> That's not the only thing you eat. No, for, for me not. Uh, of course, you eat a lot of, of gels, but uh, I also ate uh, some bread, then yeah. I had some bananas that we, we could eat. And even at the evening, we ate some, some meat. Yeah, and the stomach has used to get to get used to the stuff like that. So you have probably to test that before to eat just stuff like that. Yes, we we bought some different brands uh, yeah. the year before, and then we we had to test it on on some rides that we we did before a month before. Yeah. So when did you compete? That was probably five five years ago. Is it right or? No, two years ago. Two years 20, ago. Twenty twenty one. Okay, I forget about. Sorry, I was on the run with you. Uh, now you're back at the starting line. Yes. Yeah. And are you coming back? Uh, <laughs> we will see. No, I, I would like to do it uh, once again. Yeah. And of course, it has to, to match with the calendar, with work. Yeah, and you with talked holidays. with uh, Andreas about that. So, so you, you're working, you have a proper working down, plan, and then yeah, it has to match perfectly in that. Yes, even as a hobby rider, you, yeah. you have to fix it in, in your calendar and, and try to that it works with uh, the working time and with holidays and for me it was one week of holiday no? yeah so yeah yeah that's, that's the it most has thing. to match with the uh, girlfriend and with friends and, and all together it's the girlfriend yeah. work <laughs> sometimes <laughs> yes yeah, yeah. So, so this is the food station, uh, as we, we talked before with Remici, former uh, competitor here Remici, how is the atmosphere between the riders? So you're not with the elite men, so you competed in the, in like, let's say, a fun category. Yes. So, yeah, I think it's really friendly, no? Yes, the, the first day the, you can feel the tension, <laughs> but uh, then uh, after an hour you, you are in your group and you ride more or less the, the same uh, the same speed as as, as the the competitors that yeah. are around you. So mostly uh, on on the trails, it, it's it's very friendly. But but you could feel the the first day in the first hour you could feel that there was some tension. Yeah. Going on. on the trails, you had guys that were maybe not as fast as we were uh, in the downhill, and, and oh yeah, uh, yeah, you, we were trying to to overtake them, and uh -huh. you could feel that it was uh, a race even in the fan category. Good. So, which is the s which is the hardest day, the first or the last, or is it the day in between? So, for us, it was definitely the day in between, so the third day. I remember something. You've been suffering there the most, no? Yes. <laughs> of <course. laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much, uh, Remichi Weisen. That was uh, the you. interview Thank first you. in uh, Romance. And now in English, and we are back um, at the front of the ladies' uh, group. So, uh, yeah, it split it up a little bit. So, in the lead at the moment is the, at service station one, this is Elisato Efficient Infinity Inger. This is uh, Vera Loser and uh, Kim Lecourt. And uh, they're probably followed by the European champion Adelheid Morat and Bettina Janas, the team the Falls uh, Klosters. They've been on the second place before, and the third place it was still Katarzyna Sosna and Irina Lützerschwab. We saw some changes in, uh, in, the, in the men's field, because uh, Torpado, Factory, Casey Thousand, and uh, Jakob Dorigoni, they uh, had a flat tire. They had to, uh, to fix that one. 
and uh, yeah, probably that takes uh, that takes a lot of time. But Amici, if you're here, do you uh, train uh, yeah fixing a, a flat tire as well before? Yes, of course. You you have to train it in even in a, in the, at the fan fan category. We we wanted to to know how how you have to fix a flat tire. So they're running. Most of the riders are running tubeless tires, some uh, uh, milk yes. in them. Yes. So it's a solution that uh, that can fix a, 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 a snake bite or something like that immediately. But uh, yeah, it's really rocky up here. So it's it's on single trails. So what do you do you carry with yourself during a, a stage like that? So some. Uh, so some we some we had both uh, a tube. Yeah. We had a. I had a tube, pump. Yeah. yeah. Uh, a pump and. She shared it. So one is bringing that. The other exactly. rider is bringing that. Exactly. We, yeah. we shared the pump, and then we had some plugs. Yeah. So I think around five of them each. Plugs to fix uh, the flat tire the flat with, tire. Uh, with uh, we call it a uh, salami, exactly. a sausage. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, so, so exactly. yeah. Looks yeah. like a worm and yeah. you can so try you to... So you plug a worm in the tire and then the... Uh, it should seal the, the tire. It, it should seal it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And if it does not seal, you need a... Uh, inner tube. An inner tube, exactly. yeah. Yeah. So did you have flat tires? No, we were very lucky. No, oh. no flat tire, and we never had to stop because of uh, mechanical. That was uh, for us. It was a perfect week in terms of mechanicals. Good. So that was the overview of today's stage around Lenze Heide, the first stage of this year's Swiss Epic. This is uh, the leading team uh, of the ladies. This is uh, Vera Lose and uh, Kim LeCourt. And uh, yeah, we're going back to Neil. Thanks, Dario. Some great insights there from uh, from some of the uh, some of the riders that have uh, really experienced this race um, firsthand. And uh, no doubt that uh, this team here, they have plenty of experience between them. They haven't yet won a Spa Swiss Epic, Vera Loza and Kim Lacourt, but they're well on their way to winning the first stage. They had over two minutes on at the very first time check, really early on in the race, and Vera Loza setting a cracking pace, a really great rhythm on the front and putting as much time into their rivals when it really counts. And this is what it's all about. It may sound ruthless, but this is racing. This is racing at the very front, the very sharp end of the field. And... Uh, Considering the riders that they're putting under pressure, Adele Morath is freshly off the World Championships. She was third at the World Championships. And uh, Bettina Yanis, her partner, was uh, placed 16th. So not a bad result from Bettina Yanis. Also placed very well at the Four Island Stage Race in Croatia earlier this year. So Yanis and Morath, no mean team when it comes to mountain bike stage racing. Yet the team of Veloza and Lacourt are absolutely putting them under so much pressure that they are losing minutes and they know exactly what they've got to do. They've got to make hay while the sun shines. It's really important when you have an advantage in mountain bike stage racing to put as much time as possible because you never know. It could be a bad day. It could be a mechanical. You need to gain as much time as possible when you can and just seize the opportunity. And that's certainly what Vera Lozo is doing today. She's employing the, well ex the tactics of an experienced pair where Vera Lawza will set the pace and Kim Lacourt will just watch carefully and uh, not put her partner under too much pressure. But uh, Vera Lawza, this was a, a tactic that uh, stood them well, stood them in good stead at the Absa Cape Epic and in fact was uh, responsible for them winning the race. And they just uh, kept their powder dry. They uh, went through each day as it took each day as it came and their patience was rewarded. And right now, we are on board with Thomas Frisch Connect. We are right now riding from the, the viewpoint of one of the elder statesmen of the sport. In fact, Thomas Frisch Connect, you could say he was one of the very first big races, big name races of, the, of mountain biking, of the mountain bike discipline. Traveling to the US really early in one, uh, as a former cyclocross rider, he figured he would uh, really take uh, take on this new sport of mountain biking, traveling to the US. And uh, cut to a few years later, he eventually founded the, uh, the Spa Swiss Epic, uh, co-founded it with two others. And he is riding his home race today. Oh, and bad luck for Kim Lacourt. This could spell disaster. 
Let's see exactly what the issue is. It looks like there's some sort of issue with her seat post. Perhaps uh, just straightening it a bit. Not sure if she came down. We're looking at her shirt. She doesn't look like she's showing any signs of having fallen, but taking it uh, very patiently, just making any adjustments that she needs to. But it would be just replacing that multi-tool. Perhaps just taking the time to make those small adjustments. Found that maybe her saddle had slipped a little bit. It happens in a mountain bike stage racing with all the travel. She only arrived in Switzerland, a couple, I think yesterday is from by all reports. So maybe just some teething issues of having had her bike assembled. We'll have to hear from her at the finish line exactly to see what the issue was, but no problem. Her partner Vera Lawser will just ease off on the pace a little bit, just allowing uh, Kim Lacourt just to catch up and they can resume their campaign on this stage, on stage one of the Spa Swiss Epic, the Lenza Heide to Lenza Heide course, 51 kilometers, 2000 meters of climbing, and they look good for that stage win and capturing those orange Chiavita leaders jerseys. And I'll be looking forward to watching those looking out for that signpost when they can eventually just ease off on the power and uh, let the brakes go and enjoy the flow trails of the Lenza Heide region. And the skilled riders, they'll be uh, just a rev. It is race day, of course. They have got a lot to play for. The stakes are high in a mountain bike stage race, but uh, they will no doubt just spend a bit of time enjoying this. Let's just uh, remember that these trails are virtually unseen. Some of the locals will have ridden these trails, but uh, the course is new every year. It's not a tried and tested course. It shows a little bit of difference from the likes of a cross-country course where there'll be seven laps. It'll be ridden several times before uh, any of the riders, um, <coughs> before uh, before any of the racing happens. Uh, so they'll know every inch of the course. In this case, they will not. Everything will be just a little bit of a surprise like we saw there. Weren't quite uh, ready for that little rocky section. And that's what mountain bike stage racing is all about. A new course every year and new surprises and it's all that's what it's all about it's all about keeping your wits about you and not pushing too hard no risks because you never know what's around the next corner could be a rocky section could be a steep drop off and the riders will ride within themselves as we see here a very sensible and very seasoned campaigners Kim Lacourt and Vera Lorza just riding within themselves on these we could call them Daria will maybe agree that these are we you could say natural wild trails hiking trails and uh, they are not gr natural groomed trails. We will be seeing some groomed trails later on, some flow trails, hand-built. But these are a little bit more natural. And of course, you have that gorgeous view down on the right-hand side of the valley. And they'll be looking forward to plunging down into the valley for another for a rest after a hard day's stay. A hard 51 kilometers and 2,000 meters of climbing. They'll be looking forward to that reward in Lenzerheide. And if they keep going at this rate, they'll be taking that orange leader's jersey. The Chivita leader's jersey, the overall general classification is what they have their sights set on on Saturday after stage five as they finish in Davos. But uh, as any mountain bike stage always will tell you, it's all about taking each day as it comes, each corner as it comes, in fact, and not taking anything for granted and dealing with any adversity as it comes. And as we see, taking advantage wherever they can. Kim Lacourt at the back, the Mauritian national champion being led down the trails by Vera Lorza, the Namibian champion, multiple champion in her mountain biking discipline and in many other disciplines on, of cycling too, to accomplish cyclists, cyclists and they're coming into their own in mountain bike stage racing. And the baptism of that, uh, at the Absa Cape Epic 2023, when they won overall dramatic race for them and played their tactics to perfection. We're just hearing from our eyes out on the course that we have a time check on in the men's category. If we cast our minds back to when we were looking at, uh, at the pictures brought to us by the Bulls Media e-bike of Stefan Sam, we saw there were three teams in the mix that was really a Pirelli Canyon North Wave. And uh, we did see the Torpado factory team, Casey South and Jakob Dorogoni. They had a mechanical issue. Casey South had some issues with his tire, but they are now six minutes down. 
but the top two teams to play for the uh, as they roll towards Lenzerheide, the finish in Lenzerheide, Willia Pirelli, Canyon Northwave, that's Gersmeyer and Alemann, Stozek and Stutzmann. We did suspect that these would be the major players in the today's stage, and we weren't wrong. They haven't disappointed us. Gersmeyer in his natural habitat, it's a multiple winner of the Spa Swiss Epic, and Alemann, his partner at Willia Pirelli, a worthy partner. Stozek and Stutzmann in good touch, really close by. Three seconds down is not actually three seconds down. They may have just passed through that time check, but just from leaving a bit of a gap so that there is no risk on the trails, that three seconds pretty much means that they are together. Buff Megamo not quite in touch. That's Hans Becking and Peter Pruss. We saw Pruss struggling a little bit with the fierce pace set by Gersmeyer and Stozek and Alleman. And uh, they are one minute and 17 down. Infinity BIXS Flukiger and Rook Lucas Flukiger is a big name in the sport. It's his home race. He has won big. He's been on this on the world podium in the world championships before. And he is the brother of Matthias Flukiger, who is still active on the World Cup circuit. And Flukiger, no doubt, looking for a podium spot in his home race. Infinity BIXS. Team Larks, another all Swiss team, Baron Dunn and Connie Loza. Connie Loza, a multiple um, national champion and the husband of uh, Vera Loza. So a winning, uh, a winning power couple. And Team Larks also looking to gain some places and put some time into their rivals today. A disappointing day from the Bulls, Simon Schneller and Axel Rodil Cortinat. We expected more from this team. They are pretty much an outfit that has been almost synonymous with mountain bike stage racing at the Absa Cape Epic. They prof you could say they professionalized the sport, in fact, uh, bringing a well-organized, well-drilled backup team and also a well-drilled and well-organized um, support team. They a physio, chef, and uh, as we said, they professionalized the sport. And uh, so it's a bit of a disappointment not to see them at the very front of the field, but uh, we will hear down on the finish line exactly what happened what has been befallen them today as we are back with the women's category. Kim Lacourt directly in front of us and being led down the trails by her partner, Vera Loza. Again, no big risk, no major drama on the downhills, taking, keeping a, a, a firm, firm grip on the pace, not, not really leaving any, anything to chance as well, just uh, keeping good pressure on their rivals, but uh, no risks at all. Because there is every chance that uh, you can't necessarily win on a downhill section like this. This is a groomed trail, bermed trail, but it's possible that one mistake could lose everything. So no risks as Thomas Ditch follows the best riders in the world, the best stage racers in the world, Vera Lorza and uh, Kim Lacourt down this beautiful flow trail and no doubt any watching today who's a mountain biker will be living vicariously through Thomas Ditch and of course Vera Lorza and Kim Lacourt wishing they were here right now in Lenzerheide on in the Graubünden region in one of mountain biking's homes Switzerland we're in the Swiss Alps and uh, we've got Dario who's uh, also, he's a local in the area. He knows the trails very well. He'll tell us a little bit more about this trail that we're seeing right now. So this is the flow trail coming down the flow line in uh, the bike park of the Bike Kingdom, uh, Lenzerheide. Yeah, there are a lot of trails like that in this area, so probably five or six coming down from Charmoin, where the ladies, the women's just uh, went uh, through. So all handmade, real nice flow. This is the easiest line. So there are a lot of different lines on the right-hand side. This is uh, the jump line. So a lot of uh, North Shore jumps and buildings there. Riders are taking the flow line down now. And on the after the second uphill, the downhill from uh, Pichcalotas, it's also, uh, especially for bikers, uh, built trail. Built trail, but uh, yeah, not as flowy as that one. It's a narrow one. It's a, yeah, it's an old hiking trail. And now it's a bike trail. So you see, you're getting dizzy probably watching uh, 
the ride is cruising down that one, but you're not getting dizzy. If you're on your bike, you're just getting happy. And you want to start to uh, scream and sing and uh, yeah, cheer all the uh, all the other riders on that course on. So this is right in the middle of the uh, women's field. We just seen that uh, they had uh, to fix the the, the the saddle probably. But on this downhill, you're not sitting on a saddle. You're enjoying, you're just cruising, you're just surfing and you're just enjoying the moment. So as often in, in, in the back of the field, people are really screaming. In Switzerland, we call it a Juchzer. So a Juchzer is like, yeah, <laughs> this is a typical uh, Swiss Juchzer. Yeah, if you're happy, we do that. So I've seen a lot of rollers, a lot of jumps, a lot of berms. And something really cool in uh, the bike kingdom, uh, Lenz and Heide, is that they're having uh, children downhill races on, on, on that course as well. So uh, that's a ra race series since uh, probably three years with the young guns. Uh, the real young ones they have uh, a race is exactly on, on that one. The big ones are on, uh, on a different part of, of the bike park. And uh, yeah, the young guns are going really fast and, and really good. It's awesome to see them riding. So there's a new video just uh, online, a young gun riding together uh, with Nino Schurter. And uh, Nino Schurter was quite impressed by the riding skills of, of, of the young rider. Uh, he was age eight or something like that. And he, he's flying. He's flying over the trail and over over the, the jump. So worth a watch. So that was uh, Team the Force Closters moving up to the to the front. And the thing Les and Premas Donas think by flow trail the Charmoin and Gunter Laya Duel and arrive in the push by a lion in circular mesa dat nella corsa bien 26 26 km sta zoomans le santozza contro giu già quella quella niente arriva già a lei vilie pirelli daniel geismar al defensor del titolo insieme con valt aleman della belgia il momento non dina alla testa insieme con martin stossek della cecchia e mark stutzmann al svizza e quella sua gruppa spia la testa con ina vantaggio di ina due minuti remi di mai se non dina se capisce che non si remi di mai se non si dina se quel flow trail vese forse bu o si spettacular con ti ai si us due mila vencini ci va in spi bugien si in flow trail ni ans bugien si in pau crappa regis Ja, also bei, bei mir personal, ja, ja, ich bin ja in einer Kombination, der da mich duß. Natürlich, wenn ich in, in Flow Trail, da wo ich gerade schiebe, ja, Konzentration, ich gehe, ich gehe in Trail, ich gehe in eine Masse Krappe, da ich, ich fehlt Technik. Äh, ja, ich fahre fahr in Grand Plage, ich gehe, da ich allein da dort gewohnt, da, da die Jude da, da es Flow Trails, ich komme da als Mountainbikes, ich gehe da oben, ich fahre da alles Kurses. Ich habe Prefresche in, in einer Bühne mich scheiden. Und ja, ich... Ich bin so ein bisschen auf die Kunst, 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 che è il velo che non si preferisce per la scienza svizzera e 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 per la scienza svizzera ich bin nun auch ein Enduro-Bike, der sich durchfällt, das war ich ein Ju, aber ich bin in Cross-Country, fully, in einem Glas, aber ich kann es wohl essen, ich spüre es, ich kann es auch sein, ich will es sein, ich will es sein, ich will es sein. In Hachteil, sehen Sie die Pläne, die ich will, ich will es nicht mehr, ich will es nicht mehr, ich will es nicht mehr. Also, ich kann es nicht mehr, ich will 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 es nicht mehr, 
quei ei naturalmein lu per per servignini e per las fridas che inservegni al dies e si e si tenorma in in di gioventà si in corsa si esce di unges das sind ja unsere Prims, Ziklisi, der Alp, Stetz, 232 Kilometer, das Bier, 20 Kilometer, da wollen wir Rivada, Martin Stosse, gegen Marc Stutzmann, der Schweizer, der Test, an Ose, wie in der Schkapeinbau, der Daniel Geis, Maire, Wout, Alemann, von Ihnen, wenn kann in der Tat, Ose, Jakur, und der Tschun, Sekunde, Sil, Duo, Tschech, der Schweizer, das Bier, 20 Kilometer, da wollen wir Rivada, der Migi, sein, schon ein Bruder, der Tarkani. Ja, ja, gut. Questi gli quals vengono ve ve son giù in 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 plana von la corsa ve marone chi ne chi se vesse ne te ca di ve so che scens forse se decidi de 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 ca a te ca co de dnc ve so che scens che se sente ne fetch bain ti ha detto von in giù ve sus di ne schau i qualche ferms o da von perché il detti von in una buona linea esatto a zi val pleuno da von Nein, sie sind Papi Stauer Schneik, Philipp letzt letzt mal auch was sie mei, es steht was ne Mensch Sperma in die Wasch mei, die auch die auch so weit weil da ein ein Tempo nicht das Beste da. Also Leute, das Papi fach, und sie ja auch bitte auch da oder wann, denn du L, bitte auch wann in der Bühne in. Discurin con l'altro fans che durano le tappe, niente che un po' il tunnel focus aus. No, non si non si discurin un fake bianco, ma naturalmente che in in motivazione è ni forza che in dine gaeti sta essa forza che spende gaba e berti che è. Per me è si si dire in in punto centrale de fascia in corsa, hai le comunicazioni in dentro l'altro e e ne c'è una equip perché che la la atmosfera ni el ist doch konstant ne mein in den Terlauter ich habe es ich ge ge in mein Tag bis spät ge chill a lupi tessins das Winter Dario voll fasziniert da extrem fasziniert ja ne es hat mich gerade überrascht dass der Lukas Flückiger ein Dorn ist in der Schweizer Sicht ist sehr gut auch richtig schön wenn der Max Stutzmann im Führig Vierter Platz denn von drei Bahren tun Conny los, Lukas Flückiger, Timon Rühe, hat schon lange nicht mehr gegeben, dass so viele Schweizer vorne mit dabei sind. So since a long time, a few Swiss riders are in the lead at at this year's edition of the of the Swiss Epic. So Martin Stosek leading together with the Swiss champion Mark Stutzmann. 45 seconds. Up to Daniel Geismeyer and Wout Dallemann, third place is Hans Becking and Peter Pruse. Then uh, we're going back to the fourth team. This is the team Lags, Fadri Barandun and Conny Loser and uh, Infinity Bix. Lukas Flück and uh, Timon Ruek are at the moment in fifth place. Three and a half minutes back. This is uh, kilometer 32 Alpstedts. So still a long climb up. Remigi. Um, it's always hard to stay together during a race like that. So uh, you have to stay together. So how do you talk to each other? Not that fast, not that fast. Are there, how was it with you? Was one the stronger one in the downhills and the other one the stronger one in the uphills? Yes, for, for us it was exactly li like you mentioned. Uh, my, my partner, Philip, he was the stronger in the downhills. And uh, me, I was maybe a bit doing the pace in the uphills but yeah you, you have always to talk uh, together yeah because uh, the, for me at a race like this the most important is the atmosphere in between the the two riders so, so if you start uh, yeah within a discussion in the team that's probably the worst thing that can happen yes yes yeah, yeah. yeah. but uh, how you manage that so if, if you if you're climbing up, you always have to look back. If if your partner is still there, uh, if a gap opens, is that yeah, you have to ride your own rhythm. And sometimes to climb slower is not good. It's not uh, yeah. Yeah, breaks your rhythm. Yeah, but uh, at the end, for us in the fan category, it was like this that we knew if if we start slower, we we will have a. A better speed at at the top, and it, yeah. it was really like this that we 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 start slow at the bottom of, of the climbs, and at the end we 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 could overtake some riders who went uh, in the climbs too too fast. So we knew a little bit with uh, which uh, 
wet ditch we we can ride yeah because on on the earlier trainings that we done so we also in the fan ca category we we, we focused a little bit on on wet ditch as well what so was after the five week at uh, the five days so you went on vacation together <laughs> no 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 <laughs> i uh, we started work again so no i mean at you guys together so your partner so still riding together or it, it was enough after ah, five no, days no 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 we we still ride together ah, okay yeah, yeah, okay yeah. So thank you very much, Remichi Meisen and uh, Andreas Wieland for these uh, interviews and uh, we're going back to Neil. Back in the thick of the racing and we just saw there we really expected to see Vera Loza and Kim Lacourt out front for the rest of the day. They showed their dominance on that climb up to the Panorama Trail but in the last section, the bike park, the flow line we saw Bettina Yanis and Adele Morath fly down there and fly straight past Kim Lacourt. Kim Lacourt looked like she was struggling a little, but she had her foot out and uh, she, we just caught a glimpse of her just shaking her head and not happy with the way she's been descending on these technical trails. Needs maybe get her eye in. She only arrived a few hours ago, in fact, in Switzerland, so she might just be spending a bit of time getting her eye into the trails and the uh, locals uh, putting some time into the top women's team. And Canyon Northwave in the men's category are uh, very much in charge of affairs. Martin Stozek, second off his second place off the World Championships. Uh, very recently, Stutzman, another major victory. And they clearly ha are the team that are on form. Equal ability to William Pirelli, the uh, Highly successful Ga Daniel Gersmein, right? And they were riding at about 45 seconds back. And with Buff, Megamo, Becking, and Pruce. Pruce not quite up to the pace. And Becking, nur Becking nursing Pruce home. Uh, one minute 45 uh, behind at that time check at the 32 kilometer mark. And all eyes on Team Larks. That's Barandon and Lawser. And Flokiger and Ruhrg, obviously. The all Swiss teams, the local knowledge plays really into the hands of the team Larks and Infinity BIXS. Bulls still slipping down that leaderboard, although we will see a little bit of them, a uh, little bit more of them throughout the week. No doubt they are experienced stage racers. They know all about patience. And we have seen sliding off that, uh, off that leaderboard and out of the top 10 are the Topado team. Let's hope that Casey South's tire issues have not played too much of a role in today's stage. If they've lost time today, there is still tomorrow, but uh, chances of an overall podium are starting to fade for the Swiss and the Italian, but still very much in contention for that overall general classification is Canyon North of William Pirelli with Buff Megamo just lying in wait a little bit. 145 down is not too much. We just saw the, just going through that time check in ninth spot, Beaver Lodges, um, Schogel and Jenny, oh, Jenny the Swiss, Schogel the Austrian, also local knowledge of the Alps uh, playing into their hands, but they are just under 10 minutes off the pace of Canyon Northwave. The fierce pace set by Martin Stozek and Stutzman. We are looking forward to seeing how they fare throughout the week, but today it looks like it's all theirs to play for. Unless Gersmeyer and Allemann can really pull something out of the bag, it's un unsure exactly which of the uh, pairing Gersmeyer and Allemann are struggling, but uh, we can say that uh, Allemann just came fresh off a victory in the European Championships, European Marathon Championships. And of course, that is no mean feat considering the quality and the depth of, uh, of cycling in the mountain biking in Europe with many of the top, in fact, most of the top mountain bikers coming from Europe. So. Alleman clearly on great form. We'll be able to hear on the line at the finish exactly what happened. Blow by blow account of what uh, what went down. We'll have Dario on the finish line, getting extracting information from the racers. And hopefully they'll uh, be willing to share exactly what's been going on. It's all about a bit of a tactical game though. Sometimes riders are a little bit reticent to tell us exactly what's going down. A little bit, um, keep a little bit uh, coy just in case they give away exactly how they're feeling. But we'll still be able to uh, get some information from them as to what happened out on the course today. And right now we're able to get the most fantastic bird's eye view of the trail. We had a trail's eye view with Stefan Sam Thomas Ditch on the Bulls Media e-bikes. But 
now we get a bird's eye view of what the riders can be experiencing, what they are experiencing at the 2023 Spa Swimmers Epic in the Lenzerheide area. Lenzerheide is the host town of stage one and the start of stage two. And we are in the Graubünden region, which is well known, hundreds of kilometers of trails. They are ascending here on a wide open dirt road, which might be a bit of a relief for them. They'll certainly have their fair share of rough trails and single track to contend with. So just a bit of a relief. They can put the power down, get into a nice rhythm and uh, earn that reward that is to come, which will be the flow trails. Um, we just saw the riders earlier on the bike park flow line and on top fops, uh, of course, Nino's gold trail. That is the trail that's made famous by Nino Shows, a 10 time world champion, multiple world cup winner, the record holder of the number of world cups Nino Schurter, Swiss rider and uh, pretty much a national hero you could say Nino Schurter. We're back with the uh, women's contending team this is Vera Lorza and Kim Lacourt we don't have any sign of uh, the uh, team that we saw rocketing past them on the flow trail on the bike park flow line uh, we saw Kim Lacourt struggling a little bit on the downhill section but we expect to we expect to see them catching up on the uphill. They seem to be the stronger team, Lawza and Lacourt, stronger on the uphills. But of course, it's all about the whole package. You need to have the full, you need to bring your A game on the downhills as well as the uphills. And the technical skills will be play a major role in this race, it seems, because that they gained almost, I think, from the time checks, over two minutes on that uphill. And to lose two minutes on the downhill is uh, exposing perhaps a weakness in the Namibian and the Mauritian outfit. So it'll be fascinating to see how that plays out throughout the week. And right now we're with Thomas Ditch, Thomas Ditch, who is following the women's category leaders. And we'll be able to hear from him at some point when we get communications with Thomas Ditch, exactly what's happening out on the trails. Right now we're just content to see the riders putting down the power on the section of tar before they reach the next great single track section that we'll see uh, as they head up towards Unahut, which is the highest point in the race. We've talked about it already. It's 2,200 meters high. It's the highest point of stage one, not the highest point of race week. I think we're already up to 2,600 meters is the highest point in the race. But today only up to 2,200. And we say only, it's uh, not that high in Alpine terms, but high certainly for uh, for those who are used to the altitudes in Mauritius. Um, Kim Lacourt doesn't necessarily, she doesn't live in Mauritius, she lives in South Africa. Um, Vera Lorza, however, is a Switzerland native. She lives with her husband in Switzerland, Connie Lorza. And uh, no doubt she'll be uh, passing on the information, passing on some insights of the trails to Kim Lacourt. They're going at good speed at the moment um, on a nice smooth climb at 16 kilometers an hour, putting in a good rhythm. And Vera Lorza knows all about that. She's a former road cyclist and uh, focused her attention on mountain bike stage racing with great success. And we've uh, talked about it a great deal already. Their fantastic victory in 2023 at the Absa Cape Epic. These two a well, well practiced partnership, and they know exactly what they have to do here. It's all about that rhythm that they need to set. It's not. Uh, it's not all about um, technical skills and uh, and knowing exactly when to attack. Tactics are sometimes uh, make way for just good old hard work and good old solid rhythm set. And right now we're back with Stefan Sam following the men's category. Right now the UCI men's category, the top professionals in the world, and Martin Stozek and Mark Stutzman competing neck and neck with Daniel Gesmeyer. We saw uh, Gesmeyer and Wout Ullmann lose 45 seconds at that time check. And we'll be looking for signs as to what's happened to the William Pirelli team. See right now in one of those uh, wild sections of trails that uh, Stefan Saam will be just navigating, just getting in touch with uh, the leaders of the day.
fact, what we have in front of us, we have the team Buff Megamo. They were lying third on the stage at that 32 kilometer mark. Uh, what about one minute 45 back off the pace of uh, Canyon Northwave? And uh, we have in front is uh, Peter Pruce. He's the national champion, the uh, Estonian national champion, Peter Pruce, and riding for the Buff Megamo outfit, Hans Becking. Um, well-known campaigner in uh, the, the Dutch the Dutch rider, well-known campaigner in mountain bike stage racing, uh, successful in the Epic Series. They uh, won the Andorra Epic recently, so they will have um, some good momentum behind them, but that was when he was riding with Jose Diaz, his trusty partner. Now with a new partner, uh, Peter Pruce, uh, no doubt up for the task, but uh, they'll need to just keep their efforts consistent if they want to have any chance of getting back in touch with Willier Pirelli. But it is a balance for them of not putting in too much effort on the downhills and on the uphills as well. They don't want to blow up on the uphills, put their bodies into the red and uh, risk the chance of blowing up. And also on the downhills, there is a risk of having a crash or a mechanical, just letting the concentration lapse for a bit. So no risks. And it's all about patience because patience very often has proven, um, as the results have shown, that that is one of the greatest traits to have if you're a mountain bike stage racer. Just wait, and because anything can happen in, uh, in any of these epic series races, there's so many, the trail is littered with uh, possible obstacles. And we'll see those obstacles come up throughout the week. And we're with Stefan Sam right now on the Bulls Media e bike. We tried to talk to uh, Stefan Sam. Hey, Dario. On the Bulls Media e bike, oh, Stefan. Oh, How are you, you out can there? Hey, can oh. you hear me? Hey, can you hear me? I'm a little bit out of breath oh, because I tried to catch up to the, the leading group. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, enjoying the ride for sure. So overtaking uh, some hikers. So trails are open in Switzerland <coughs> for everybody. As long as you're friendly. But sometimes the mountain bikers are more friendly than, uh, than the hikers. Oh, that happens often on a ride. If you say, Grüezi miteinander, not even a word. Just uh, uh, a bad face. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. We chat uh, <laughs> with each other sometimes. But uh, now it's a uh, Swiss epic time and uh, mountain bikers are uh, in the lead. Uh, this is the Kenyan North Wave team, Martin yeah, yeah. Stosek. Um, uh, Mark Stutzmann. <coughs> so I tried once again with uh, Stefan, Sam. Yeah, I can hear you clearly, but obviously you can't hear me. Hello, hello. Yeah, but nobody can hear me. I can hear you all. Uh. Oh, <laughs> it's, a, it's a rough finish. It's super steep, like 25% minimum. I'm just catching up to the second in today's stage. Willio Pirelli tried to make the jump to the front to Canyon Northway, but they have quite a gap. Let's see if I can catch them before the downhill. So this is uh, the intermediate part of uh of the trail down from uh, Pichcalotas. And uh, we have a look up here from the village and the sun is shining up there. So uh, in, a, in a short time, they're uh, into blue sky and uh, into the sun uh, for the last downhill. So in front of the, uh, of the riders is uh, the, uh, the Pichcalotas. Which got us, um, and then the real nice uh, flow trail um, down to the village. And we're just getting a good view of the map, the overall view, um, kind of our bird's eye view of the graphic. And we can see there the uh, marker of the Bulls Media e-bike as they head towards the highest point in the race, the Una Hut. That's 2,200 meters, just over 2,200 meters of climb of, uh, of, of altitude. And they'll have certainly done um, 2,000 meters by the time they hit Lenzerheide at the end of the day after 51 kilometers. 
but Yuna had the highest point of the uh, of the day at the on stage one of the Spa Swiss Epic. And with Stefan Sam on the top left hand corner, Stefan's aiming to get back in touch with the leaders as they have passed through the highest point in the race. He'll be in search of uh, Rilia Pirelli and the. Uh, the team of Canyon Northway, the charging team of Canyon Northway, and we can see up in front exactly, we can see the, the figures, the lone figures of uh, Gessmeyer. Let's just see who they are. It is Gessmeyer. Uh, we have Canyon Northway. So we'll be able to get a word from Stefan at some point exactly what's going on in the race. But this is Martin Stozek and Mark Stutzman, the purple where the purple jerseys of the Canyon Northway outfit. The, team that is clearly on form Stozek having been second they second at the world championships Stutzman major victory for him recently and uh, well-known Swiss campaigner this is his home race and he'll be extra motivated and Stozek normally races with uh, Andreas Sievold who is currently in the US racing in, in some national uh, in some marathon races and leaving it up to the Swiss rider to fill those big shoes and he is doing his team proud for sure leading the race and uh, putting a lot of pressure on uh, team William Pirelli it's unusual to see Gersmeyer and Wout Allemann under pressure at that last time check they were 45 seconds back Gersmeyer this is really also his home race he's very much at home when we say at home we mean at home in the Alps and right now we are in the Swiss Alps but the Austrian is uh, he certainly made the the Spa Swiss epic his own from the very beginning of the of the uh, of the race back in 2015 what well, was founded in 2014 but in 2015 Gessmeyer already started to prove his success and prove his ability as a mountain bike stage racer so he's well into his career as a mountain biker and no doubt he can claim that the Swiss epic is very much a part of that in forming the career and with all of the climbing and the descending suits his abilities absolutely perfectly he's also had a really good run at the abs cape epic is uh is the daniel gesmeyer and uh, with some great results some stage wins but the day definitely belongs to martin stozek and mark stutzman martin stozek a former stage winner at the abs cape epic as well and in the 2023 spa swiss epic he looks like this this, this is going to be his uh, his year Just following the riders on the natural trails. You could say the natural trails, they are slightly built up, but a bit of a contrast from the berm trails we saw. These are the natural trails that anyone can come and ride in the Lenzerheide region. In, the, in fact, in the whole Graubünden region, there are hundreds of kilometers of trails just like this with uh, rocky sections, some challenging trails, and no doubt you have to be an experienced mountain biker as shown by the experienced uh, Stefan Sam. He's a three-time winner of the Absa Cape Epic. I'm sure he wishes he was racing at the very front, but he instead he gets the good consolation prize of being able to follow the top races on the Bulls Media e-bike. With a bit of assistance on the uphill, and he's got certainly a bit of extra grip with those beefy tires he has on his e-bike. It's so over a 20 kilogram rig that he's got, but it means that he can bring us the pictures, live pictures, exactly what it's like to be a rider at the Spice Wars Epic. And in fact, if you watch the Apps of Cape Epic as well, you'll see the s similar kind of pictures. Almost an unprecedented technology that's brought us this. It was pioneered at the Apps of Cape Epic, and now it brings us to the Swiss Epic and brings us all pretty much all of the coverage, apart from the drones that you'll see. This is pretty much the coverage we're going to get at the uh, Swiss Epic, and uh, no better than to see it from a perspective of a three-time winner of, uh, of the most competitive mountain bike stage race in the world. Uh, rocky sections challenging for the riders it's not just ups and downs it's the uh, it's the combination of them so they'll have to be always on the shifters always locking their suspension unlocking the suspension need to be full in control some would say that almost akin to a formula one driver is how much how often you need to change gears thousands of shifts per stage and uh, the diametrics and the uh, the diagnostics rather the on the uh, on their electronic shifting systems will tell us that thousands of shifts per day is exactly what it's all about. It's all about being in the right gear at the right time. And that's the skill of a mountain biker, not just being able to navigate through these tricky rocky sections, but also to to be in full control and always intuitively in control of their of their shifting 
because of course if they find themselves in too big a gear they can really put a lot of pressure on their legs it's uh it's really it's it's about managing your efforts and if you're in the wrong gear that can uh, you'll see any amateur will tell you that if you go through a tricky section in the wrong gear you can really hurt your legs and that's that's what it's like being that's what it means to be a professional rider is uh, is the experience and the ability the technical ability um, not just uh, being able to navigate the trails but also to manage your efforts with uh, Stefan Sam going uh, right about 16 kilometers out we just got a glimpse of that uh, display on his uh, left part of his handlebar it's a fast pace to be going through here it didn't say that they're absolutely on the limit but they'll be pretty close because they can smell victory they can smell that stage win in Lenzerheide team at Canyon Northwave look all set to win the stage and uh, that's after 51 kilometers of racing they'll be heading down this uh, flow trail and looking to uh, take the Chiavita leaders jerseys as they reach that final destination of the of today and put a few seconds into their rivals but also have the uh, the honor of wearing the leaders jerseys it'll be the first time that uh, Martin Stozek and uh, and his partner Stutzman will be wearing that jersey in a great pride proud moment it would be for the Swiss but let's not talk too soon let's not jinx it because they are still in the thick of it. They are still navigating this tricky, treacherous trail. You can see they're just navigating there. Stefan Sam just wanting to keep his distance away from it, but also wanting to give us the best perspective, the best view of this race. As we can see Stutzman and Stozek putting some real pressure down as they head down this beautiful trail. Fantastic. I certainly wish that I was there riding this trail and many mountain bikers out there watching this will be Getting there, getting on their laptops and getting to sign up for the next year because this is the region of mountain biking that is to be conquered. Conquer the Alps is the, is the slogan of the Spa Swiss Epic and it is absolutely all about that. It's about mastering these trails and the riders in front of us are showing us exactly how it's done. And uh, Dario, you're down on the trails. You've ridden these, uh, this section. Can you tell us a little bit about this, uh, this section? It seems to be going on for a very long time. And uh, that's what single track's all about. Dario, tell us about, about, about a little bit more about this section. Yeah, this section is, is really flowy. And, uh, but as you just see before, it's uh, some rocks in between. And uh, even in the banks, the, the rocks are really dangerous. So that makes it hard for the riders to, uh, to downhill uh, properly. And uh, yeah, th th they really have to take care not getting a, a flat tire because they're riding real uh, light tires. But they're doing good at the moment, having a, a constant speed, looking for the safe line, not going too fast. And this trail is, re is, is really awesome. So normally you go up with the lift. You don't have to uh, take the long, long uphill. But uh, the apple is worth it after this down is. So this down is sounds more like like shoo, chugga, boom, shoo, 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 and then a bit of flying. So uh, yeah, really, really nice one. And uh, this trail is not shared with the hikers. So it's a separate trail for uh, the mountain bikers. So even if you're uh, not racing here, you can go full gas. So. Nobody is is, uh, is coming up this trail, and it, it, it's a long one. It's a it's a real long one, and uh, after the uphill straight into a downhill. Yeah, some, uh, sometimes you're really exhausted after the uh, after the uphill, and then going straight into a downhill doesn't make it easier. So the pulse is not coming down that much, and uh, yeah. They probably don't know these trails, so uh, makes it even a bit dangerous. Andreas, we have a guy here who knows exactly about things like that. Hey, my son. 
Also der Vos 15 km von uns die Schwiel als äh, Zyklist an der Teste, nur zwei an der Teste, Martin Stossecki, Marc Stutzmann, pure mal in duas Minuten von der Stadt in der Konkurrenz. Genau, das sind der Vos 15 km, das noch gewisse Sätze von der Runde, da muss ich ein Ziel, ein Schock, ein Bucron, Start, was das Bigon Snug, der Bola Potenz, das kann ich nicht noch schuften, der Weg, Lass Bruch, der Kredia Steig, an der Potenz, an der Gabinette, 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 the finish line on Es ist sehr wichtig, aber es ist speziell. Es ist gut zu sehen. Es gibt eine Geile mit diesem Kurs, mit dieser Forza, die sich um die Reihe entwickelt. Es ist auch so stark, wie es ist. Es ist ein Kurs, das wir uns um die Reihe entwickeln. Es ist eine Reihe, die wir uns um die Reihe entwickeln. Es ist eine Reihe, die wir uns um die Reihe entwickeln. Es ist eine Reihe, die wir uns um die Reihe entwickeln. Es ist eine Reihe, die wir uns um die Reihe entwickeln. Es ist eine Reihe, die wir uns um die Reihe entwickeln. Es ist eine Reihe, die wir uns um die Reihe entwickeln. Matthias Stirnemann, der in der Ekipe des Geniels Top 10 Jetzt ist schon sehr interessant, die Diskussion an Paul Kunels. Die Taktik ist geil, die sie uns haben, 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 die sie uns haben. Die sie uns haben, 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 Also in Bremen ist es so, dass wir uns an der Reihe sehen, aber ja, die Daten sind nicht mehr da, wenn sie an der Reihe sind. Es ist gut, wie wir uns an der Reihe sehen. Wir haben uns an der Reihe sehen, wir haben uns an der Reihe sehen, wir haben uns an der Reihe sehen. Wir haben uns an der Reihe sehen, 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 wir haben uns an der Reihe sehen. Okay, ich dachte, ich habe schon ein bisschen gesagt, dass ich euch reserve auch für die Package der Massage. Das ist eine gute Idee. Wir haben uns jetzt schon die Jungen der Männer im Chat, also der Männer im Boin der Glatsch, die ja deine... Du kannst schon zu dir, Boin der Glatsch. Ein paar Dürer der Bonniere kann auch der Glatsch. Was ist das für dich? Nein, ja, ich habe schon ein paar Fatsch gemacht. 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 So, auch okay, so, wenn du es gerade äh, lasst, ob ich da stehe. Du hast ja mehr im Bunde gelatscht für, äh, für den Hals genommen oder einfach ein kaltes Bier nach dem Rennen. Genau, das sagst du richtig, Dario. Also, ein Bier, ein kaltes Bier dürfen natürlich nicht fehlen nach jeder Etappe. Okay. Ja. Yeah, this is a good thing. So, Remitri just told us that no uh, ice bars after a day like this, just, uh, just a cold beer. So, at the moment, we're at the women's uh, leader and... Uh, um, we're there with uh, Thomas. Thomas, how is it out there? Oh, hello. Can you hear me now? Yes? Yeah, cool. Yes, I can yeah, hear you, at Thomas. Moment, it's really, really steep climb. We just uh, crossed uh, the feed zone, the second feed zone. And now we hit a uh, really, really steep, steep climb, around 20%. Even with a bike, it's not easy. <laughs> So we saw that uh, the, the leading team had a problem with, uh, with the sea tube. Is everything fixed and everything yeah, no, looks everything good now? Yeah, everything is fixed. It's just a, a small, uh, yeah. Um, Kim puts uh, the, um, the seat post a little bit uh, higher. But now all, all, is, uh, all is okay. It's all looking good. So, if you look in the face of the of, of, of the women, so how do they look? Are they uh, totally exhausted on this last no, uphill? They are riding well, they are uh, riding uh, and uh, looking after each other, and uh, they are not pushing like to the to the over the limit. It's a long race, five days, and it's not on the first day that you have to give everything. And how are you feeling? Uh, <laughs> No, I really enjoy the trails. 
the, the last uh, downhill was uh, unbelievable. So so nice, really flowing, and uh, the landscape here. I'm French. It's really a pleasure to ride here in in Switzerland. I really enjoy. It. So then wait for uh, for the last uh, downhill uh, from the top uh, down to the village. This is a, a real real master one. Thank you very much, uh, Thomas Ditch. He's uh, the, the leading uh, ladies at the moment on course this is live camera this is still Vera Losa and Kim Lecourt over four minutes in the lead uh, to Bettina Janas and uh, Adelheid uh, Morat and uh, we're back with the man and that means we have uh, Stefan Sam with us so hello and good morning Stefan hey hello Dario so. So, how's it going out there? So, these guys are uh, in the lead sin since a long time. So, uh, the newly crowned Swiss champion Mark Stutzmann and uh, Martin uh, Stosek. And, uh, yeah, they already made the they last made downhill. They made the last downhill, really, really checking for the line, not risking anything. And both working like clockwork. It's yeah. really good to watch, uh, <laughs> like, in uh, <laughs> syn synchronized, synchronized power. <laughs> Yeah. Are you surprised by the lead not of really. these two guys? So Martin Stoss and Mark Stutzmann, <laughs> not, not really. really. I, I thought maybe that Willi Pirelli could uh, hold on a bit longer. But I also was at Swiss yeah. Champs last week. I uh, was uh, supporting Urs Huber, Team Bolt's rider. And I saw Mark Stutzmann. He looked really good there. And I mean, Martin, Martin Stoss like, is a powerhouse. Anyway, so he can just push. Yeah. Uh, Mark is uh, a little bit stronger in the in the downhills, so he's taking the lead and making sure, showing uh, Martin the good lines. Really working well together. Great. So it's probably a bit hard. So the Swiss Championship that was on was on yeah, Sunday, was and uh, not on not trying to recover. So I'm actually surprised. No, totally and, not. And I mean, the Eiger Bike Challenge is one of the roughest and hardest courses. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was just a few, uh, two days ago, and Mark Stutzmann is back Absolutely. in charge here at, um, at, at the Swiss Epic. So, one more question, Stefan. You enjoying the trails? Because I live in Switzerland, it's pretty average for me. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is amazing. Oh no, come on. <laughs> I, I love, yeah, I love okay, Carl yeah. and I love Lance <laughs> Heide. <laughs> Just the best, best place for mountain bike. Okay. Yeah, so the sun comes out now and uh, yeah, look at these trails. So nice to ride them and uh, even nice to ride them on, on an e-bike to follow uh, the top riders. This is uh, Stefan Sam, three times winner of the Cape Epic and since a few years he's providing us with uh, brilliant uh, pictures. Yeah, and uh, it's a real joy to uh, to have a look at these guys. Look at the, on his bull bike, 2730 kilometers per hour. They're uh, riding down uh, these trails, these beautiful trails uh, of uh, Al Fox. That's richtig schnell, Andreas. <laughs> oh yes, oh yes. Okay, we can't see the top riders at the moment because the camera is a bit too much down at the moment. Yeah, we are with with Andreas. Eba, da da got stuck it on him. All right, all right. We go in uh, back to New. Thank you very much, Stefan. We just there from Stefan Simon. Some great insights on the trail, as always, from the three-time winner of the Absa Cape Epic. He has the uh, unenviable task of uh, of having to follow these uh, top professionals, but he's taking it in his stride. And uh, Stefan Sam certainly uh, 
definitely jokes aside he is enjoying the um, he's enjoying the trails as much as anyone but at the in the thick of the action is the uh, Kenya North Wave team Martin Stozek and Mark Stutzman they have put over two minutes into their rivals and it doesn't bode well for William Pirelli to have lost the touch with the leaders at this point uh, they'll live to fight another day of course Daniel Gesmeyer of Adalam and experienced campaigners they know exactly all about patience all about mountain bike stage racing but Stozek and Stutzman what a performance from the Czech and the Swiss, both coming from, you could say, mountain bike regions, uh, the Czech. Um, Czech, uh, of course, we remember the likes of Jaroslav Kulhavi and, of course, Christian Heineck, who is, in fact, Martin Stozek and Stutzman's team manager, accomplished mountain bikers and a uh, long line of mountain biking, uh, certainly in, the, in, in Switzerland. Stutzman doing his nation proud at his home race. And we are back with Vera Laws and Kem Lecourt well in the lead. Laws and Lecourt from Elizata Efficient Infinity Insure. Fantastic team uh, in the early part of the year at the ABSA Cape Epic 2023 edition won by these two. And uh, they are on an absolute flyer today, certainly having putting lots of time into Bettina Yanis and Adama Rath on the climbs and holding their own on the downhills. And they are looking for another victory. The could say the Namibian, but she lives in Switzerland, Vera Lawser, and the Mauritian uh, Kim Lacourt, who lives in South Africa. And uh, just uh, Kim Lacourt just putting a bit of pressure down on the trails. No need to really take go too deep into the red and uh, need to look after each other as they head down towards uh, Lenzerheide. And they're passing the service station number two at the 32 kilometer mark. Just looking at that massive time gap they've put into Bettina Yanis and Adelmarath, five and a half minutes. And to Potter Bulls, Irina Luchel Schwab, nine minutes down, riding with her partner, Sosna, the Lithuanian. And uh, there's a bit of a podium developing there, that's for sure. But uh, the favorite team, just based on these, uh, on just a couple of hours of racing, just could say two hours and a bit of racing that... Uh, the team of Vera Lawza and Kim Lickle look very much in charge of this race. Anything can happen at mountain bike staging. We've said it many, many times, as was proven at the Absa Cape Epic in 2023, earlier in March. And uh, they will be well aware of it. So at this point in the race, they have a commanding position. Their tactic right now will definitely be no risks. They know they have the firepower on the climbs to put over five minutes into their rivals, their nearest rivals of Marath and Yanis. So at this stage, they can afford to ride a bit more conservatively and it'll put pressure on their rivals for sure. And of course, when there's pressure, there are mistakes. So they're in a commanding position in this race. And we're back with the men, back with Stefan Sam on the Bulls Media e-bike. And we are with the top performers of the day. The looks like the best team of the day, Martin Stozek and, and uh, Mark Stutzman. We have a bit of picture breakup but uh, it's clear that they are still on their bikes and still charging for that stage win today. And of course, they'll be pulling on those jerseys. If everything goes as it is now, they will be pulling on those jerseys at the end of the day. Vera Laws are on the back, just keeping her own rhythm, although it's a very high rhythm and certainly enough to put over five minutes into their nearest rivals. But Vera Laws are just taking this climb in her stride and uh, Playing the sensible role of, uh, of any rider who really wants to ha has ambitions at the race is to do the hard work obviously before the race, but the hard work also happens during the race. And it's those tough sections that aren't necessarily um, thrilling. It's just about putting in a really high, st strong rhythm so that they can put even more time into their rivals. But that's what you don't always see in mountain bike stage racing, are these tough sections, these grinding sections up the hill as we saw. Yes, we can see on the right here, they are passing a, a men's team who are having mechanical trouble pumping that tire. And it's unusual to see a hand pump being used. Normally the, uh, the riders are using or carrying the cartridges, CO2 cartridges that inflate tires really fast. Perhaps that rider has been through all of them, but uh, no problems for Canyon North Wave, Martin Stozek, Mark Stutzman. They were listed as team number two because Daniel Gesmeyer, the winner of the 2022 edition, Daniel Gesmeyer takes the number board one, but Martin Stozak and Mark Stutzman look well on track to be the number one team as they reach Lenzerheide. We haven't got exactly the 
number of kilometers to go we'll get that maybe daria has some information as to how close they are to the finish but it's very clear they've got their ears pinned back and uh we see Mark Stutzman well in the draft, almost like a road cyclist, not leaving an inch between the rear tire of uh, Martin Stozek. Martin Stozek pushing the pace, Stutzman behind him, and they have their ears pinned back, and they're heading into the start finish of Lenzerheide. They have uh, not too far to go still. They'll be, um, perhaps even, uh, won't be long before they can hear the announcer, but uh, still, Still, they're very much in the valley. They've passed through the major obstacles of the day. They've been over the high point of the race. That is the uh, section at Yunahat, and they have gone through Top Fops and the road section got to lane, and they'll have one final single track section before the tar, tar road that'll lead them into the start finish in Lenzerheide. And to Hero's welcome after stage one, and we've said it already, what we'll be waiting for them is that yellow Chiavita leader's jersey that they can pull on and ride proudly on stage two. It'll be quite a big um, a big ask for Canyon Northwave to hold on to it with the hard charging Willia Pirelli, Gessmeyer and Alleman will want revenge after today's stage. And uh, let's hope that uh, Stozak and Stutzman haven't gone too into the red and spent too many biscuits, as they say in mountain biking. Just giving away too many biscuits and just just to gain that uh, that stage win, hopefully they'll be riding within themselves. But they have the experience of Martin Stozek and of course Christian Heineck, who is uh, their team manager. He'll be imparting his wisdom garnered from mountain biking and of course a successful campaigner at the Absa Cape Epic, himself a former winner, uh, riding uh, in the Canyon Northwave colors. just see from the high cadence of the riders that they're still feeling good and it's always a good sign when you see uh, that smooth fast pedaling style and Stutzman and Stozek looking very strong just identifying the riders here we see on the back that is actually uh, Martin Stozek on the back, um, sitting very firmly in the draft of Mark Stutzman. Both clearly on form. Very well matched, this pair. And that is the perfect ingredient for uh, a victory at this race. As they enter the final single track section before they hit the tar, as they head into the town and the start finish in Lenzerheide. They'll hear the announcer at this point. Only a couple of kilometers to go before they reach the 51 kilometer mark. And that marks the finish of stage one at the Spa Swiss Epic in 2023. They will have climbed over 2,000 meters, or gained over 2,000 meters of altitude, some hard work done on the trails leading into Lenzerheide. It's a loop course today. Tomorrow is a transition course, but uh, they'll be looking forward to just the final few kilometers. And then as soon as they've finished, they'll have their celebrations and then they'll start their recovery routine as well-known professionals, Stozek and Stutzman, they know exactly what they've got to do. 51 kilometers is not a big distance when it comes to a long hand racing like this, but they'll know they will leave nothing to chance. They will put in their recovery routines. They'll have their uh, nutrition ready for them at, as they hit the finish. They may have their ice baths. Who knows if they'll have their cold beer as well, but uh, that'll be something that we'll have to keep an eye on. And all eyes back on what Willia Pirelli are doing. They were over two minutes back at that time check. Gesmar and Alleman, they will need to limit their losses. And Buff, Megamo, Hans Becking, Peter Pruss seem to be the third team on the road. But they are looking back at the all-Swiss team of Fadri Barandun and Connie Lawser. And we also saw Lucas Flukiger and Timon Ruig. Also, the local teams, all Swiss teams, looking to uh, put their name in lights at their home race. Not long to go for the uh, team of Canyon Northwave, Martin Stozek and Mark Stutzman, as they will be reaching the start finish area very soon. They have victory in their sights, and the figure of uh, Mark Stutzman at the front and Martin Stozek very firmly in his draft. 
wanting to uh, gain. In fact, it's the other way around. Mark Strickland's on the back. It's hard to tell these two apart, even from their pedaling style. And that is a good thing because if they are looking alike, it means that they're riding alike. And uh, it's just uh, one of those things that when you see things, when things look right, they normally are right. Martin Stozek and uh, Mark Strutzman. And in fact, in exactly in that order, as you see it there on the screen is exactly how they're riding. And Stozek, a, a Czech national, he's been national champion, which is no mean feat in, in the Czech Republic, considering the uh, rivals that he's had to contend with, Christian Hynek, and uh, of course, the one of the most accomplished mountain bikers of all time is Yaroslav Kulhavi. Just heading through the outskirts of Lenza Haida, the uh, start finish area. They will be uh, just taking in and enjoying the sweet uh, feeling of pulling into the side. They're almost at the finish now. And uh, Team Canyon Northway, if they have done it, they have achieved what they came out to do. They are doing exactly as they planned. Sturzman, Stozek, successful partnership, and they take stage one at the 2023 Spa Swiss Epic. Congratulations to Canyon Northwave, and now all eyes on that clock to see how much time they've put into Willia Pirelli on the overall. They've taken the stage. That's one box ticked. The next box they have to tick was to put as much time as possible into their nearest rivals, Daniel Gersmeyer and Wout Allemann. Celebrations all round for the Swiss Czech team. And there we can see Christian Hynek high fives for the riders, for his team. He'll be proud of uh, their efforts. And uh, he'll be uh, doing a bit of an analysis on their performance, having a look at their power files. But uh, right now it's all about just some celebrations, some, some pictures for posterity, posterity and uh, also something to be putting on their social media feed just to... Um, show that they are in fact the dominant team whether they like it or not they are now the race favorites it's not necessarily something that you as a rider will always want to have a target on on your back but uh, by default now they're the race favorites william pirelli still to come in Gersmeyer and Alleman, not on the best day not on the day that we expected from them but uh, with four days to go and uh, and a high stakes game that is mountain bike stage racing is one of the final major races of the season the Spa Swiss Epic. So if anyone, any rider wants to uh, really put the cherry on the top of a season, uh, it will be right now. And certainly putting a cherry on top of the season is uh, Martin Stozik, second at the World Championships. Stutzman also major victories on fantastic form and uh, capping it off with a fantastic, well-earned stage victory, stage one at the Spa Swiss Epic. Now, we're just uh, hoping to hear from Dario. He will be down on the line in, in Lenzerheide. He might be having some, just being able to see what's, uh, what things are like on the ground there. Dario, are you with us? On stage one of the UCI men's category, racing for the honors to wear our category leaders' jerseys, all sponsored by Chia Vita. We are getting ready for our second place team. They should be moments away from arriving at the finish line. Are you ready, William Peretti? No strangers to the top. And we're back with the women's six. Oh no, we're live right now at the finish, and we've just seen the team of William Pirelli, Gesmeyer, and uh, Alleman. They are still in good spirits. Good spirits enough to maintain that camaraderie, but uh, they have lost significant time to uh, Canyon Northwave. Gesmeyer, the Austrian, but Alleman, the Belgian, and they'll be doing a bit of a debrief. And William Pirelli. Uh, they'll live to fight another day. Right they've still got second place overall. But uh, they'll be looking at those minutes that they've lost to Stozik and Stutzman. Daniel Gersmeyer, a former winner of this race, a multiple winner of this race, will be looking to make good on today's performance. It is Boof Megamore, Hans Becking with Peter Bruce, Nadelant 
And Estonia appeared in the uh, colors of the national champion of Estonia. What a fantastic combination they are. And it's another podium for Booth Megamo. As we see here, all our epic series mountain bike races around the world. Well, there was a dramatic oh, end ready. to the Team stage Mark, in the so men's category with uh, Martin Stozik and Mark Stutzman. And the Bulls. Absolutely fantastic performance from the Czech rider and the native Swiss rider um, taking the stage win and in the process taking the overall Chivita yellow leaders jerseys. And uh, looking back to the time, we'll, we'll just see the official time check, the time back to the... Uh, the uh, William Pirelli team, the favorites of the day before the day started um, of uh, Alleman and uh, Daniel Gersmeyer. And we just saw Buff Megamo pair. That's Bruce and Becking, also well-known campaigners, Buff Megamo team um, coming through in third position. So that's the podium rounded out for today. And we'll just have a look at exactly how, what the time checks look like um, for the official timing. Once we get those results, we'll share them with you. But uh, clearly the race is taking shape. And uh, just out on the course, in the final time checks we saw out in the, in the middle of the course, um, at the uh, highest point in the race, we saw the, Nate, the all Swiss teams having a really great time out there and uh, they'll be looking, they won't be uh, consoled with a podium spot, but they'll know that they're on form and a top five position at, uh, this, at, at this race. And in fact, on any of the Epic Series races is an achievement in itself. And some big names in the sport, Connie Lawser, and we saw Luc Lucas Fluckiger also. It'll be uh, interesting to see how well they've fared throughout the stage. They know the they know the area really well. They know these trails really well, and we'll be excited to see what kind of a role they're going to be playing at the very front of the field in the coming few days. Some gorgeous views of the host town Lenzerheide. And uh, Lenza Heider, it is not just uh, known as the bike kingdom. Bike kingdom, is, bike kingdom is not just a name. It's uh, almost a statement about mountain biking. There's hundreds of kilometers of trails in this area. Two bike parks, a cross country and a downhill World Cup course. The bike kingdom is best known um, as one of the iconic regions of the world. And uh, Lenza Heider, it's the heart of the bike kingdom and it's perfectly located in the middle of this uh, this bike area. And uh, just a combination of the altitude and the first class single track descents. It's just uh, about an hour and a half away from Zurich. So perfect place to visit if you are a mountain biker and really easy to get to. And uh, there is some uh, fantastic hotels. We all know about the Swiss hospitality. That's what the riders will be looking forward to at the end of a hard day today after 51 kilometers of racing. They'll be looking forward to the famous Swiss hospitality in the hotels. And uh, we are back with the women's category and the leaders of the day and pretty much the dominant team of the day, Vera Lorza and Kim Lacourte on a charge right now. And just like we saw with um, the likes of uh, Canyon Northwave, they look to be taking that overall leaders jerseys as well. So Kim Lacourte and Vera Lorza having done a fantastic job today and just putting more and more time into their rivals. We saw at the last time check at the 32 kilometer mark had over five minutes of over their rivals. That was Bettina Yanis and Adama Rath, the DeVos Klosters team, not uh, quite as on form as we expected. They were the winners in 2022, a well tried and tested partnership, but this team have momentum behind them. They were the winners of the 2023 Absa Cape Epic and clearly they've taken with that the form and of course, even more importantly, the confidence of, uh, of a stage of, of a overall victory and of course a stage win. And they are fast approaching the highest point in the race, the 2,216 meter peak. And we'll get a time check from then there.
Oh, we just saw there the uh, Swiss teams. We've been speaking about the all Swiss teams and uh, fantastic result from the uh, from Thomas Rug just at the end, a little bit out of touch with that sprint finish. Uh, but uh, fifth spot on the stage, an achievement. Well done to the Swiss riders. See Kim Lacourt, they can see exactly where they've got to go. This is the final peak. This is the big obstacle of the day. Once they, once they breach this uh, this peak, it'll be downhill all the way. They still have a lot to play for because, of course, they need to be really careful on that downhill section. It's uh, they don't, want, don't want to take too many risks um, on the top fop section. But they will be uh, heading into that uh, water point where we'll be able to get a time check. We'll get a time check with them at the top as soon as the second place team through go through the uh, Yuna Hut section that uh, 2,200 meters will know exactly what kind of a damage that Vera Laws and Kim Lacourt have done on their rivals and on the rest of the field. And we'll get a time check also at the feed zone as they um, head to the well, as they hit the 40k mark. So all eyes on those time checks. They are not riding together. They are well out in front. So you don't we're not seeing any of the jostling that we sometimes see in mountain biking. This team have absolutely laid it all out there and made sure of it. They are making certain that they're going to gain as much time as they can over their rivals, over the entire field, in fact because they know that with the win today, they've got that extra bit of buffer, that extra security, that's that blanket that they can now ride conservatively and take it, uh, take it easy, not take too many risks, and uh, just keep that, uh, keep that yellow jersey and ride confidently, and um, perhaps even defensively. Who knows? They may decide that they want to go out and attack and take some more time out of their rivals, but certainly no risks is the order of the day. Well, we're on the start line, seeing the celebrations, seeing the uh, the tired riders come in. We saw some of the uh, some sprint finish, and we're going to be going down to Dario at the finish line right now. Of today's stage, Mark Stutzmann, was a hard one or was it an easy one? It looked all so relaxed. No, no, it was a hard one because also. Uh, I had the national last Saturday, so I was not sure how how uh, was my not the shape but uh, the legs. So uh, I think we are both happy with the win today. Yeah, the shape is really good. So you won the Swiss Championship on Sunday. Then yesterday a day off. You're not wearing the Swiss Champion jersey because you're getting the leaders jersey today. Yeah, exactly. So. Uh, the national was on Saturday, so I had two okay. day, day rest. So <laughs> it, it's enough. Yeah. So you, you had to, uh, to, to 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 motivate them especially, or it was uh, anyway. It's Swiss epic, something special. Yeah, I, there was no need to for, to motivate Mark because he was quite strong from the beginning. I was not expecting it. We actually had not uh, the plan for today. We was were like were like talking about how uh, is uh, will he feel after the nationals. Yeah. But from the beginning, it looked like he, he looked, looked good. So we tried as we try usually. We pushed and in the end, we stayed alone. And then we took the chance because when I saw we have more than one minute, there is no, no time to wait because uh, so, so much can happen in the downhills and everything. And uh, the, the race will be long. So when I, when I saw the chance to take some time today and get the leader jersey, I, I said, OK, let, let's go. And he just followed. So it was fine. <laughs> That was a plan. So we, we had a chat in, in, the, in the finish line and we were quite surprised that uh, uh, Vile Pirelli lost control that early. Uh, I mean, I don't know. In the first climb we tried and uh, there still we were like three teams and it was quite surprising that everyone was quite in good shape. But maybe they paid the price for it in the second climb because I tried it from the bottom. And uh, yeah, I mean, the pace was quite high. But yes, they, they, they lost the, 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 the touch with us uh, quite from the beginning of the second climb. So that's the plan for the following days. Change completely now when you're wearing the leader's jersey. So you're not the ones who have to attack? Um, I would say we take day by day. And um, tomorrow will be also hard because of this long climb of Dalbula. So I think we try to push. <laughs> 
Yeah. But the yellow jersey gives you really some extra motivation and everybody knows that you're the leader now. And the strongest team. Yeah, strongest team for today, but I, as I said, the race will be long and we will see how it will develop in the, in the next days. But uh, definitely there is no need to hide or to wait for something. If we feel good, we will go and uh, try our best every day. Yeah. Hey, they already made first stage of the Swiss Epic and look that relaxed. <laughs> hey, big uh, congratulations to you guys. Probably see you tomorrow at the finish line for another winner interview. Thank you very much. We're going back to Neil. Thanks, Doria. We got some great insights out there from out there on the course, and uh, Martin Stozak just sharing with us exactly what uh, the what, what it was like out there in the thick of the action at the front end of the field with the world's best mountain bike stage races, and a uh, confident Stozak. Uh, really, he kind of. Obviously, he's uh, buoyed by the confidence of having placed second at the World Marathon Championships. So when he says that he uh, wanted to put a bit of pressure down and see how the rest of them were going, and his surprise that, uh, that there were three teams in place still after the first climb, that just shows how confident he is and, how, um, and on what good form he is. Also, very proud of his partner that, uh, first of all, he needed no motivation because, of course, it is uh, Stutzmann's home race. But uh, just uh, fantastic to hear really from one of the world's best mountain bikers just what it was like there out on the course in the thick of the racing. Uh, right now we've got, uh, we're still with the, uh, out on the course with the women's category leaders, that's Lorza and Lacourt. And uh, we may have some more uh, interviews lined up at the finish line. So we'll, uh, we'll be hearing from Dario quite soon. But right now, just enjoy the, uh, the expertise of Vera Lorza and Kim Lacourt on this downhill section. This top five section, it's a technical trail, natural trail, some rocks, and they'll need to keep their wits about them. But of course, no risks. They've got plenty of time over their rivals. No need to risk anything. They'll just consolidate their efforts because it's all about surviving the day. They'll have plenty of time in hand and... Uh, their rivals Bettina Yanis and Adal Marath will have to have a different approach. They'll have to take a bit more risks to tr try and take back some of that time. But we'll uh, we'll see on the line exactly what the mindset of the races were as soon as we get a chance to chat to Kim Lacourt and Vera Lorza. So we'll get down get down to the finish line with some more interviews to hear from the riders uh, down in Lenzerheide. Andreas. Tell us about uh, Andres. Introduce us to the riders. Cyclist in Curie de Ramond, who came from the Navel in the first stage, from Lai to Lai, 15 km, 2 mm difference from Altezia. A young Dines, Fadri Brandun, who came from the same con the Loser Fadri. How did you get the first stage? Well, it's a bit hard, but it's a bit hard. In the second mountain, it's a bit hard, but hi. Again, when spot in a bonnet course out. Two novels and qualum prima etapa, Bolunch and Vendel Podest, Pieto Pusaivalum. Hi, Claire, in Christa Cursa is a dunna to it possible, a nus pilian steeper di, a quadanza. Tias to find in China's midadas, planizau er de di kun Andrin Bailey, ca is a fight smalel, a tranamen, a paquea fadri brandun, stun curin, nef partenari, luum flau coni loser, cosa cunel. Ah, ik ik kon hier is een partner fitch fitchpijn. El of wat kun je de scoorses chau shape chau spotters. Ik ga el of wat de spelen de scoorses kun je nu zo'n eentje meer stoot zullen bike. Hi, voor mij is de fitchpijl de profiteren en je moet dus hier experience. Verdrie, kost jou een prima de tune etappe. Zie je spetje om kwartier. Je fas oze per servigny. Oh, sento me zi questa sera per essere da me un po' spai top fit. Hai, mangiare, dormire un po' e... Si va con la panza in cinema sasha. E... Hai. C'è... C'è da più non si può fare. La strategia per da me un... Da me un... La seconda etapa, lei, a soi Murezzi, e in tia patria e la ingedina. Hai, è che hai... Lo conoscenza tu è. E... Che potessi già essere un po' in advantaggio per noi. Grazie al fate, Federico, buona recreazione. Nous avons besoin de mettre un push pay à l'arrivée. Fadri Brandoun, tout n'a pas encore la première étape en semaine qu'on qu'on y lose.
Thanks very much, Andreas. And we are with uh, the leaders again in the women's category. But we were just hearing from uh, from Andreas and um, and Fadri Barandun, who is the partner of Connie Lawser. Connie Lawser, his tarot kick, will be wanting to have a look at the screen right now because he'll be watching his wife, Vera Lawser, descending this tricky section of trail down from Yunahat. And they'll be heading down towards the 40 kilometer mark and then afterwards heading towards Lenzerheide. The major obstacle of the day for Vera Lorza and Kim Lacourt has been breached. They are heading down into Lenzerheide. And we are on board with the Bulls Media e-bike of Thomas Ditch. Is this called a schlut bout because it's very dark? Will be schlut. Uh, just a little bit about that trail, the uh, top flop, the top flops trail. It started around about the 37 kilometer mark, and uh, it promises to deliver pure fun, and they say rock and roll, and you can see plenty of rocks and also a bit of roll as well as they uh, head down the some of the groom sections um, and it's a bit of a combination of uh, some smooth flow trail but also some rocks that uh, can disrupt the rhythm a little bit and also pose a bit of a challenge but uh, there's sure to be plenty of delight with every single team in the race not just the front riders not just the top professionals but the amateurs as well any amateur who comes here and have a little bit of skill, a little bit of experience in mountain biking will absolutely revel in these trails. And the descending will continue as the teams reach Gotte Lane where they'll be racing through um, a, a, a beautiful large forest and then they'll be heading through one last single track before the finish. And that'll be one stage down and four to go at the Spa Pacific in 2023. We're starting on today, Tuesday, the 15th of August, and it's 51 kilometer, 51 kilometer stage, slightly shorter than uh, we've seen in the past. We'll be uh, riding slightly longer stages, but the climbing is what it's all about. The climbing and the terrain, that's what really makes a difference. Not many few kilometers, not many free kilometers at the Swiss Epic in stage one, uh, when it comes to having to really work for, uh, for every kilometer with 2,000 meters of climbing. That's plenty of climbing in a 51 kilometer stage. And uh, considering that we, the route topped out at 2,200 meters, that just gives us an idea that we are, of course, in Switzerland. Uh, this is the Alps. And uh, the riders who lined up at the start of the 2023 Spa Swiss Epic came to conquer the Alps. And every rider from the top professionals all the way down to the back markers, the last rider to finish, will have earned that title, have earned that ability to say that they have actually conquered the Alps. This is no mean feat to have finished a Spa Swiss Epic, any of them, and the 2023 edition is no exception. We'll be covering the uh, Graubünden region, visiting Lenzerheide today. Today's a loop course around Lenzerheide, as we see Kim Lacourt heading into that, uh, that little single track section they will be visiting Lenzerheide tomorrow. They'll be heading on a transition stage uh, to St. Moritz, another loop in St. Moritz for stage three until they head into Davos for the grand finale on Saturday. So the riders just taking it a bit more conservatively around these rocky trails. The Kim Lacourt and Vera Laws are just stopping for a bit of a refuel. They'll be trading in their bottles, getting some extra fluids on board, and uh, perhaps picking up a little bit of an a little bit of fuel as well, an energy gel, and some food just to make sure that they get through the last uh, tw 10 sections of 10, 10 kilometers of trail. But also, as the old adage goes, when it comes to mountain bike stage racing, it's all about eating for tomorrow. The riders won't just eat for the rest of the stage. If it is a one-day race, they might just uh, just let it go, maybe take a few fluids on board, but uh, they will know they have to eat for tomorrow because whatever fuel they can put into their bodies today will stand them in good stead. They'll be refueling as much as they possibly can. And this is as much about uh, 
the racing as it is about recovering. It's about sleeping. It's about eating right and about preparing yourself for the next day. The recovery routine is a very important part of a mountain bike stage races, Arsenal, and uh, that's why a support team is so important. And they'll be reminding each other, the riders will be reminding each other, reminding each other during the race to eat and drink, and their support team will be reminding them to eat and drink after the race. Vera Lorza leads Kim Lacourt down the trails with around about 11 kilometers to go. So just 11 kilometers to go, and uh, should he try to catch up uh, with, uh, with Thomas Dietz on the, on the e-bike? Ciao, Thomas. So how's it going with the ladies? They, uh, yeah, they look pretty safe at the moment. It's, they are not taking any risk. Yeah. And they are looking really after every, I think every, every rock. It was a flowing downhill, but uh, with, uh, with some big rocks. And it was, uh, you make a mistake. You have always to, to be like uh, really concentrated. You don't make uh, any mistake, but uh, really enjoyable uh, strike. It was incredible, inc incredible. Does it make it different? Because uh, the, the gap is now uh, around uh, 10 minutes. So uh, then you take it a bit more relaxed at, uh, at the front. Yes, yeah, they are more relaxed because you can see they are not uh, fighting for, for position <laughs> to, to try to go as fast as possible in the, in the downhill. They are just, uh, just uh, no taking risk. Like now, it's, it's not dangerous downhill, but uh, full of rocks and Okay, thank you very much, uh, Thomas Dietz. We lost connection at the moment because we're right in the middle of the Alps, but it's not far for the leading ladies at the moment. This is uh, still Vera Loser and uh, Kim Lecourt. As you can see in the freeze on, on the left-hand side, they're in front of uh, Adelheid Morat and uh, Bettina Janas and uh, Katasina Sosna and... Uh, the new Crown Swiss champion Irina Lützel Schwab. This is the lake of uh, Lenzerheide. So this is where, uh, where we want to have a, a bath afterwards. And I pause. It's, it's pretty fresh at the moment. This is the finishing area of the uh, Lenzerheide, or a finishing area of the Lenzerheide World Cup. So uh, as you can see right in the middle there where the gondola goes up and the trail comes down, this is the world famous downhill trail from top to bottom. Now at the moment you can see, and the cross country course is all around uh, this area. So you can surf, you can windsurf, you can uh, pedal board, yeah. You can do everything on, on, on this lake in beautiful Graben. I think it's about uh, 18 uh, degrees at the moment. Yeah, probably have to swim later on. <laughs> but uh, it's, a, it's a bit fresh in there. We're back with uh, the ladies. Thomas Dietz is still following. Uh, the lead is around nine kilometers to go. And this is the power ceremony team. To make our presentations today, Mark Schlüssel, CMO Lens, Rider Marketing and Support AG, and Marina Morgenthaler, Event Lead Marketing and Support AG, to hand over the prizes. Our third position today, 51 kilometers of racing, 2,000 meters of climbing. Lenzerider to Lenzerider, Buff Megamore, Hans Becking, and Peter Prys. Second on the stage today, it is the team William Pirelli. Daniel Geismeyer and Bau Talamon. Taking the stage win and also putting on the yellow Chiavita Uber Leaders jerseys for the Spa Swiss Epic. 
Your stage winners on the first day, the team Canyon Northwave, Martin Stosek and Mark Stutzmann. Receiving their prizes and goodies, celebrating the beautiful region of Graubind and celebrating Lenzerider. Uh, there we are, these are your top three teams. Buff Megamo third, second William Pirelli, and stage winners Martin Stosek, Mark Stutzmann, Canyon Northway. And they get ready to start stage two. Day two of five, they will be in yellow. The targets on the back, the marked men, Martin Stuzig, Mark Stutzman, Canyon Northway. Congratulations and merci vielmals, Mark Schlüssel and Marina Morgenthaler for your support and for the prize giving. And having come over the finish line just before that, unser erstes Masters Team am heutigen Tag, die hier ins Ziel kommen, in zwei Stunden 56, 39, Scott Davos, Mountainbike Project 2. Mit Florian Vogel und Martin Gullian, das reine Schweizer Team, die hier als erstes im Masters. And we're back Durch with Ziel the women's category leaders of the day. And that is uh, the pairing of Vera Lohse and Kim Lacourt. And still on a storming day and victory looks well within their grasp on stage one at the 2023 Spa Swiss Epic. And they'll be very proud of themselves after a fantastic day. They played it perfectly. They put the pressure down on the climbs when it really counted. Took the downhill sections very conservatively. Didn't take any risks. Just wanted to make sure that their efforts were consolidated. Uh, because, of course, the considerable efforts that they spent on the energy they spent on the climb, they would hate to let that go to waste. And experience now. You could say they're experienced, especially after a victory at the 2023 Absa Cape Epic, the uh, well-practiced and, and well-established partnership of Lacourt and Lauza are now is in full flight. And they are pretty much athletes at their peak of their careers right now. Um, the Mauritian rider Kim Lacourt is an accomplished road cyclist. In fact, she was the 2015 African road champion and multiple winner of the Cape Town Cycle Tour. Focused on mountain biking in 2019, really enjoyed it. And uh, as we've talked about earlier in the broadcast, you know, breakthrough performance was at the 2022 Spa Swiss Epic, winning the grand finale, placing third overall with uh, Vera Lorza and uh, doing themselves proud. Vera Lorza, in fact, uh, also a multidisciplinary riding, multiple national champion in multiple disciplines. She lives in Switzerland. She's a native Swiss rider. In fact, you could say she was third with Lacourt last year. She did ride the Swiss Epic in 2021, didn't finish, put that disappointment behind her in 2022, third overall with a stage win. Absa Cape Epic history, winner in 2023 and 2021, rode to sixth place when she was riding with Sarah Hill. And in fact, in 2017, rode with Candace Lil, where she was sixth. So experience now. Her top results definitely can be the Absa Cape Epic victory. Um, she's won the Black Forest Ultra Bike Marathon, Namibian champion, and of course, podiumed in World Cups. And Kim Lacourt, certainly African National Championships would be a highlight, her third position there. And uh, it's a multiple national champion too. So Kim Lacourt, Vera Laws are perfectly matched. And uh, not just in ability and firepower, but also in mindset, they are firm friends. And uh, that's the all-important team dynamic that we talk about so much when it comes to mountain bike stage racing is that you have a teammate that you have to look after and also a teammate that you have to communicate with. Communication is everything. And a good relationship, a good rapport is the most important thing. And in fact, the, uh, the next level of communication, the next level of, uh, of that rapport is actually not having to say anything. To be able to read the body language, read the partner, and know exactly how that the other rider is feeling and know how to approach the next section of the course. And these two have done that to perfection. Kim Lacourt just following Lawza down these trails that might be familiar for Lawza. She will no doubt have ridden in this area before and uh, just leading the way, making sure that uh, there are no risks being taken 
that hate for a mechanical to put an end to all of that hard work that they've done earlier on in the course. They're really on their way home right now. They're on their way back to the start-finish area in Lenzerheide. Less than 10 kilometers to go. They will be heading down these forestry road sections in the Gotter Lane, and very soon they'll be reaching that final section of single track as they get into the outskirts of the town. And we can see from the map exactly where they are on the route. They'll be descending this trail. There'll be a few switchbacks to go as they hit the valley, and then it'll be a traverse through the valley as they pass through that crevasse section and uh, with one kilometer to go, they will be uh, pretty much hitting the tar section and uh, they'll be able to start celebrating. It's unclear whether they'll have those time checks in their ears. They don't have um, race radios like they would have in a road race, for example, but they will have some uh, of their team out on the course, perhaps reading them some time checks, but uh, any experienced mountain bike stage racer will say that uh, they will have to be very careful with who they trust with those time checks. Probably their only, only their own team that they'll be uh, they'll be taking that information from. But it's really important that uh, that they just pay attention to their own efforts and uh, keep uh, keep focusing on what they can do, not about what they can't control. And uh, any deep interview, any deep discussion with uh, with an experienced mountain biker will be. It's all about the variables. There's so many variables in mountain biking. So many things that can go wrong, so many things that can go right, and it's all about what you can control at the time, and that's all about your efforts and about how many risks you take on the downhills. Their rivals, they will know that they're behind them, they know they've put a lot of time into them, they'll have had no sign of them. They might have some word out in the course, but they won't take anything for granted. Minutes can easily become seconds and easily become a deficit with one wrong foot. And uh, it looks very much like that this team here have, they're on the front foot, and they haven't put a foot wrong the whole day. Kim Lacourt following her partner Vera Lawser down the trails on this little narrow forestry road. They'll have to take it a bit more carefully because it is a, it is a, a dirt trail. There are little rocks that might fly up and they have to change lanes. This is a, can be a bit of a tricky thing when it comes to descending these, uh, these trails is that there is a bit of a little middle section and it's not always that clear what lies in that grass. And it's, of course, a less trodden section, a less worn section, and a sharp rock could easily fly up. So they have to be careful as they go down here, but it uh, doesn't look like this pairing are taking any risks. And that's what it's all about. So just uh, having a look at Kim Lacourt and just her overall ranking, her UCI ranking this year has been 13th. She's ranked 13th. She's got one World Cup podium to her name and uh, just uh, quite a few points. And Vera Lawser is ranked ninth, so higher ranked this year, but uh, that doesn't mean anything because today they are riding together and uh, they'll be riding together this week in their assault on the course. They'll look to do two, two positions better than their position the third overall and look to match that fantastic performance at the 2023 Yapsuke Epic where they won in dramatic fa fashion. They took over the leaders' jerseys in on stage, uh, stage six that was the penultimate stage. They took over the leaders' jerseys. And today, in direct contrast, they look on the very first stage to be riding themselves into that orange Chia Vita leaders' jersey, the coveted jersey. And they'll be, it'll put them into a very strong position. And they'll be able to ride just a little bit more defensively, a little bit more risk-free. And with the assurance and the confidence that comes with uh, leading a major mountain bike stage race. start on the course just a small section of tar and uh, then they'll be reaching a final bit of single track just a bit of a rise here which a final bit of single track but uh, this very very soon they'll be able to hear the announcer of Paul K on the line as uh, he calls it as riders come through the finish line that is the sweet sound if you're a stage racer in fact any of the riders today out on the course when they hear that sound they know that uh, that they can very soon they'll be able to put their feet up and enjoy the Swiss hospitality at the Spa Swiss Epic. They'll be able to uh, go into recovery mode and uh, have a look at what tomorrow's stage holds. It's another challenging day out in uh, the Graubünden region from Lenzerheide to St. Moritz, the famous St. Moritz area. And uh, it's one of the most famous holiday destinations in the world. And uh, it's uh, not, it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site and not for nothing, it's also the 
twice the host city of the Winter Olympics. So we're we'll excited about reaching this uh, world famous iconic destination and uh, the Alpine landscapes that they'll be experiencing on their way from Lenzerheide to St. Moritz. Now today, Lenzerheide is around about 1500 meters in altitude. Um, so on their transition day, they will be climbing a bit, just naturally they'll be climbing up to 1800 meters when they reach St. Moritz. So an extra 300 meters of altitude and another high point in the race will be the major, be the major obstacle of the day that they'll have to accomplish. But today, the, uh, the riders who finished will be focusing on that. They'll be looking at the route, just uh, looking, just familiarizing themselves with what the course looks like. But this pairing today, they will be taking each kilometer as it comes. We hear it so many times in interviews. So many of the riders say, oh, we take each day as it comes. And that is exactly what you have to do. It may sound like a cliche. It's super important for riders not to look too far ahead to take each day as it comes. And that's what it's all about at this mountain bike stage racing, step by step and focusing on the task at hand. The beautiful start finish village of uh, Lenzerheide, this region of mountain biking, the Graubünden region. And we've just seen some last finishes. The uh, Stolbike. Stolbikes is actually a, a Swiss brand of bike and uh, no doubt enjoying the natural habitat. So the Apps Cape Epic, one of the most televised races in the world, Yuri Levinson with Ivan Seledko, our Serenbatine men from Israel. And uh, we say muscle talk to them as we welcome Brian Sparab Sparbarro with Gianluca Argenta, the VC Capriasca team. So we heard there from Paul Kay, the announcer on the line, uh, welcoming some Israeli yeah, riders. And it's truly an international field. Obviously, the uh, major the portion of the field is taken up by the Swiss uh, contingent. 27% of the field are Swiss. And interestingly, 13% of the field, 78 riders are from South Africa. No doubt the Absa Cape Epic connection uh, running true here. And Germany, 36 riders from Germany. Of the also seeing riders from the US, from Great Britain, the Netherlands, of course, we see Hans Becking at the front. There'll be more Dutch riders, 27 more Dutch riders, in fact, in the field in Belgium and uh, Spain, Denmark and Austria. Running out the top 10 of the nations that are represented, 45 nations represented at the 2023 edition. It is the 10th edition. We haven't spoken a lot about the 10th edition of the uh, of the Spa Swiss Epic. It is. Uh, it was founded by uh, Thomas Frischnick and two others, and we'll get to that in a minute. But uh, in the 10 years, there's been some great battles out on the trails of Switzerland, the iconic trails. And we're in the Swiss Alps right now as Vera Lorza passes through the, uh, the one of the men's category riders. And the men's category very um, deferential, allowing the race, the women's race, to carry on and not interfering with proceedings. And of course, Kim Lacourt on the front. Vera Lorza very tucked deep right into her slipstream, just gaining whatever seconds they can, not putting in too much effort. There's a good rhythm set by the Mauritian, and uh, they know that if they can put, even if it's just a few seconds here, it all counts towards that overall general classification, that orange Chiavita leaders jerseys that they'll be, they've been coveting all year, and uh, they'll be targeting all year, and now is the moment. This is going to be the reward of several months of hard work and preparation and uh, just uh, the sweet smell of success and the sweet taste of success as they get on that podium and enjoy the spoils of their victory and the spoils of their effort today as they uh, made some considerable inroads into their overall campaign. 51 kilometers, 2,000 meters of climbing. They made that climbing count. They gained several minutes on the climb in the very early climb and it was very clear who the dominant team were. And this is Kim Lacourt and Vera Lorza. Just getting the images at 30 kilometers an hour as they tear through the uh, streets, the outskirts of Lenzerheide, 
30 kilometers an hour red on the speedometer of Thomas Ditch, the Bulls media e-bike rider. And he's had a fantastic time. He is from France. He does love Switzerland. He said it already. And uh, he revels in the trails. Stefan Sam lives in Switzerland. And uh, although it's completely old hat to him, he still absolutely loves it out on the bike. And what better way to ride a bike and what better way to experience Switzerland other than to follow the one of the world's most competitive mountain bike stage races and see the world's best battle it out. So we're just hearing out in the course that uh, just a couple of kilometers to go for the uh, Mauritian and the uh, Namibian as they uh, swap, swap turns at the front. And uh, Vera Lawser just tucks into the slipstream of uh, Kim Lacourt as they drive the pace home. Like, uh, just can't wait to, uh, to, you can probably hear the announcer at this point, and they'll be looking forward to uh, celebrating and also not just celebrating, not just enjoying the victory, but also looking back at that clock with satisfaction that they've gained, they will have gained several minutes over their nearest rival. It was always a bit of a worry. It is always a bit of a worry for any mountain bike uh, racing, uh, any, any mountain bike racer and any campaigner. You never know exactly what the form of the uh, of their competitors are, but they'll be looking to very, they'll be looking very carefully to see how many minutes they've gained and measure that, that up against their efforts. So exciting stuff for the Mauritian and the Namibian. Well, we just saw there almost a mishap there. We uh, saw the course was clearly marked, but of course it's very easy to take a wrong turn when you're at maximum effort. It's just one of those things. It is a blind course. The riders will not have ridden this course before. It is marked out clearly, but they won't be absolutely familiar. Not like cross-country racing, where they'll be able to practice the loop several times before the race day. They will be riding blind, so they'll have to be keep their minds alert and keep an eye on those signposts to make sure they'll be going in the right direction. But no harm done. Maybe a few seconds lost. And they'll be heading into the finish very soon. We'll be able to hear the, the announcer and uh, be able to see the Mauritian and the Namibian head through the finish shoot and take their first victory at the 2023 edition. And here we have just a short section of tar before the start finish section in Lenzerheide. We're in Lenzerheide in the town itself and uh, Lenzerheide host to the, it is the center of the bike kingdom, several hundred kilometers of trails around this town, two bike parks and we've talked about it already the home to the Downhill World Cup course and the cross-country course. And uh, it's known as Bike Kingdom, not for nothing. It is one of the most iconic regions of m for mountain biking in the world, characterized by the jagged snow-capped peaks of the Alps. And uh, the views are spectacular. The trails are spectacular. But the view that Kim Lacourt and Vera Loza have right now is purely, it's tunnel vision right now for the two of them. It'll be only, all they'll be able to see is the finish line in front of them and just about getting there as soon as possible and putting as much time into their rivals as they can. That's what the task is. They will have enjoyed a few of the views, a few of the, uh, the picturesque sections that they've uh, passed through today. Just a bit of a reward. That's what it's all about. It's about uh, keeping, the, um, keeping the soul fed especially after the efforts that they have put on those climbs, they will have gone almost into the red and they've managed their efforts very well, but uh, that still means that, especially riding at this kind of pace, they will have been, they will have gone pretty hard. So they will be looking forward to that recovery that we've been speaking about so much, that recovery routine, they'll be getting nutrition in and of course, pulling on those jerseys and uh, then looking to the stage two. Stage two is another tricky day. Kim Lacourt and Vera Loza will no doubt take it in their stride.
Rock up to the finish line. Here we go. They plant Sasha, they plant six, Marcel Führer. And here they are, Vera Laws and Kim Lecour. Your ECO MNL, NEC, third division, Infinity Secure. Our Absolute Cape Epic champions. And they won another orange jersey for the Spa Swiss Epic around the finish line. And under the arch in the Namibian and the Mauritian colors, Vera Laws and Kim Lecour. Taking the stage win, day one, stage one. Winners of the Cape Epic. Can they go back to back? Epic series wins. Still lots of racing to come as we get re ready to welcome our world finish team, Mika Kupiainen and Samuli Visuri. That is our uh, Evok Finland, Thomas Gunterts, and uh, Thomas Stoll having finished just in front of them. Well done, Vera Loza and Kim Lekua. And we just get a replay of that fantastic moment when uh, Vera Lawza and Kim Lacord crossed the finish line. Their first stage win, one out of one at the 2023 edition of the Spa Swiss Epic. And all eyes back at the clock to see how much time they've put into Bettini Yanis and Adelma Roth. Uh, the, initially the favorite team of the uh, Spa Swiss Epic we looked into it, looking to really see some a great performance from the, uh, the German pairing but uh, momentum in the favor of the Mauritian and the Namibian, looking like they are well on track to taking, uh, to taking yet, another yet another victory, overall victory in their Epic Series campaign. And the applause is for the next team, Bike Kingdom, Thomas Riesknecht and Severin Dies. You're taking in some of the views of Lenzerheide, the spectacular town of Lenzerheide, the bike kingdom. Looking forward to seeing more racing in the area, but tomorrow is a transition day uh, from Lenzerheide to St. Moritz. It's the first transition day of the 2023 edition, and the team will set off at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, and uh, they will be tackling a, an 81 kilometer stage with 2,350 meters of climbing. 2,300 meters of climbing out of 10,850 meters overall for the five days. And uh, tomorrow will include a trip to the top of the Ab Al Bula Pass at 2,312 meters above sea level. So a high peak, higher than today's peak. And um, stage two, they'll wave goodbye to Lenzerheide and uh, they'll be visiting Lake Hyde Sea uh, right about from uh, the four kilometer mark, so uh, more picturesque views and th the route will go downhill and take in the forest trails and the beautiful alpine peaks as the antidote to the hard efforts that lie ahead of them. 81 kilometers tomorrow, Lenzerheide to St. Moritz, but today they will enjoy today. The uh, top women's team are in already. We're still waiting to see what Davos Kloster's team, the favorite team, how far behind they are. And we are looking at the clock and no doubt that uh, the team of Vera Loza and Kim Lacourt will be looking at that clock too, just to see how much of a buffer they have over their nearest rivals at uh, the 2023 race. Another Masters, two more Masters men's teams on the way. Team Visit Framer, which is the home of the Four Islands. The Croatian team of uh, Marin Dekovic and Marko Vrzop on the way to the finish line. With the Gold Masters, Colombia. So what a Marin, what a Marco. With Julia Alejandro Torres and Jon Alejandro Cadena. Well, just looking back to the uh, what happened we'll during the day, the we're uh, watching some of the highlights of the uh, stage one that was uh, earlier. We start at nine o'clock, an early start, uh, a little bit later than normal for mountain bike stage racing. We need to uh, 
Remember that it was only a 51 kilometer stage, slightly less, uh, slightly shorter than normal, uh, but a perfect start to uh, the 2023 edition. And initially, we saw a, quite a large group of around about uh, 10 or 12 teams in the uh, in the mix as they headed over the first obstacle of the day, and just uh, saw the riders hit the first, the very first section of single track, and. Uh, the technical trails of the uh, Spa was so characterized by the region and by the race, the technical trails, that we also saw the uh, the unfortunate episode for Team Tapata. That was uh, Casey South having tire issues, having to desperately reinflate. Um, they were running around about in the top uh, four, top five overall. So very unfortunate for this team to have issues with their tires. But uh, it was taking nothing away from the efforts of uh, Team Canyon Northwave, who were driving the pace all day. The team, um, the team of Alleman and Gesmar, not we couldn't say struggling, but certainly were, you would say, the only team that were able to maintain the pace. And uh, Buff Megamo, the pairing of Pruce and Becking, also putting in a fantastic effort today. So really, a few teams in the mix. It was Buff Megamo. The uh, William Pirelli team, the driving pace of the Canyon Northwave team, and we saw the Topado team struggling a little bit with their mechanicals, and we can see just how tricky those trails are. But the Buff Megamo team putting in a great effort, just a bit of a push for uh, for Pruce, keeping him in touch with the very sharp end of the field, but very much all about the huge efforts of uh, Stutzman and the local Stutzman and the uh, Czech rider, Martin Stozek, just keeping the pace super high, keeping the rhythm super high, and eventually being out on their own. We're following now Peter Pruce of the Buff Megamo team. And uh, this is the uh, beautiful flow trail that we saw earlier. And uh, just wanting to the Estonian and the Dutchman wanting to get back in touch with the leaders, trying desperately to get in back in touch with the leaders, but the hard-charging team Canyon Northwave, the day belonged to Stutzman and to Martin Stozek, fresh off a second place at Worlds, second place or third place of the day, went to Buff Megamo, second place was William Pirelli, and uh, fantastic effort, and the race is really taking shape at the 2023 edition, the 10th edition of the Spa Swiss Epic. I'm ready. I'm ready here with uh, Kim Lecourt and uh, Vera Loza. The winners of today's stage. When did you arrive here in Lancet Heide from Glasgow? Uh, yesterday afternoon. So straight from the World Championships to the Swiss Epic? Yeah, I'd, um, I was a bit worried, but um, I think it was a good warm-up. <laughs> the World Championship was the warm-up for the Swiss Epic? Uh, it was really hard, but I uh, didn't know. I didn't know how my legs would react, um, but you know, when you have a good teammate and good weather in Switzerland, yeah, it's it's just awesome. Yeah, it went fantastic for you. So first stage, first win with a big, big gap. Yeah, we didn't quite expect this. Um, I think I was under the weather, but last week Kim was still racing the World Champs on Sunday. Um, we only arrived late yesterday afternoon. We started to sort out the bikes and everything. Um, so yeah, coming here and taking the win and then by quite a margin is, is quite a feeling, especially because I think we, we didn't have, both didn't have the best, best day, but um, apparently it wasn't that bad after all. <laughs> Not even the best day is good enough to win a stage one. Who had a problem with, uh, with uh, Mr. Settle? It, it was you, well, but it's wrong. Yeah, well, um, I didn't have time to check my bike, uh, so, <laughs> so I realized uh, halfway through the race that my saddle was a bit too low. I could feel like I was... I wasn't able to push the power I can normally. And then I kind of looked down and I could see the tape was like, so I told her I need to stop to just fix it. And I fixed it. And then, yeah, and then it was much, much better. And then I almost crashed. I mean, yeah, roller coaster, but exciting. Yeah. That, did, that, did that interrupt the, the concentration during the race. So that's part of the job. I, uh, yeah, I told her I want to stop on top to, uh, to, tighten, to readjust my saddle. And she said, no, just do it now and then I'll just go. Did you have any information on course, how big the gap was? Because especially if something like that happens, you have to be... Yeah, so we in the beginning we were quite worried, and then when Kim stopped quickly, we, like, uh, we could see quite far back, and we knew they weren't too close. 
But then at the bottom of the cl uh, of the downhill, we actually took a wrong turn and we had to go quite a way back. And we were like, shit, shit, shit. <laughs> but then um, on the last climb, on the last long climb, we got a gap of um, four minutes. And then on the top of the climb, it was five minutes. So then we were like, okay, we're going to take it safe down the hill because the only time or the only way how we can mess that up is by a puncture or crash. Yep. And if we just take it safe, we'll definitely be safe into the finish. Time to relax now. Yeah. So relax now. Yes, I'm going to go sleep. I think the holiday, <laughs> the holiday starts today. The holiday starts today. Thank you very much, Thank Kim Lacourt. We had also the winners of the first stage of this edition of the Swiss Epic. Back to you, Neil. Thank you, Daria, for uh, uh, getting us that uh, great insight as to what it was like for the riders down on the trails, down at the, in the thick of it and at the sharp end of the field in the racing. And although the... Uh, Riders make it look so easy. Kim Lacourt, Vera Loza, it wasn't all easy, especially the preparation, the build-up to arrive just a few hours before the start of the race. Not ideal preparation, but it's all about the life of a professional cyclist. Professional mountain bike stage racer is about travel and about managing their travel, managing their efforts, but uh, they certainly, as true professionals, they managed to do that. And we're just taking an eye on what happened throughout the day, how it all happened. And we've got uh, Kim Lacourt in front of us that is the uh, Mauritian National Championship jersey that she's worn so proudly. We saw it at the Absa Cape Epic when they won the race in this uh, this year, earlier in March. And they are doing their jerseys proud. Vera Laws of the National Champion of Namibia. And they very early on, they set the pace and uh, set a very, very strong pace, in fact, that put their rivals under pressure. We're back to the men now. We're uh, behind the uh, the rider uh, from Buff Megamo, Peter Pruss, as he follows his partner, Hans Becking, down the trail. Just enjoying the uh, views of the flow trail. This is a man-made trails for sure and beautifully groomed. Slight contrast for the uh, slightly rockier, more natural trails that we saw out there in the route, the, the loop around Lenzerheide and taking in and enjoying the uh, hundreds of kilometers of uh, dedicated mountain bike trails with two bike parks and just uh, sometimes catching out the technical section, just catching out the riders, but uh, no harm done and uh, just enjoying, just from uh, from a viewer point of view, enjoying the trails that uh, that the riders took in, the panorama trail, the bike park flow line, and of course the uh, aptly named Nino's Gold Trail. Nino Schurter, a national hero in Switzerland, um, a ten-time world champion, and in fact won the 2018 World Championships here on that very trail, and hence the name Gold Trail. The winners of the day, Canyon North Wave. Fantastic performance from them, getting minutes on their nearest rivals. Willio Pirelli, a fantastic day out and a bit of relief for them. And uh, just the Buff Megamo team coming in third spot. And uh, just the women's category clearly dominated by Vera Lorza and Kim Lacourt as they just put minute by minute and hour by hour and, and kilometer by kilometer put more and more pressure on their rivals and eventually had well over five minutes. We'll need to get official time checks on the line exactly where that second place team of Bettina Yanis and Adal Marath um, will be able to see exactly what kind of damage they've done to that team. But uh, right now we're catching a glimpse of Irina Lutcher Schwab and uh, her partner. Just uh, really excited to see how much time that uh, what the time checks are to see how far ahead the uh, pairing of Vera Lorza and Kim Lacourt.
beautiful day here in Lenzerheide and uh, it's great for the riders to be able to see the region and uh, see the uh, beautiful views sometimes uh, it happens in mountain bike stage racing where riders will fly in from all over the world and on a bad day where there is uh, some bad weather they'll get to see very little of these beautiful views and uh, what a shame because these jagged peaks the alpine peaks and the views of the alpine villages of Lenzerheide, St. Moritz and of course Davos the grand finale It'd be a great shame to miss those beautiful views and uh, no no worries today because they'll have caught all they need to, they have seen all they need to see from the trails and also from um, from the start finish village of some beautiful scenery around them a beautiful place to be Lenzerheide in Graubünden at the Spa Swiss Epic in 2023 the Danish mixed relay team at the World Championship take in brass coming from Denmark doesn't make sense but it works it's all about what you want and how hungry you are for it how hard you work for it and I suppose Europe you know I mean it's not too easy too easy to get around jump on an airplane jump on a train grab your mobile home and go to the beautiful parts of Europe like Well, the top three UCI women's teams are now over the British line. Our top three men's amateurs teams, our top three masters teams, and our top three grand masters have all finished as well. Well, we just saw there uh, the uh, team of Irina Lutzelschwab and Katarzyna Sosna. The Lithuanian and the Swiss pairing Topado Bulls, they cross the finish line. We're going to wait to see the official time check. We're not going to guess at how much time the uh, pairing of Lacorte and Loza have put into their rivals. But uh, safe to say there is a, a comfortable buffer for the N Namibian and the Mauritian. And we'll wait to see those uh, final official time uh, timing uh, to see the progress of Bettina Yanis and Adamarath, the 2022 winners of the uh, Spa Swiss Epic, Yanis uh, and uh, Marath. You could say easy winners, but um, there's no such thing as an easy victory in, uh, in a mountain bike stage race. But let's say that uh, their time last year will certainly is certainly easier than, uh, than this year, especially with the hard charging Lausa and Lacourt. They are absolutely on form, buoyed by the momentum of a victory at the 2022 Absa Cape Epic. And uh, Marath and, uh, and her partner will be looking to the days ahead to see where they can make a mark. They'll be looking for any opportunities to gain more time or to gain back time on their arrivals. from the southern hemisphere been having to do a lot of training indoors because I can tell you something winter has been quite brutal in some parts of the southern hemisphere but the same can said for all the northern hemisphere riders when they come to the Absa Cape Epic training through their winter for a race in the Africa to heat in March at the tail end of our summer uh, even Stevens I suppose
Well, tomorrow we have stage two of the 2023 Spa Swiss Epic, the 10th edition of the race. And uh, stage two has lots in store for the riders. 2,350 meters of climbing, over 81 kilometers from Lenzerheide to St. Moritz, a tr transition day, and it sees the teams set off from Lenzerheide with St. Moritz well in their sights. But there's a lot to do still. Stage two is no mean feat. As teams are required to race through the, uh, certainly the 81 kilometers, but also that climbing. And they'll be heading to the top of the Al Bula Pass at 2,312 meters of altitude above sea level. And they'll wave goodbye to Lenza Heide, and uh, they'll be going a short, we saw there on the map, just a short jaunt across Lake Hyde Sea. And that was between the four kilometer mark and the 23 kilometer mark. Then the route goes downhill, and they head through some flat and fast kilometers along the river Albula, and follow the the river section, the valley, and allow the chance a bit of a uh, bit of a rest before the 22 kilometer long climb remains. That's the Albula climb, a very tricky section of the race. The riders will need to manage their efforts. The uh, the Albula Pass Strasse along the UNESCO World Heritage section of the uh, of the railway line runs as near as possible to the railway and regularly affords enchanting open views. They call it of the 100 plus year old artwork in stunning alpine scenery and terrains. Unspoiled alpine terrains and the small village, the alpine village of Burgun, lavishly decorated with frescoes. And it's a sight to see the old Romanesque church. And uh, it's not just about the scenery, it's also about the riding. And uh, once they're at the top of the Albula Pass, their hard work will be rewarded with some beautiful flow trails, some jumps, incredible views. and. Uh, be nine kilometers and 625 meters vertical meters of descending flat and fast kilometers let's hope there's no wind and uh, from Beva to Pontresina and uh, the section is a real treat for the eyes and also for the for the wheels and for the mountain bikers to test their skills on their way into the iconic town of St. Moritz
the pros, so they don't have so much time to recover. And uh, yeah, for, for them, it's even harder if yeah. you see it like this. How do you sleep after a stage like that or after the second stage? So it's, it's something quite different for the body. Yeah, of course, you are on the first nights, you are nervous for yeah. waiting for, for the start. and. Even the altitude that we are here in, in Lenzerheide or even in St. Moritz can can be a, a fact of, yeah. of sleeping. So I, I was never sleeping so good the, the, the first two nights on, on altitude. And yeah, you, yeah, sometimes you have to, to have the luck to, to, to sleep well in, in, in these hotels. Yeah. yeah, yeah, so every night, and we have most of the nights, different hotels, check in, check out, different food. Yeah, it's not over when you cross the finish line. So there's a, there's a lot of uh, things coming. Uh, Andreas, Vialand, uh, even for us, we have to change locations. We're going to uh, San Moritz uh, today. We're going to San Moritz today, yeah, for the second stage tomorrow. The second stage from Lenzer right to Santa Moritz, Remigi Meissen, a T. Mazot Silvelo only. Was I with that quite as a set day by the Tour de Velo? Yeah, it was my own situation in the world. It was only in a round because in the Australian sea line. Was there any tip for this campaign? Was there any big change? Was there any kind of hobby? Was there any hobby? Was there any kind of hobby? Was there any kind of hobby? Er mint egy kász, kúzén kúján elárivá, de mint egy kász mely a imediat szikai, mi Andrej, Bobby, Lufort, Marás és Renyin in plátz el el a massás, Marák Alvelo szegi a nőrden puspai, Bobby kontrolla, Lu, ja Marád, de fafort in kupit, in kupit, on Lu ja China. All'Autron, senza la partenza, ti è stato dal 2020 la partenza, o se c'è un po' di usanza, ma se non sono amici mai, se l'Autron non si è più. Io sai, un po' di cose, o se che ho mai il caso, se l'arriva, deve essere tutto quel scurito, che viene in un figlio di San Giacomo, quando ti puoi spai, chi sa. Mattias, se non si può trannare, è un'unica gara, se non si può preparare, mentale, se non si può venire che ho la partenza. In sa schon vigni, in spitesche semplemente, bia de pli, tocca de vos fai lo ebu plage, sin se ri col traia dobel pidic, sin viadic, col zem prems. A quale è un dies di, asi è bumo, è un inegai, è bumo il temsi, il rang, la corsa, sin se mi rosa in tuo, in quella antira atmosfera, è schina fiasta da bai, in scontri, in, eh, schina in famiglia in pau. Exakt, in så jag nu men kvalt kvalt stund det är ska ska inte ja ja ni är familj är din din centau på min tjega så enter i lekurs är din vi betyder en sämman samma jävika och en ta en sämman är din diskur är så du så du diver gav ja. A komplicerad är för att se så rinner gada. Da vos as kulisses ko a kommentar for sin ikke. Da vos din mikrofon. Grand plaisir, grand plaisir. Jeg har læst en gratiavus på invitation. Det er også fedt interessant, det vil jeg ikke gøre. Skal skal vos moderatorer, så vil så vil det præsentere sig en vi er kulantere teknik. Det er også fedt interessant, det er også fedt. Det er faktisk ikke det, at vi nu så tit så får sig en aftale, at vi ikke mest en gratis fedt invitation. Gauda o squest trade skill in quei paradisi in quei mecca alai. Grazie a te. Bidi. Allo donde puspoi. Dario, io sai non ti sono i pinaus. Dario vi dai le tasche al momento a in stress. Dario bis 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 noi pisega. So I'm back at the microphone. Great. Thank you very much, Andreas Vilan. Thank you very much, our dear Remichi Maisen. Thank you very much, Remichi Maisen. Thank you for being here. Talking in English, German, Swiss, German, and uh, Romanish. Wow. Thank you very much. Yeah. This is the end of uh, stage one. Weather still looks good. Weather forecast tomorrow is better than today. There's some rainfall expected uh, this afternoon. But uh, yeah, if you look into the riders' faces, if they cross the finish line like now, they're, uh, they're so happy. Yeah. <laughs> there are fans all around here. Yeah, they're having a good time. And even there's the food tent waiting for uh, for all the riders after the finish line. So it, there's really some nice food, some cheese, some chocolate. There's even um, drug-free beer. So beer without any alcohol. Sorry. 
tastes really good. Yeah. Everybody's having a good time here. And um, yeah, there's still a lot of riders on course at the moment. They're having a good time. If I have a look onto the uh, live tracking, yeah, a lot of riders are on the last uphill. So the leaders, they arrived just a few, uh, probably an hour ago, and uh, some of the latest riders, they be here around uh, four, so not so much time to recover for them. It was great to hear some insights as well from uh, from the riders, and especially from uh, Remichi Meisen, the former competitor here, talking in uh, Romanish. Romanish is a language this is spoken only by 90,000 people in this part of uh, Switzerland. In Grison, we're having a cooperation with uh, the radio and television station uh, Svizzera Romancia, broadcasting this uh, this live stream from this uh, Swiss epic. Tomorrow, yeah, you heard it before from Neil. This is the second stage. And it's a lot of climbing, it's uh, 2,350 meters and 81. So we're going from the Foss to, uh, uh, sorry, from Lenzerheide to St. Moritz. It's a long way, it's a real long way. It's a real, real long climb up to the Albula. And then uh, that, there's a real nice uh, trail going down to the Engadin, but uh, it's not done then. So from kilometer 60, to kilometer 81 it's flat but yeah then there's a there's a last real hard uphill coming three water stations um, through tech station so riders are only allowed to get some help at these tech stations so it's good for tomorrow that we have three water stations Linzerheide in Graubünden, our podium presentation for the UCI women at the end of stage one of the Spa Swiss Epic. To make those presentations today, Marina Morgenthaler, event lead marketing support AG, to do the prizes and the awards. In our UCI women at the end of stage one, 51 kilometers, 2,000 meters of climbing, your third position, Torpado Bulls, Kadazina Zojna, and Irina Lutzenschraub. Your second position on the stage today, Davos Klosters, Bettina Janas, and Adelaide Moratz. <laughs> Winning the stage and also starting stage two in our overall Chivita sponsored leaders' jerseys. It is the team from Africa representing Namibia Mauritius, Elise Thor Efficient Infinity Insure, your stage winners, Vera Loza and Kim Lecor. There they are, congratulations in third place, Torpedo Bulls, second Davos Clusters, and our stage winners, Elise Thor Efficient Infinity Insure. Vera Loza and Kim Lecor. Und von unseren schnellsten Frauen geht es direkt weiter hier ins Ziel mit unserem nächsten Team auf dem Weg. Philipp Schula und Roman Dietli. Two for Uri in den Grandmasters im Ziel.
Well, with the celebrations of the UCI men's and women's category done, and with the dedicated amateurs arriving at the start finish in Lenzerheide, it's a big thanks from all of us, myself, Neil Gardner, Dario, Andreas Ramici, and Paul on the line. We're looking forward till tomorrow's stage two, Lenzerheide to Samper. It's 81 kilometers. We'll see you tomorrow. And at 81 kilometers, it promises to be a big one. Do not miss it. Tune in tomorrow. And it's goodbye from us at the Spa Swiss Epic.
Sarah Hill, Team St. Moritz, Marcus Kiesler and Andre Vedier, all the way to the finish line. Specialized Velo Imfanger and Stall Bikes Women, all in the Masters or Women's category at the moment. First of our Masters Women, Warren Simona Stoll and Nina Brett. Es geht weiter hier im Ziel in der Lenzerheide. Die 51 Kilometer, 2000 Höhenmeter hinter sich gebracht. Unser nächstes Schweizer Duo mit Michael Pleuss, Retovic Cycling Paths Schweiz. Komm hier vorne, um die Kurve geflogen. Und dann hinten dran aus Island. Tropische Temperaturen für unser Team aus Island mit Christine Hauksson und Elmar Hawksons, the Hawksons, Masters man. Typical Iceland weather here in Switzerland today in Lenzerheide. Welcome to your finish of day one, stage one, 51 kilometers, 2,000 meters of beautiful climbing and amazing trails on the way back here to the finish line. Und unsere zweitstärkste Nation hier beim Spa Swiss Epic. Südafrika, welcome from South Africa. Graham McCollum and Stefan Weber, Auto MTB. South Africa, our second strongest nation here at the Spa Swiss Epic. Switzerland, the strongest nation, then South Africa. And then Germany. They braved it out on the route here today from the Netherlands. Team Brave. Harm and Bram Wouters. The Niederländer, the Wouters, are off the way in Richtung Ziel. Und unser nächstes Schweizer Duo auf dem Weg in den Masters Men. Das Team See Later Alligators aus der Schweiz mit Aldo Lünlist und Thomas Rockstuhl. Denmark, Tilke, Nikolai Mortensen and Eric Corneliusen. Und dann direkt hinten dran, unser nächster Schweizer Duo, Will to Zwei, Philipp Barasarians und Urs Samtlehren.
So all the top three teams in our categories. If we look at the men's, it's the great grandmasters, top three teams. Masters, top three teams. Amateurs, top three teams. Please make your way towards the winner's lounge by the finish line for the podium presentations. As well as our top three mixed teams. Please get ready for the podium presentations. And then in the women's category, our masters women and our amateur women. The top three teams, we need you ready as well. Das ist der Aufruf an unsere Top 3 Teams in jeder Kategorie. And in the mixed category, Paradise Adventures Squirt, Shona Esmer, Martinez Esmer, well done, Jelle Tuyer, Fantastis van Dach, and Shades of Dust, zweimal Österreich, zweimal Rot, Weiß, Rot. Shades of Dust, good job, Shona and Martinez. And Sebastian and Stephanie, well done you two. The other one of the, the mixed categories are having the most incredible dice here today. Und wir bitten die Top 3 Finisher, die schon durch sind in den unterschiedlichen Kategorien, die ich jetzt aufrufe, in Richtung Ziel zur Zeremonie zu kommen. Das sind bei den Männern die Grandmaster, die Master und die Amateure. Unsere Mixed Teams Top 3 und bei den Frauen die Masters und Amateure. Bitte kommt runter Richtung Ziel zur Zeremonie. Suri Riders on the way to the finish line. From Switzerland, Samuel Mosley, representing Luxembourg, Max Merkel. Hello to Zaman. Hello, Surya Riders. Welcome to the finish line. Mind about our Chia Vita special today. It's two t shirts and get an accessory free of charge from the Epic Series official mountain bike just across from the finish line. Get yourself a souvenir of your Swiss Epic. And you don't need to be a rider to get some of our souvenirs from the Swiss Epic official merchandise, the team at Chia Vita. Two times Costa Rica on the way to the finish line now. Now the Cape Healthcare CBZ team. Also in our mixed category, how about this? Haina Mora, Natalia Navarro. Well done, Haina. Well done, Natalia. Tobias Edson, Oliver Friedrich. Our Epicollagen Cool team on the way to the finish line. Oh, Schwiez. Hello, Toby. Hello, Oli. Around the finish line they come, Oli and Toby. Bravo, Yitzai. So to the top three teams, in all our men's categories and our women's categories. Please make your way towards the finish line for the podium presentations. And getting ready to welcome our next UCI women's team, das nächste Damen team auf dem Weg, auf den letzten Metern. Gleich kommen sie vorne um die Kurve. Aus Israel, Julia Polevaya und Ekaterina Gurenkova, Serpentine Women. Und direkt hinten from Great Britain, Adam Crotier und Jack Sutcliffe, Ogre und Imp. Und ganz stark vertreten heute der Cube Store Crew, jetzt das Mixed Team auf den letzten Metern, das Schweizer Duo. Um Rainer Hartmann und Daniela Hartmann. So many mixed teams coming over the finish line now. And we're getting ready for two times Austria. They're both Ibexes. They've done three or more Swiss Ibex. Philipp Schneider and Martin Salzmann.
Denmark of the second and the first biggest nation. Second is South Africa first. Switzerland, we've got an amateur men's team and a masters women's team on the way. In the amateur men, they represent our title sponsor. It is Team Spa. It is Robert and Philip Jankelson. One into the two sappers. With them, Susanna Tana and Margit Eberli on Markus Ensler with Björn Chenitz, Cube Stochur, Markus and Björn, and from Chile, Avuer del Planeta. Vamos, 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 vamos! To the team Avuer del Planeta, we say bienvenidos. Welcome to your finish line. It'll be Jose Ramirez with Anai Ulloa. Anai celebrating your birthday today. One of the Afuera del Planeta team in the mixed category. Another one of the amateur men's teams. They are buddies on bikes. Zweimal Schwarz Rot Golds. And gleich haben wir Christoph Bessler und Daniel Müllerklein. Hello Chris, hello Daniel, alles gut? Yeah, super here, it's right. And they keep on coming, the Germans over the finish line. A double Swiss, the super Swiss are here, the Beeksys bike team supported by performance and joy. Racing in the amateur men's. A new category introduced in 2023. Big smiles for Patrick Niklaus and Fabian Huber. Racing in the baggy shorts. chance to welcome many of our friends from Polska racing in the Masters men representing Poland the team calls themselves the epic project Pavel and Marcin what a Pavel what a Marcin gratulacje and the roll score MTB they're gonna be from Denmark so you don't pronounce every letter in the word Roll Scroll MTV. To look at Christopher Janssen and Andreas Volga Janssen as we get ready to welcome a South African legend. Here we go. Two of our legends from Bike Hub in our UCI women's category. Kylie Honeycomb is racing with the legend Isla Stowe. Isla Stowe does a lot of our media bike stuff at the Apsike Bebek. Here they are, what a Kylie, what a Isla. And it's Hans Peter Abeg and Bert Deuce. The Abeg Deuce Masters men's team. Good job to you too. Individual finisher. It, it looks like Finska Kompinjet is the team there, and Tommy Kaya Soria from Finland having to race solo. He's lost his partner. What a Tommy Kaya Soria showing that he's got lots of sea soon. And in the Masters men's, they call themselves the Pangolins. From Colombia, Camilo Lopez, and from Great Britain, Gregory Smith working to become an epic legend. Pangolins are very, very endangered animal on the African continent. 
So Gregory Smith's probably got some very African connection. Racing with Camilo Lopez. Wir freuen uns aufs nächste Duo, das tschechisch-schweizer Doppel auf dem Weg in Richtung Ziel. Full Moons bei Go Vertical Davos, einer unserer Zielorte hier beim Spaß für Selbig dieses Jahr mit Marcel Gomola und Martin Matuska. Wir freuen uns mit Franz Blaser, Toni Übelhardt, Trophy Bike Aufdringen. Das Schweizer Duo ist im Ziel in den Masters Men. Die Teams, die jetzt im Ziel sind, die können sich schon erholen für die morgige Etappe. 81 Kilometer, 2350 Höhenmeter und es geht noch höher hinaus als heute. Der legendäre Alula Pass steht auf dem Programm auf über 2300 Metern Höhe. Gleich geschafft hat unser nächstes Duo hier im Women's, die Stoll Bike. Twins aus der Schweiz mit Lea Thüring und Petra Thüring. Paul, hast du schon mal gute deutsche oder Schweizer Heimatfilme gesehen? Kennst du diese Bilder, dieser alte Zug, der an den Bergen, den Schweizer Bergen entlang, die Dampflok durch die Berge fährt? Wahrscheinlich im südafrikanischen Fernsehen nicht so vorhanden. Ein, ein Film? Oder ja, gemein, im, immer wieder siehst du das in Filmen. So, so Heimatfilme, schöne Filme über die Schweiz, so typisch so Heidi Land. Und das ist, was unsere Fahrer morgen sehen werden. Die historische Eisenbahn. Es geht auf den Alvula Pass rauf, 22 Kilometer Anstieg. Eisenbahn, is that a steam train? Yes, wow. correct. So how are we getting to St. Moritz? Mit der Eisenbahn? Mit der, mit der Eisenbahn. Das Gute ist, das viel Gute ist, we got Clinton Haney at Grand Hall. The Jack Rabbit 4.0, well done. And Daniel Heinig. Carlos Enrico Parias, well done to the Cadejos. Welcome to your finish line. Uh, I've seen on YouTube, you can actually, on YouTube, you can just watch Swiss train journeys through the Alps. Like hours and hours of Swiss trains. Ja, und morgen dürfen die Teams 22 Kilometer lang der Anstieg auf den Alpula Pass eh wieder an dieser historischen Eisenbahn vorbei, die wirklich spektakulär aussieht. Nicht so Eisenbahn, wie wir es heute kennen, noch richtig schön in den Berg gebaut. 
wie viel sie davon sehen werden bei 22 km Anstieg, das ist die andere Frage. We're filming incredible footage of the racing, so you can relive the memory that you missed while you were bleeding through your eyeballs. Now, talking about the Albula Pass, I see that almost every week on Daniela Reeves Instagram. The Swiss Miss, a 10-time Ironman World Champion, 5 times 70.3, 5 times Ironman World Champion. She's always living and training in St. Moritz, so she's always doing the Albula Pass. Ja, ganz, ganz häufig. Und es ist, damit ist bewiesen, die Schweizer Höhenluft produziert schnelle Athleten. Daniela Reef, die Triathletin, die mehrfache Weltmeisterin, die hier auch immer wieder in der Region trainiert. Und unser nächstes Team, unsere nächsten Teams auf dem Weg von Brasil, André Costa, Marcius Costa, from Costa Rica, Rodrigo Herrera, Soloranzo und Daniela Chaveri, CBC Cycling, die Weichschule Swiss mit Bert Graber und Norbert Eaton und from Belgium, Karen Sturz und Bastian Asselmann, First Ascent. From Poland and the United States, Martin Wibrzyk and Dylan Jones, Karl Tudu-EU, Forestier Rosti from France, the epic legend René Valle with his Italian teammate Ricardo Giulio Acuto, and the British double Jody Hall and Nathan Kinch, Team Neukert. I think if you pronounce that name the way it's just say Nukit. Yeah, yeah. Nukit, now it makes sense. I think, you know, when yeah. you put your pasta in the microwave oven, just <laughs> yeah. nuke it. You just nuke it. it. Took me a second there. I do apologize. I'm German. Oh, we, we, hold on. He, he pretends he's German when it suits him. Yeah. I'm just, I'm helping him along a little bit. Team Nukit. Or it's team, it's, they got themselves some a new, new kit. New kit. It's new Lycra. New kids. Which reminds me of the special that we got in which year. <laughs> <laughs> two t shirts from Chavita, get a free accessory. Uh, we're going to be doing our figure presentations for the Grandmasters men, Masters women, Masters men, Mix and Amateurs men. Aber vorher holen wir noch unsere nächsten Masters men in Ziel. Bike to help Google aus der Schweiz, Stefan Gutknecht und Gerald Gubler. Und es geht direkt weiter mit dem nächsten Schweizer Team. Remo Manza, Beat Krapf, Giallo Pizza Schweiz. Paul, wenn, wenn du ein fünf Etappen Mountainbike rennen durch die Schweiz machst, gibt es, ein, viermal gemacht. gibt es einen besseren Teampartner oder Sponsor als eine Pizzeria? Nein, überhaupt nicht. Oder nee, vielleicht ein Brauerei. <lacht> oh, Pizzeria und Brauerei, das wär's aus Österreich. Das Team Rosatz mit Walter Hatz und Dominik Rossmann im Amateursman. Österreich im Ziel. Die erste Etappe von fünf ist geschafft. All teams in the 
top three of the following categories Grandmasters men, Masters men, Amateur men, and Mixed. So the six riders in the top three teams in all those categories, as well as our Masters women. Please, can you make your way towards the podium? We'd like to do the podium presentation. And a welcome across the line from South Africa and Masters man, Brett Dixon and Christo Gaia. Heute geht weiter Schlag auf Schlag hier im Ziel. Osterschwitz. Wir outen uns als Touristen in der Schweiz. Ralf Hutter, Hans-Peter Steiger, Naturstrom auf den letzten Metern. Und direkt hinten dran Daniel Dester und Cornel Fuhrer. Die GKW Epilogen Malans. Which up the back to Scandinavia from Denmark, the Rosco Mountain Bike Team 2 with Henrik Massen and Carsten Lumbi Thompson. And here we go, family by marriage, the brothers in law from Finland with Johannes Kuitunen and Vaino Ilinen. Congratulations. And Jordana, Bankarina, Tsiamat, Larissa Rosna, and Melanie Eichmann. Wonderful to have the world listening in on live feed as uh, Tim Shake and myself, Paul K. Bring the riders down those final meters here in Lenterheide at the end of stage one. Stage one has been 51 kilometers with the 2,000 meters of climbing to get the day going, to get the week going. So the riders get ready to conquer the Alps. Thank you, David Wright. Yes, you are correct. Peter Felber is without a doubt a legend. And we always celebrate him every time we bring him to the finish line. We had more than women finish a moment ago. Yeah, it was uh, the Giordana Bike Arena Zermatt team of Larissa uh, Melanie. We are getting ready for the podium presentations for a whole bunch of our categories as they get into their jerseys and clean up. You'll be able to watch that on our live stream as well. And we have our next team, this here in the last time. In the last time, the Ziel comes after 150 km, 2,000 km. We're welcoming the Danish duo, the Danish Dynamite, Ideal Hooser, Tulike, Kaspar Kallesen, and Kenneth Paulsen. And it's uh, a double dose of Belgian brilliance, Mikael Paulus and Louis Thiers. Il team, 8300. Two more brilliant Belgians under the finish line. Ein wunderschönes Warm-up heute, die 51 Kilometer, 2000 Höhenmeter für das, was morgen und vor allem übermorgen kommt. Dann in Richtung St. Moritz. Jetzt erstmal auf dem Weg hier ins Ziel in der Lenzerheide. Das deutsche Duo mit der Epic Legend. Scott Sports Deutschland. Hier kommen Karina Mohr und Nina Hartle. You talk about German legends. Uh, you were doing the commentary of the... Uh World Cup Racing with Sabine Spitz. What a legend that is. Sabine Spitz, auch schon im Cape Epic unterwegs gewesen. Die deutsche Cross-Country Mountainbike-Legende. Spektakuläre Bilder. Erinnerst du dich noch, Sabine Spitz? 
ich weiß gar nicht genau, 2018, 2019, als sie oben am Pass versucht, die Wasserflasche zu greifen und dann über den Lenker, über die Mauer gegangen ist. If you want to be famous in an epic series mountainbike race, you don't have to win. You just need to an a spectacular crash. But please do it with the video cameras are standing by. Yeah, there we go. You talk about that. We love to celebrate all our incredible heroes. Finishing an epic series mountain bike race anywhere in the world makes you a hero. Die morgige Etappe, 81 Kilometer, 2350 Höhenmeter. Es ist ein angenehmer Start, 22 Kilometer flach, leicht bergab unten an den Fluss, ehe dann der 22 Kilometer Anstieg zum Adebola Pass kommt. Jetzt aber erstmal die letzten Meter für unser nächster, nächstes Schweizer Duo im Mastersman. Team möchte gern mit Marc Bühler und Raphael Band. It looks like they're in very much of the colors of Davos. The blue and yellow, we are getting ready for another one of our podium presentations. Standing by for the thumbs up, thumbs up from the boss. Oh, we've got thumbs up from the boss. Welcome to Lenzerheide at the end of stage one for the podium presentations of our Grand Masters men. In third position today, listen to these legends that you hear and see on the podiums at our Epic Series mountain bike races around the world, is our Vixis bike holiday team of Epic Legends Berti Bucher and Hans Jörg Geber. In second position, from Norway, Team Stika Martena, Thomas Morgkrutsen, and Oud Snerthammer. And the Grand Masters, winners of stage one of your 2023 Spa Swiss Epic here, Lenzerreiter to Lenzerreiter. The all Swiss combination, Ver Velos.ch1, Markus Ver and Christian Sonderegger. Congratulations, Barty Bucher, Hans Jörg Gerber, Thomas Knutzen, and Ortsdent Harmer, and your winners. Markus Fair and Christian Sonderegger. And those of the Grand Masters. Das gerade die Zeremonie und gerade durch während der Zeremonie das Spike Team. Von Rees Krennebühl, Werner Hollenstein. Und let's get ready for our next African duo. South Africa and Namibia on the way towards the finish line. Surek Sweden? Yeah, it looks like that. Surek Sweden. Welcome to Linda Detring representing the Rainbow Nation. And Yulika Pal representing Namibia. There we go. We saw them smiling on the start line. They scream and shout with delight and they're smiling on the finish line. Or was that the fans that were screaming and shouting? You two are doing a wonderful job. You're, on the, you're in podium position for our Best Spectators Award, okay? Keep it up. We're only going to give it to you in Davos on Saturday, though. Have you started a beer already? Yeah, you got to stay hydrated. Looks like we're getting ready for the next category. Is it our Masters women? Okay, we're getting ready for the Masters women. As 
we welcome uh, Michael and uh, Paul, Team Biltong. One Dutchie, one Sapper. Why don't you, Michael and Paul, they're probably both South African at one stage. And I'm just waiting for the thumbs up from the boss. We've got thumbs up, here we go. Our Masters women. At the end of stage one, Lenterider to Lenterider, our Masters Women category. Here are your top three teams. In third place, the team Mantus. Please put your hands together. Representing Switzerland, Susanna Tanner and Margrit Eberchli. It's all Swiss in the Masters Women. Second position today at the end of stage one. Stall Bikes Twins, Lea and Petra Turing. And my goodness, they are twins. Either that or I'm seeing double. Bit too early for that. And talking about double, our stage one winners, Stall Bikes Women, Simona Stoll and Nina Bren. Congratulations to our Masters Women's teams. Mansu second, third, Stoll Bikes Twins second, and your winners, Stoll Bikes Women, Simona Stolen, Nina Bren. And we are ready now for the Masters Men. Top three teams in the Masters Men for stage one, day one of the Spa Swiss Epic. In third place, Ivar Finland, Nico Kupiainen, and Samuli Suri. Our second place, all Swiss, La Bicaria Lipuner Cycling Team, Sasa Jeplazes. And Marcel Führer. The winners in the Masters Men of Stage 1. All Swiss, Scott Davos, MTB Project 2. Florian Vogel and Martin Guyan. Yeah, Flori Martin, Peter top step of the podium there you go congratulations to Evo Finland La Bicaria Lipunier cycling team and the winners Scott Davos MTB project to Florian Vogel and Martin Guyan And from Sweden, our next team across the line, Lena Sports, CK with Daniel and Christian. And now we are ready for our next category. These are the top three teams in the mixed race. The mixed categories just got bigger and bigger with every epic series mountain bike event around the world. And it's max up here, the sparse was epic. These are the top three at the end of stage one. Third place, R2Bike.com MTN crew. It is Andrea and Mark Becker. One of the 
five nations represented. This is Canada. Second place, Pit Stop Velo Café, Rémi Bouchard and Rebecca Beaumont. And the top step of the podium goes to the bike store Brunox Racing Team, representing Germany, Benjamin Michael and Dörte Marczewski. And green is the color for our mixed teams. Your third, Archibike.com MTN crew. Second, Pistop Velo Cafe. And the winners, Bike Store, Brunox Racing Team, Benja Michael and Dörte Michurowski. Heute Morgen 300 Teams an den Start gegangen und noch knapp 120 Teams sind auf der Strecke unterwegs. Die maximale Stage Time heute 16.30 Uhr, also noch viel, viel Zeit. Und die besten Nachrichten des Tages, die meisten Teams sind rüber über den Hochpunkt bei Kilometer 7. Und 30 Top Up unterwegs. Jetzt aber erstmal das nächste Duo. The From the United States and Germany, Catherine Wood and David Barr, Team Endless Summer. Uster Schweiz, wir freuen uns. Per Velos Schweiz, Ruschmik und Kurt Zülig. A quick shout out to Christopher Portugal and Renato Tapia. We need you for the podium presentation ASAP, my friends. Because we are getting ready for the amateur presentation of the white Chiavita amateur jerseys, which happen to be my favorite jersey. White amateur category jerseys. Just waiting for the bosses to give me the thumbs up. Vamos España, the epic legend in the making, Samuel Garcia, Ferber Omis, and Anselmo Perez Manso, Maliolus Masters Man. A beautiful day in Lenzerida. Mostly blue skies, lovely temperatures, a gentle breeze. And it just is the Alpine surrounded, creating this amphitheater of celebration for our mountain bikers, 300 teams from 45 countries. Canyon Northwave MTB winning the men's race. Elise Deficient Infinity Insure winning the women's race in stage one of five stages. 339 kilometers with 10,850 meters of climbing for our riders. Und gleich geschafft hat unser nächstes Schweizer Masters Man Team. Das Schweizer Duo vom TS Racing Team mit Fabian Zürcher und Reto Ligli auf den letzten Metern. Herzlichen Glückwunsch, Reto und Fabian. We're getting ready for the amateur men. And these will be the category white Chivita jerseys, the amateur men. A wonderful battle amongst these teams. And in third position, Al and Bar. Valeria Henrot and Alessio Guetti, third place. Your 
your second position, Stolbikes, Lukas Spengler, Jonas Baumann. And taking the win in the amateurs category, they'll start two in white. Team Portugal, Christopher Portugal and Renato Tapia. So it was Adelin Bar, third, stole by second, Team Portugal taking the win, Christopher Portugal and Renato Tapia. One and two are Carlman and Nick Kershaw having been over the finish line. The crazy cousins just a moment ago. Und direkt hinten dran die Swiss Weasels im Masterman mit Andreas Jud und Stavros Antifakos. Let's get ready for our next mixed duo from Italy. Ciclo Meccanico Miane Bike Team with Nicola Brisotto and Noemi Pilat from Argentina. Medicos Medokinos, the Argentinian duo Sergio Cortolo and Anibal Mira. And here we go with the Czech duo, Petr Skala, Ladislav Peter, South Africa, Johan Kritzinger and Eric Kleinans, Mark Magoe, Melin Fanto from Switzerland, and Niels Karl and Sebastian Wixel from Bike Club Kandersteg. Es geht Schlag auf Schlag bei uns hier im Ziel. Tag 1 des Spaß Swiss Epic, die Etappe von Lenzer Heide. Zurück hier nach Lenzerheide, 51 Kilometer, 2000 Höhenmeter. Zweieinhalb Stunden haben unsere Teams noch hier. Die Maximalzeit der Etappe 1 und dann geht es morgen weiter. Der Start um 8 Uhr und dann geht es auf einer wunderschönen Strecke inklusive Albula Pass über die 2312 Meter rüber in Richtung St. Moritz. Let's get it up erstmal here, Ziel weiter. Let's give it up for Jamie Kalmus and Henry Marks. It was Jack's idea. Dario Signorel and Marina Signorel. Bike Wallenstadt. And the next two Schweizer Duos, the Fremde Hirsche, with Kenneth Mengesen and Thomas Hofstetter and Rahel Wettig, Stefan Sutzer, Metz Davos. Zwei Drittel unserer Teams, die heute Morgen zwischen 9 Uhr und 9.30 Uhr gestartet sind, sind mittlerweile im Ziel. Noch 100 Teams auf der Strecke unterwegs und wir freuen uns mit jedem Einzelnen, das hier ins Ziel kommt. Jetzt auf dem Weg unser nächstes Team im Grandmasters Man. 
die Epic Legende from South Africa, zusammen mit dem deutschen Partner Andreas Diakon und Axel Tonau. Let's keep him coming down here at the finish line. Our next man still in the amateurs. On the way from Loth Cycle Centre, James Shaw and Jack Wilson. Well done, boys. Stage one done and dusted. It is the friendly kickoff of the Spa Swiss Epic 2023. 51 out of 339 kilometers on five stages done so a long long way to go and the netherlands circular cycling martis gerrit and eric brosfort and rita sports mark highland and sam highland from great britain Tomorrow's stage two boasting an incredible, incredible course from here all the way over to San Moritz. Starting off nice and gentle and descending roughly 600 meters before riding along the beautiful rivers and then tackling the 22 kilometer Albula Pass along the historic railway that UNESCO World Heritage Site beautiful views all the way to the peak at 2312 meters a speedy incredibly beautiful single trail descent with berms and jumps and just flowy as they come before that gla gradually climbing a back up to the finish line in san moritz das nächste duo im mix mit anna pika und jan Sus. Give gas to Ivan Velosport. The next duo from Great Britain, the legends Alpine Ravers and Brett Torsen, Ben Ward. Well done, gentlemen.
And the Dutch, he's doing incredibly well here at the Spa Swiss Epic 2023. This cycling team Delta from the Netherlands. Here come Mark de Boyle and Robert de Moor. Und hinten dran aus Deutschland das Team Anton. Im Grand Masters Men unterwegs Thomas Legger und Stefan Eck. Nicht schlecht hier in der Lenzer Heide für einen angeblich regnerischen Nachmittag, der hier vorhergesagt war. Und die nächsten beiden auf dem Weg ins Ziel. Jetzt haben sie es geschafft. Die Stolbros 5.5, Peter Brunner und Meinrad Fühls. Zwanzig Grad und Lieselregen waren vorhergesagt. Ich würde sagen, dafür haben wir es nicht schlecht getroffen hier heute in der Lenzerheide. Und nochmal zur Erinnerung für morgen, dann der Start eine Stunde früher. Um 8 Uhr geht's los in die erste längere Etappe, dann mit 81 Kilometern, 2350 Metern Anstieg. Das zweitmeiste Klettern einer Etappe. Im diesjährigen Spa Swiss Epic. Wir schnaufen kurz durch hier am Ziel, ehe es gleich weitergeht mit den nächsten Teams. Eine kleine Lücke, ein paar wenige, die unten am Campingplatz jetzt durch sind bei Kilometer 48. Die meisten gerade mitten drin im Single Trail, in diesem wunderschönen, naturbelassenen, steinigen Single Trail mit dem Rock Garden zwischendrin. Diese lange Abfahrt vom Top vom runter. Hier in Richtung Campingplatz. Knapp 50 Teams, die sich da gerade auf diese 8 Kilometer Strecke verteilen. Und dann hier die letzten 3 Kilometer, wenn sie am Ende des Trails angekommen sind. Wunderschön durch den Wald am Campingplatz. Wobei hierher ins Ziel schlängeln.
Insgesamt auf die 339 Kilometer beim diesjährigen Spa Swiss Epic. 10.800 Höhenmeter, die überwunden werden müssen. Wer heute hier ins Ziel kommt, der hat die ersten 2.000 geschafft. Das heißt, in den nächsten vier Tagen im Schnitt noch immer über 2.000 Höhenmeter am Tag. Nur einmal bleiben wir unter 2.000 Höhenmeter, ganz, ganz knapp mit 1.950. Und dann äh, am Donnerstag die Etappe in St. Moritz, die Rundetappe auf 68 Kilometer, dann 2.000 450 Höhenmeter, die zumindest auf Papier anspruchsvollste Etappe dieses Jahr. Jetzt kommen sie, unser nächstes Duo, Amateurs Man aus der Schweiz und Großbritannien, Settled and Adult, Pascal Bruin aus der Schweiz und John Speed from Great Britain. Nothing like a cold brew on a hot summer's day, right? Especially as the spectators over here welcoming all our riders across the finish line after finishing stage one of five at this year's Spa Swiss Epic. Five beautiful stages, three Graubünden. Das nächste Duo, wir freuen uns, jetzt wird es wieder voll an der Finishline. Die Epic-Legende Bernhard Ebli zusammen mit Daniel Vogler und das nächste Schweizer Duo, die Gibbons auf dem Weg. Jan Ramsey, Alessandro Lanfranchi from the Netherlands, Billy van der Ende and Luke van der Meidenberg and from South Africa, the Dutch South Africans, Egon Tönissen. And Quan Hansen. Well done by our South African duo. Bringing it home in style. Yeah, making their way to the finish line in the mixed. All the way from beautiful Australia, Team Roth with Larissa Roth and David Francis. You see, that's commitment. If you're from Australia and you've got the Swiss flag on your jersey, now that's commitment to the Swiss epic.
the Spa Swiss Epic. That's one way to spend your vacation from Australia. Our mums on holiday, Nelly Saunders and Elizabeth Taylor. Paul, Südafrikaner auf dem Weg. Was sind Scullies? Oh, Scullies are troublemakers. Scullies are always making trouble wherever they are, especially if they're from Friedrich. And weirdly, the name Friedrich Scullies is actually ironic. Because the direct translation of Friedrich means peaceful corner. So how can a troublemaker be from peaceful corner? The other ironic thing about Friedrich Friedrich is in the city bowl of Cape Town. And it's not peaceful at all, it's very windy. And the next South African team, longevity, Michael Jeffrey, Mark Fuller. And the Czech duo, Jan von Drag and Jakub Adamschek. And more of our Danes, 45 nations from around the world at the start here. From Denmark, Jesper Christensen and Bersko Stranstov. And you see, usually the Dutch and the Dirt Germans, they don't play well together, but they do at the Spa Swiss Epic. Das Hollandisch Deutsche Duo mit Schiel Snedder and Meinert von der Heuvel. Und das Schweizer Französische Duo mit Nathaniel Hiem und Florin Dürst, Team Last Minute. So, Till, do you know a little something about bicycles? Yeah. Why is it that so many Swiss riders ride Scott? Sounds very American. Now, yeah, so the, the, the one reason, the main reason is it's a Swiss company. But it's also, hands down, just one of the best mountain bikes in the world, ridden by some of the best mountain bikers in the world. And if you've got Nino Schurter on a Scott, that automatically means that thousands of riders around the world want to be on the bike that Nino Schurter rides. And um, funny enough, I was chatting to the folks from Bulls who were saying themselves, Scott is setting the benchmark in a way in how the team presents himself in the way they've been on top of the game for so long in cross country and stage racing alike. But yeah, obviously the main reason is it's a Swiss company. Well, there we go. There you have it. You've heard it from the Eurosport commentator for uh, World Cup and World Championship Cycling. Till Schenk, brand new to the Swiss Epic. He's ridden the Andorra Epic. He's ridden the Cape Epic. Was meinst du on dieses schöne Kulisse? Oh, trauma schön. Wieder ganz anders nochmal. Cape Epic ohnehin anders, aber Andorra ist so ein Berg, den du auf allen Seiten einmal hochfährst. Aber hier ist überall Berg. Welcome to Kobe and uh, Vannes to the brilliant Belgians. 
And we've got a Brit and an American on the way. Team USWE, Kelly Jones with Austin Buchwald on it. The least American surname I've ever heard in my life. But on Kelly. And uh, well done, Austin. Soda right into the finish line. The yeah, big smile on the start line representing South Africa. Alone over the finish line. Still happy, still smiling, still bouncing. Bunjani Boot, Kiblile. So, Shank, if you were good at mathematics, you'd have a real job. Just like me, if I was good at math, I'd have a real job. About 80 teams still out there, which, um, hold on, I can do two times table. There's about 100, 140 riders. Close enough. <laughs> That's South African math for you right there. In Deutschland, there's 160. Look at these two. I saw them a moment ago with beer. There was exactly the same. You know when you watch movies, continuity is very important. Like the person smoking the cigarette in the next shot. Suddenly it's a brand new cigarette. No, these, these two South Africans, from, are you from Stelis? I'm, I was just saying, like, I'm having a walk down memory lane. I haven't seen a Stelis shirt in forever. You love Stelis. But somehow they manage to have the same amount of beer in their beer mug every time they come to the finish line. But I, I looked at it. It is moving. It's not one of those fake ones that's got, like, plastic, plastic beer in there. So it's real I, beer. You know, Till, I've always got my whole okay, you know, scientifically proven facts. A scientifically proven fact about beer is when held in the hand of a South African, it tends to evaporate faster out of the glass when a non-South African is holding it. Jetzt aber erstmal die nächsten Teams. Was sind sie? Das belgische Quartett. Vorneweg Tom Rosen and Flore Engels. Kine Praktik Lo and two ordinary Belgium guys. Karel Breda and Gies Olbrechts. And we get ready to welcome the team. Hill Bokis. Usually with Bokis, both would be female. But we got a Gerard Kreer with Janita Kreer. Two South Africans on the way. Our Bokis in the colors of the Rainbow Nation in the mixed category. They are the Hill Bokis. Look at you go. Well done. More yellow to you. And I like, hold on, you did, you're not wearing the same socks. You're wearing the same colors, but you, the socks are not identical. Fix that tomorrow. <laughs> and here they come. Well done, Chris Benson with Robert Benson. Charles de Clerc and Jaco Duplessis. They're about to join us, the O Topis. And we've got a South two South African sporting legends. Here we go, Gary Christ, Kirsten and Jeremy Thompson are about to join us. So, Gary Kirsten, Springbok Pro Tears Cricketer. Jeremy Thompson, Springbok rugby player, team fair tree. Gary's done a whole bunch of uh, Absolute Bear Big So's Jeremy, and here they are. Gary Kirsten, Jeremy Thompson, well done. Aber ihr habt die komischsten Teamnamen in Südafrika. Was sind denn jetzt schon wieder Toppies? Toppies are, so an old Toppie is somebody like me, it's an old man. Ah. Yeah. Soon, yeah. soon. You're was about to get married for the second time. <laughs> Soon you're going to be an Otopi as well. Is this the moment I'm supposed to say you're not old? Yes, otherwise <laughs> you don't get paid. Thank you, Till Schenk. What does Österreichs Duo from Team B and K, Birgit Lappmeier, Kurt Barit, Österreich, auch eine schöne Mountainbike Region? Now, do you get a more Germanic name than Kurt? It's right up there. There's Franz. Kurt. Kurt. Walter, vielleicht. It's a toppy. If you're called Walter, then you're a toppy. So you know what my middle name is. And that's where you're going with this. Walter. Yeah. It sounds much better in German than it's in English. Walter, Walter, take me to the altar. So my dad's name was Kurt Peter. Kurt Peter. Kurt Peter. And you're Walter. Yeah, he's been Paul Walter. 
something I don't like to advertise too often. I've just done it on the live stream, and everybody in South Africa is rolling on the floor, killing themselves laughing. What, Paul Kelly's name is Paul Walter? Well, never mind that. How about Dirk and Renell Nell? Our links, real estate legends. Hello, Renell. Just your hair's longer than last time. Yo, I, you know, the only reason Renell Nell, who's a road cycling legend from South Africa, has long hair, it's so that Dirk's got something to hold on to on the climbs. Let's give it up for our next team here from the United States. Uh, the team Grey Beard. Something Paul knows a lot about. Robert Charles and Chris Clyde. I got two. Oh, so you yeah, it's there. Aber sehr, sehr Deutsch, Bastian Benjamin. Double B, Bastian Benjamin. Okay, okay. See, in my family, your names had to work in German and in English. So my sister is Karin or Karin. I'm Paul or Paul. My son is Sebastian or Sebastian. Funny enough, you're the only person who is allowed to call yourself Paul. Yeah, because, see, what you need to understand, when I was a little boy, even though my mother was not South, not German, when she was angry with me, Paul Walter, yeah, echt Deutsch, Paul Walter, because you know German's a harsh language, so you knew you were in trouble when you heard your full name in German. I think this, it's something parents don't learn, it's something they just have, is this Use of both names when they're angry. Till Bastian Benjamin. No, but I do the same thing to my son when I get cross. I shouted his name in German. Why? I don't know. Luckily, he's a good boy. He doesn't happen often. I was wondering why we had no spectators. It's because Till keeps dancing. He's scaring everybody away. Usually, the dancing is okay. It's when I start singing that we get into trouble. I don't think these microphones can handle that. They'll start clipping. By the way, have you and Annika sorted out your first dance? Yes, we have. Is she wearing steel cap toe shoes? You see, now she's been very secretive about that part. I have no idea whatsoever. So, funny story about that. It's like, I'm not going to tell you the color of my wedding dress. And I'm like, well, but I need to know to match my shirt or something. It's like, well, she can tell you the color of the shirt to get. I'm like, well, but then I know the color of your dress. You no, 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 you know, women are a lot more cryptic than that. She's going to choose a color shirt that complements the color of her dress. So, the average age of the people riding the Absa Cape uh, Epic typically is uh, around about 42 ish here at the Spa Swiss Epic as well. I see a lot of people have used this event to celebrate turning half a century. And that means they're big fans of the 80s, DJ Dan Lee now with a little bit of classics from the police. Sting, otherwise known as Gordon Sumner, and a little bit of message in a bottle.
welcome all of our heroes, Herbert and Sergei, the Bella Market, CSK 18. And we say, hola amigos, como estas, Manuel and uh, Cristobal, our Grandmasters men on the way, they call themselves the Med Extreme team. We say, vamos, 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 venga, mano, venga, Cristobal. Here we are, it's a celebration. Buen trabajo, amigos. Good job to the two of you. A wonderful buddy hop over the finish line. That means they didn't get a time. No, the timing system is active, not passive. Even if you buddy hop over it, uh, you will get it. Two South Africans on the way. We have the South African best spectators in the world are getting ready for our Glimo Energy team, Tommy Davies and Gareth Tui. What I'm Tom, what I'm Gary. Good job to the two of you. We've got a mixed team joining us from España. So many Spanish athletes at our uh, M Series races. One of the biggest nations at the Apsa Cape Epic. Racing in the mixed category, La Infinita Locura. Carolina with Vincente. Venga, 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 Carolina, venga, Vincente. Hola, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo estás? Bien. Yeah, muy bien. Carolina says, Vincente, well done to you as well. Candace Venter, the paging Candace Venter. The Boeing has not flown over yet. Okay, okay, it has, it has, it has. It was an Airbus, but I'll pretend it was a Boeing. Somebody understands. <laughs> Three other teams, 600 riders from nine o'clock this morning. They left us here in Lenzerheide to enjoy what is mountain biking heaven heaven in the Alps, including the bike kingdom. 45 nations. Just looking at the screen now, we've got Spain, South Africa. Two South Africans on the way now. They call themselves the SA Adventurers. We've got Brits, we've got Belgians, lots of Swiss, lots of Dutch. We've got Danes, Aussies as well. But it's two times the beautiful colors of the Rainbow Nation on the way to the finish line, being chased by another South African with a, an American, Eugene Buerta, U.S. the Buerta are on the way. And Travis Spencer Co Coy with Timothy Shera on the way. Well done, Eugene. Well done, U.S. the Ukhanami Yella. Laka da Hobi Beats. Yo, U.S. the with a big smile. And Eugene says, Yard is just flipping like Getting ready for a little bit of dynamite, Team TNT. Travis Spencer Coy and Timothy Shearer. And the epic legend that is Peter Felber, David Wright, message to say, come on, give Peter a big love. With Murray Davidson. Our Bordeaux blend. Oh, couldn't disagree with that. Bordeaux blend is my favorite. Red, big bodied, lots of flavor, yet gentle on the palate. Bordeaux blend, uh, Peter and Murray. Gratulera, congratulations, you two legends. And David Wright says, good job, Peter. And 
perhaps they'll be enjoying a couple of Bordeaux blends. Apparently very good to speed up the recovery. Lots of antioxidants in a good red, I'm told. Doctor also said it's very good for my vocal cords. We're getting ready to welcome a team from the United States and a team from Spain. From the Masters men, it's Nautilus Racing, Pep and Jordi. Hola Pep, hola Jordi, que tal? Muy bien, well done to you two. Felicidades. As we get ready for Maggie and Todd, Team Nuggeto, Graham and Francis Fontenot, well done to you. Bit of red, white, and blue. There's more red and white and blue on the way now with Danielle and Margot. Muggy and Todd, soon to arrive. Double red, white, and blue. Well done to you. One on Danielle, one on Margot. So not pros, representing South Africa, Lucien Davids and Richard Hall. They're the Grand Masters Ben Wallet, you two. Lacariella, what a Lucien, what a Rich. And again, it's another combination of Jorge from Spain, Ricardo from Portugal, Team 4E Capital. Well done, guys. Good job to both of you. Looking good in the identical 4E kits. That's one of the things you and I were talking about. One of the rules of Epic Series mountain bike racing is you got to wear the identical shirts. If you're a team of two, you've got to look like a team. Which is a really good reason to drop by Chio Vita and get matching jerseys for your race. Great segue. Great segue. Tilshank, it's 3-1 to you at the moment in terms of Chio Vita mentions. I didn't know you won commission. <laughs> we broke at the deal yesterday at registration. I'd like to know, Chevita, are you paying us Swiss salaries or European salaries? Solo rider to the finish line. His partners there to welcome him. It is Mike Griffin from True North finishing solo, Mike. But your mate was there to welcome you home and fist bump you. That is the camaraderie of the team spirit of what is our epic series mountain bike events around the globe.
Are we ready to put our hands together? Uh, les titties. Uh, les titties. I love it when a team chooses a name that I can't say until I can. And we welcome the really good team of Taro Ekstien and Roland Egli. In front of them was Stéphane Monnier and Etienne Caillet-Bois. That was Les Titis. Did I mention the name of that team was Les Titis? <laughs> Something you're never allowed to say until it's a team. What was the team name last year? Not yet to something with spiders. It was a very rude word we weren't allowed to say. Started with it. And it, their name actually came up on the finish line clock. And it was really interesting. But I think Les Titties is the team name we're going to milk all day today. <laughs> I don't know. Otherwise, we'll mention another team. So I think Les Titties have just won the competition for the best team name. <laughs> to those of you listening on the live stream, I hope you're over the age of 18. If you're not, Till Sheng said it. Belgium and Germany, Peter Jan Kindermann, Sophia Sophie Arras, the Pi squared team. What is the square root of Pi? If you can tell me the answer now, you're automatic victors of the Spa Swiss Epic 2023. I'll give you the yellow jerseys. GKB Epi College and Chur Gianna Meyer and Leah Roots, our amateurs women team. I'm glad they're not the KGB, but it is the GKB Epi Epi College and Chur Gianna Meyer and Leah Roots. Welcome to your finish line. Herzlich is becoming. He gets here to Ayala Scouts. Herzlich is becoming. Yeah, two thumbs up. Well done. Party time. And I'm really glad you did not call yourselves the KGB team, because then you wouldn't have been allowed to race.
Schweizer Flagge im Ziel. Unser nächstes Tour mit Stefan Julia und Stöllet Natalie. Julia Cycles. I think it's the first time I'm mentioning the country Ireland today. Branding Sports CC, two times Irish. And it would have to be Patrick Murphy, Paddy Murphy, and Andrew McQuaid. Welcome, you two. I hope you had a savage day. Sorry the weather wasn't soft. We've got a double, a double South African arrival now, the Boshies. You probably want to know what the Bosch is. It's a Bush. Stellan Bosch. Roy Bosch. So here we go. We're getting ready for Chantel and Rudy Bosch. Two more South Africans to the finish line. Here we go. Come on, Boschies. Come on, yellow two lacquer. Give us yellow dog. Boy. I'm glad you got the memo about the socks. Paul, hier kommt das nächste legendäre Team. Das kannst du bitte sagen. Die aus Belgien. Ja, van der Maas und Marno van Leeshout. Die Motherfuckers. I'm so glad you said that and not me. Straight after Team Titties come the Motherfuckers. Um, no, say the O like an O, like, not like a U. The, the Motherfuckers. Okay, stop repeating yourself. What did you say? We're getting ready now for the Quebec Bow Service. They must be building in the building business. Carlo Kriekus and Ferraz Budaka. I hope you didn't build any houses out on the trails. What unto the Kriekus?
the teams that have finished. Remember, we've got beer for you. Lunch is served. Vertical coffee and beer as well. We hope you bought your reusable beer mugs and your aluminium reusable cups. It's our drive towards sustainability, reducing the amount of single-use plastics massively with the reusable cups that you can keep as a memento and a souvenir for future celebrations of your Swiss epic. Thank you to all our partners, including the Graubündner Cantonal Bank. Thank you to SPA title sponsors, Wahoo, Chivita, Northwave, 2-6er, Maskabishi. And you know what Maskabishi stands for? Something with bicycles. More than the bike. Maskabithi, more than the bike. So they don't just do mechanics, they don't just transport the bikes. They also do physiotherapy and massages, amongst other things. Not yet, thank you. See, I do know some sign language. Uh, there was just my boss, Candace, asking me if I'd like a beverage.
maximale Etappenzeit heute bis 16 Uhr 30 an diesem wunderschönen Tag hier in der Lenzer Heide, dem Bike Kingdom. Die erste Etappe 51 Kilometer, 2000 Höhenmeter und die schönsten Trails in der Region hier in der Lenzer Heide im wunderschönen Graubünden unter anderem mit dabei heute auf der Etappe Nino Schürters. Golden Trail, wo er sich 2018 schon den Weltcup-Sieg geholt hat. Der Trail mittlerweile nach ihm benannt. Es war ein großartiger Tag soweit und noch sind knapp 50 Teams draußen auf der Strecke unterwegs. Now, whilst we wait for those 50 teams still out on the course, on this beautiful stage where you made reference to the Nino Schurter Trail, we're getting ready to welcome one of our amateur women's teams, the Cali Rado Rhodes. Joanna Nuba and Krista Silvers from the USA. Here we go, some stars and stripes, some red, white, and blue. You've got to smile over the finish line. Look at that, they punch the air. One on Joanna, one on Krista, and it is a double South African team. The Macintoshes are here, but they didn't need their Macintoshes today because it wasn't raining. A Mac is a, a name for a raincoat, by the way. Craig and Jeremy on the way, the Mad Max. They're not the Big Macs, say the Mad Max. What kind of Mac are you? Well done, lads. Welcome to the British line. And we would like to welcome Johannes Pinar and Heinrich Heisamer. The Mordo team are on the way, but also reminded of the top three amateur women's teams. We'd like to do your podium presentation. Our top three amateur women's teams to the podium, please. And fantastic, Johannes. Moi, Heinrich. You like it, Yellow Twia? Lekker. <laughs> that, that shake of the head from left to right was actually a yes. It was fantastic. Moi Mordo. Und vor euch ja nicht nur unsere Athleten, unsere Zuschauer hier vor Ort unterwegs, sondern natürlich auch noch draußen am Livestream, wo wir noch immer live unsere finalen Teilnehmer hier ins Ziel bringen. Und wenn wir gleich das nächste Team im Ziel haben, reden wir mal ganz kurz über das, was die Teams morgen auf dem Weg in Richtung St. Moritz erwartet. Jetzt haben wir erstmal das nächste deutsche Team, das Team Leo Channel im Mastersman mit Thorsten Piska und Thorsten Schlingmann. Zweimal Thorsten, TT, We're missing Maggie and Todd from the US. Maggie and Todd, Team Maggie and Todd, we need you on the finish line for the amateur women podium presentation, please. Maggie and Todd. Und Paul, während wir auf Maggie und Todd für die Presentation warten, ein kleiner Ausblick für die Zuschauer draußen am Livestream, natürlich auch genauso wie hier vor Ort. Morgen 81 Kilometer, 2350 Höhenmeter. Es ist ein angenehmer Start, ein Bergabstart. Es geht fast 600 Meter runter an den Fluss. Wunderschöne Aussicht da, perfekt um die Beine zu finden. Und dann geht es rein in den Albula Pass. 22 Kilometer Anstieg, lange Abfahrt und dann nochmal rauf nach St. Moritz. It is going to be a beautiful ride from Lenzerheide in the direction of St. Moritz. And two Belgians are on the way. Team Motors RC, Bram and Bartz, about to join us. Hello, Bram. Hello, Bart. Who gaat it? Heel goed. Wel gedaan, Maat. Wel gedaan. Two happy Belgians on the finish line. Team Motors RC, a beautiful stage from Lenzerijder towards St. Moritz. Uh, we're getting ready to present our amateur women. We're looking for Team Maggie and Todd, Danielle and Margot, Yolanda is there, Cornelia is there, Linda is there, and Julika is there.
Paul in der Vorbereitung auf unsere nächste Zeremonie. Die nächste Kategorie, unsere Amateurfrauen, die als nächstes dran sind. Und währenddessen draußen auf der Strecke noch 42 Teams unterwegs. Die gemütlichsten am heutigen Tag, die sind noch nicht durch an der Spitze bei Kilometer 37. Also von da an dann endlich die Abfahrt. Aber man muss erstmal hoch auf über 2200 Höhenmeter ist dann in diese lange, wunderschöne Abfahrt reingeht. Am Topfop runter hier in Richtung Campingplatz und dann die letzten drei Kilometer in Richtung Ziel. We are being beautifully blessed under the summer sun in Switzerland with this incredible alpine scenery. In Lenzerida, forecasts were for thunder showers and rain. We had a cool start to the morning, no breath. We've had blue skies with the occasional fluffy white cloud just adding some wonderful contrast to the green mountains. And it's a spectacular day in lovely Lenzerida. What a way to start the 10th edition of our spa, Swiss Epic. Oh my goodness, look at them again. Oh, you didn't coordinate your beers very well this time. The levels are different. One of you is thirstier than the other. Oh, hold on. One of you has got two glasses. So the ride to the finish line from the Grand Fun Masters riding individual representing Switzerland. Our solo riders need a big round of applause. Adrian Miller. Bravo, Adrian. Hands up and a wave as he makes it to the line. Our next team on the way to the finish line from Great Britain, Britain, Team KT18. I don't think they're both British. Because the, the second rider, Jaku van Gaas, that's... That, where did you get your union flag from? Lived there long enough. Yeah, okay, Jaku. Well, well done. So in that case, you are Jacko, Warren Stewart Croxford, and Jacko Van Gas.
We are looking for the team Forestier Rosti, Rene Valli, and Ricardo Giulio Acuto. And one more shout out for team Maggie and Todd. That is Daniel and Margot in the amateur women, please. Come to the finish line for the podium presentations. We're getting ready to welcome our riders from Iceland. We get so many riders joining us from Iceland. They call themselves the 235 Ice Girls. Ingma Dagmar Kalsdottir and Anna Cecilia Ingahamer. Well done to our Ice Girls. You can stand next to the podium, not in front of it. You're the photographers, sorry, the twins are the photographers, sorry. All right, we are ready. Our new category for the Spa Swiss Epic, our amateur women. At the end of stage one, 51 kilometers with 2,000 meters of climbing, lens of either to lens of either for the 10th edition of the Spa Swiss Epic. Our amateur women in third position, Team Muggy and Todd, Danielle Wegenstein and Margot Kelly. Second position, the Swiss team, Vani Schneider Ratchburg Crazy, Yolanda Lecher, and Cornelia Schwarzentruber. Taking the win at the end of stage one in the amateur women's category, and with the white Chevita category leaders' jerseys, the team Zurek Sweden, Linda Dietering, and Julika Pahl. Congratulations to our amateur women. Third, Bumagi and Todd. Second, Danny Schneider, Rajport Crazy. And your winners, Zurek Sweden, Linda Dietering, and Julika Pahl. Team Charlie and Lola. One of our mixed teams. Two more. Super Sappers. It's the Fergusons. Any moment now is that left turn onto the finishing straights. 
Hello, Charlie and Lola. It is Sally Ferguson and Nick Ferguson. How you doing? Sally, you never stop smiling. You are a wonderful inspiration to every competitor at our epic series mountain bike events around the world. You were smiling on the start line this morning whilst you were supporting all the riders before they went off. You're still smiling. I love it. Keep it up. Four more riders on the way to the finish line. Two more teams. Two Swiss riders, two Israeli riders. Team Oma, Uste Schwitz. Hey, Marco Bruin and Oliver Landholz. Super hier zwei. Großartige Leistung. And representing Israel, Team Snoopy. I love their big series racing. Here they are, Tomer and Gil. Mazel tov, Tomer. Mazel tov, Gil. What on you two guys? Terrific Tuesday in lovely Lenzaida. Stage one on the first day of the 10th edition 
but our Spas is epic. Not many teams left to join us on the finish line here at Linterreide. Blessed with the beautiful day. Those of you still on the race village, stick around. Wonderful food, free beer, doesn't get better than that. Uh, stick around and help us welcome those last teams still to finish today. Another hour and 15 minutes for the riders still on the course, but no problem for the next two Dutch athletes. Harold Willems and Roland Ventholtz. The Willems Ventholtz team are on their way. Here we go to the Nederlanders, Harold and Roland, who gaan dit maats? Heel goed gedaan. Gefeliciteerd. Well done, Harold. And well done, Roland. We're going to get ready for a bit of Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Infinite Nutrition Australia are on the way. Racing of the Grand Masters men, Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy! Lonnie Toya and Keith Louie, well done you two legends. Good to have you back on the finish line. And congratulations on your 51Ks, your 2,000 meters, day one done. Where are the fans from Namibia? Getting ready to wa welcome the Grand Masters men, the Nam Masters, Axel Thiessen and Stefan van Doorn. The mixed team, uh, Maharika on the way. Bernadette Tan and Dennis. But first it's Axel and Stefan. Moi yellow to him. What on Bernadette and what on Dennis from the Philippines. And it's another Aussie, Aussie, Aussie for the Grunters. Another great name, Kirby and James. From Great Britain, Paul and Andrew. From the USA, Alejandro and Julian. Look at them go. What on Paul, what on Andrew. Red, white and blue, Alejandro and Julian, you've done it. And from Finland in the United Kingdom, Team Sunny Scunny. About to turn that final left turn to the finish line. Team Sunny Scunny, you've done it. Vila, you've done it. Tim, how are you guys doing? Thumbs up. Tongues out, they are happy. More Southern Africans, Bez and Dave on the way. A Zimbabwean and a South African and two more South Africans on the way. The De Villiers are here too. Bez and Dave, Lekker here, Latuya. What on to Johan, what on David. And uh, two more Sappers. Here they come. Where are the De Villiers? Go, 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 yellow to here. Oh, Bjerna, oh. One of my favorite South African names, Mia. Here we go. Davi de Villiers and Mia de Villiers. More yellow. So, um, for all those South Africans listening on the live stream at the moment, Till Sheng's question was, how long do you think it took two South Africans to come up with the name Sappers. So here, here's a bit of a statement coming across the finish line. Whoa. A little bit of history for the history buffs here. From Belgium, David and the Netherlands, Alexander. Team Battle of Waterloo. And the Nomadic Tents on the way. Nomadic Tents, by the way, make the most incredible stretch tents. Really, really good stretch tents. Racing in our Masters category. 
I think they've got this race covered. See what I did there. Welcome, the Matic 10s, Great and Ilderton, and Warren Turner. How are you, boys? Did one of you buy the farm? I think that Graydon and Warren, it was a real stretch to come up with the name Nomadic Tense. Aprikosen Sorbe Zer Zer Lecker. So, to those of you listening to the live stream, our catering crew have just brought the DJ and the announcers some Sorbe apricot flavor. It's Gasa Gourmet Sorbe und Zer Zer Lecker. Paul, have we talked about the Chiavita special today yet? I don't, I don't think we have. Chiavita, I'm told, today and every day I have a special. Today's special is buy two t-shirts, get one accessory free. That's a good deal right there, especially considering it is going to get chilly in the next couple of days. So you might want to get one of those little knit heads or something with your shirts. But imagine... Imagine if they're running the special online as well, to all our global listeners. Imagine if you could go into Chia Vita online now, and if you bought two t-shirts, you got an accessory free. If it wasn't just here at the Swiss Epic. That just sounds like a Swiss fairy tale to me. It sounds like I should be the marketing officer of Chia Vita. One hour to go for our maximum stage time today. At 4.30, the day will end. Here in Letzer Heide, and the preparation begins for stage two tomorrow. By the way, it's 4.30 for the last start group that started K at 9.30. And it gets two and a half minutes earlier for each group that started before that. So I know Andrew Gold and maybe Freddie from Chivita are listening online. And uh, I'm sure I'm going to get a message soon say, PK, that was genius. We're going to roll with an online special to complement the on-site special.
Unser nächstes Schweizer Team, das Team Spa Spezial. Beat Huber, Bruno Zenklusen. Oh, here we go, the Mud Munchers. I think they ate a little bit of dust today. I don't think it was any mud. South African team on the way. Welcome to the Mud Munchers. It's Garth Peterson and Andy Always Right. How's that going for the two of you? <laughs> How's it, boys? Lovely to see you. Good job, chaps. Nice for them, Gaz and Andy on the finish line. Our Mud Munchers, the great grandmasters. And here we go. From Great Britain, Ryan and Peter are in the house. Team Mini. How are you guys doing? Well done. Stage one is conquered, chaps. One out of five in the bag. Celebrate with a nice cold beer.
Now we got a Brit and a South African, the Willy Jumpers. Oh, we got a legend arriving here now. Let me tell you, she's been part of the Absa Cape Epic for I can't remember how long. Part of Team Woolies, who are a long time sponsor of the Absa Cape Epic. You were talking about those awesome lunch packs when you finish. That was the team. Nikki Boyson, if she's not riding, she's always running around with a camera. And she's been in Switzerland for a while. She's taken the best photographs of beautiful Graubund and Mark Smith and Nikki Boyson. Hello, Yella. Yes, Nikki, I've got goosebumps. So lucky to see you. Well done. Look at that smile. And Nikki, thank you for pulling Mark up all the climbs. 45 Länder am Start und jetzt die Mastersman from Singapore. Look at that, all the way from Singapore, 45 nations from around the world at the start line here. And welcome to the finish line, Chester Chua and Michael Yu Ling Tan. So think about it. When we talked about the Netherlands being flat, we talked about Denmark being flat. How do you train for the mountains? Think about living in Singapore. How do you train for the Spa Swiss Epic living in Singapore? You're always going across to Malaysia or somewhere else. You, you get one of those Wahoo incline thingies for your turbo trainer and train indoors. I would like to know from our friends from Singapore, how many laps of the island did you do while training? So funny enough, I heard once you get off the island, the riding is beautiful. So a lot of the athletes that I know that do triathlon, cycling and mountain biking from Singapore, Hong Kong, etc. They get off the island to train. Two more sappers are on the way. Dima Khuba, Jan Borchitz, and Gerard Spreitz. Hello, Jelle Tweer, who was it? <laughs> well done, boys, good job. A spreit is like a stream, a little stream, a spreit. In South Africa, because we have so little water, a lot of our town names have a spreit or a fontaine, a, a stream or a fountain. In their names because it's a big deal when you find water because can you imagine when you arrived in south africa and you were getting a little bit thirsty you needed some farming you needed to eat you found a water source you set up camp it became a farm then it became a village then it became a town then it became a city or we have bloom fountain flower fountain that's in the in the free states we have many fontaines, many sprites. And the applause are deserved from Bermuda, Dennis and Chris. The Bermuda Raceheads at the Trimoor Girls. Georgia Vanes and Kelly Marie Hearts. Well done to both of you. By the way, we never say girls unless it's in the team name, as you well know. So for those of you listening about to get upset with Till and myself, that was their team name. We didn't call them girls.
So, for all the women supporting, we've got Prosecco flavored sorbet. Prosecco. For the women and men who like a bit of bubbles. Ich habe ein Aprikose gehabt, danke. Ich bin fett genug, ja? Ja, ich bin fett genug, aber vielen Dank, merci vielmals. So now we have Prosecco flavored sorbet. Very nice. Die Röwis sind auf dem Weg, unsere nächsten masters -Mail. das österreichische Duo. Jetzt reiche ich hier vorne um die letzte Kurve mit Tobias und Thomas Röbelreiter. Rot-Weiß-Rot, hallo ihr zwei. Welcome back, good job to the two of you. And Team Dipperink is finally reunited. Soon to be an epic legend, Amelia. Look at you, Amelia and Sebastian Dipperink uh, reunited in the colors of uh, Team APSA, sponsors of the APSA Cape Epic, the pinnacle of epic series events around the world. The next mix team, das nächste mix team. Viva España und aus Deutschland, die Montels, Javi Valero Jimenez und Tessa Wiese. Here we go, Singapore again, Team 667.1. Let's give it up for Ray Jong and Sam Chang.
and another individual finisher on the way one of our epic legends from the netherlands waffles and flowers on the way to the finish line mid Jeroen Hurdes. well you're having to finish on his own but still it's well done you're still a legend only waffles no flowers my friend well done Jeroen. And another one of our fantastic teams from Iceland on the way. Here they come, making some serious noise. Team Midgard with Christine Sveinsdottir and Björk Anadottir. Typical Icelandic weather here in the mountains in Graubünden today. As they say about Iceland, right? It's the Tuscany of the North. So the official 
end of stage one, the maximum stage time will be eclipsed at 4.30 this afternoon. 51 kilometers, 2,000 meters of climbing for the riders in our race village. They know exactly what I'm talking about. And while typically at a mountain bike race, we talk a lot about the climbing, at Swiss Epic, the descent is also so important. Because often it's the descents that catch out the riders. They're technical, they're long, they're steep. And they require 100% concentration. Some of our stages, we have more descending than we have climbing. And then you know it's going to be a big, big day on the bike. Going back to the Scandinavian countries here down at the finish line in Lenzerheide. Hey, uh, Denmark. Rolskov, a mountain bike team number three. We're saying Tilke, Erik Hansen, and Kim Fredriksen. And let's give it up for Singapore. Once again, another fantastic team from Singapore with Joshua Chia and Justin Ho.
Here we go, talking about Singapore, they have arrived. What a Josh, what a Justin. Another one of the 667 teams. This is Here we go, Gabriel and Billy, Billy Servantain and Gabriel Jordan, RNA cycle and run, hope there was no running, hope it was only cycling, oh, a little bit of walking we won't tell anybody, welcome to Rug, like a beer drink, alles is more beer
red, white, and blue. Robert Lee and Greg Hamilton. Our label designs. It should be unbelievable designs. What a job, friends of the USA. A little bit of rock and roll for Rob and Greg. A huge welcome. Another one of our 667 teams. Look at you guys getting it done. Representing Singapore. What well on David Tay and Eugene Lowe. How low can you go, Eugene? Good job. You had to go high, high, high before you could come low, low, low. People at home are busy going, geez, with that poor KP, keep quiet. to work up four more riders team h and h and team constantia well it's eduardo salerno and martin porta argentina venga 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 amigos hola compadres como estas muy bien si sí, muy bien viva argentina viva eduardo and martin welcome to the last lion and the Swiss Epic newbie, Mike Nixon, over the line with Mark Van Veen, Team Constantia. I wonder where they live. Well, I'm boys.
25 minutes of official race time left for our Spa Swiss Epic here in Graubünd in its Lenzheide. Day one, and we've been celebrating stage one of the 51 kilometers, 2,000 meters of climbing. Tomorrow we leave Lenzheide and we make our way in the direction of Sankt Moritz. It's going to be incredible, spectacular, scenic, but a hard earned transfer stage as we race our way from Lenzerheide to St. Moritz. A couple of teams are still flowing on the trails downhill through the back kingdom and making their way towards the finish line. Stick around and help us bring them home. Insgesamt noch sieben Teams auf der Strecke unterwegs, vier auf dem Weg vom Campingplatz hier rüber. Drei Teams, für die wird es hinten raus eng, noch nicht allzu lange vorbei an der 40 Kilometer Markierung. Aber es geht ja bergab auf diesem wunderschönen Trail hier in Richtung Ziel. Und noch haben wir 20 Minuten bis zur maximalen Etappenzeit am heutigen Tag. Und dann freuen wir uns jetzt natürlich schon auf die morgige Etappe. Der Start um 8 Uhr für die 81 Kilometer, 2350 Höhenmeter. Es wird historisch durch oder dran vorbei am UNESCO-Welterbe an der historischen Eisenbahn. Geht's rauf auf den Abula Pass auf 2312 Meter und dann eine fliegende Abfahrt auf traumhaften Trails mit Berms. Mit kleinen Kickern drin, allem was dazu gehört, um Spaß zu haben, hier in wunderschönen Graubünden und dann der langgezogene Anstieg zum Schluss hinten raus, da wo die Attacken dann nochmal gesetzt werden, bei den Spitzenteam in Richtung Zielort, in Richtung Sand.
Moritz. The legend, the living legend, the one and only Lee Strawbridge, the road ID beating. That's because James and Ed are still in the US of A. Lee says the only biking he's done this calendar year is five miles. But if you look at him, he looks like an elite athlete. Riding with Justin. Come on, Lee. A little bit of red, white, and blue on the finish line. A road ID beating. B for brilliance. Hey, Lee. What am my brother? Always with a big smile. Good job, Justin, for putting up with Lee so long. I bet you, I bet you, James and Ed from uh, from the Road ID A team are watching it at the moment. So a big shout out to the USA. Big shout out, James. Big shout out, Edward. Missing you guys here. Um, I don't want to rub it in, but it's beautiful blue skies, sunshine, no wind, perfect temperature. What a day.
So we're very much in uh, dangerous territory for the teams that are still out there in terms of eclipsing the maximum time allowed to complete the stage. The last group started 9.30 this morning. That means the last starters need to be over the finish line by half past four this afternoon. Six teams, and Mr. Tilsheng tells me, are still out of the course. Wir gehen rein in die letzte Viertelstunde am heutigen Tage hier bei der ersten Etappe des Spa Swiss Epic 2023. Im wunderschönen Lenzer Heide hier. Das Rennen, das über fünf Etappen einmal quer durch Graubünden geht. Losgegangen ist es heute hier im Bike Kingdom und wir haben die letzte Viertelstunde der maximalen Etappenzeit am heutigen Tage angebrochen. Und noch kämpfen sechs Teams da draußen auf der Strecke. Um das rechtzeitige Finish hier nach der ersten Etappe, um morgen wieder mit dabei zu sein. Ab 8 Uhr für die 81 Kilometer und 2350 Höhenmeter in Richtung St. Moritz. Six riders, three teams on the course, never ask, argue with the boss. It's till you're about to get married. So, so you don't going to argue with Annika, don't argue with Phoenix. a song for all our Scandinavians, many of whom we have racing, a little bit of Norway, a little bit of aha, what a song, what a banging hit from the 80s, take on me, three teams, six riders, we want to get them to the finish line, 10 minutes of official stage time left for the last three teams. I'm looking through the beautiful wildflowers at the back end of Lenzerheide with the magnificent high mountains that surround us. And we keep our fingers crossed. We want those riders on our finish line.
So if you're looking for the race office, it's that black tent with the big, bold white font that says race office. Hello, race office. We're going to send you people. We, we, we want you to be busy. Uh, all the riders here, just go to the race office and please ask stupid questions. So, Tilshank, I've got a funny idea. These last three teams, these last six riders, have formed a grupetto, and they're helping each other, they're inspiring each other, they're motivating each other, and they'll probably come down the finish line together. Maybe, maybe there's a last-minute sprint, but I reckon those last three teams will finish pretty much together. Und ich glaube, dass sie jetzt gerade auf dem Weg über die Zeitnahme bei 48 Kilometer sind, denn einer ist schon drüber. Es muss in genau diesem Moment passieren, dass sie reingehen in die letzten drei Kilometer. So if we were at the Absegay Bebek, we'd be waiting for Marius Hörter and Adele right now. Because we know that when they get here, you know, almost all the riders are done. Marius Hörter always, uh, Marius and Adele always shepherding those last athletes to the finish line of the stage it's like when you run the comrades marathon they've got these buses and you get the 12 hour bus and if you stick with them you'll finish the comrades marathon A women's team finished now. And we could go, oh, here she comes. So I was working in a race a while back where the announcer called it the reverse top 10 for the final 10 athletes. But here we are, we are riding in teams of two, so it's the reverse top three. Waiting for the reverse top three. Here we go. Time to celebrate them as soon as they come through. Unsere drei letzten Finalen, die gemütlichsten Teams am heutigen Tage auf der Strecke unterwegs. Auf dem Weg in Richtung Ende dieser wunderschönen Abfahrt vom Topf ab hinten runter hier in Richtung Campingplatz das Stück durch den Wald und dann rein ins Ziel hier in der Lenzer Heide
Watch out for the Wahoo clock. And that Wahoo clock is ticking towards the final countdown. Three and a half minutes for the final three teams. Stage one, day one, the 2023 Spa, Swiss Epic, Graubünde. This is usually where the commissaires are visible on the finish line. In case teams have missed and eclipsed the maximum stage time allowed. And then the number boards are cut off and the red board becomes a blue board. They get to continue riding, but they will not be official finishers. They won't get a medal and they won't be in the results. The final countdown. Aber Formel 1 kann man jetzt schon sagen, drei Minuten vor der maximalen Etappenzeit. Es war ein wunderschöner Tag, es war ein spektakulärer Tag mit einer traumhaften Strecke. Großartiges Rennen an der Front bei den UCI-Profis, großartiger Kampf hinten bei den gemütlicheren Teams und das Ganze erst der Kickoff, der Start zu fünf traumhaften Etappen. Einmal quer durch Graubünden, St. Moritz, Davos. Das unsere nächsten Zielorte in den nächsten Tagen. I've got a funny feeling too that we've lost you as an announcer. Was you really thinking about coming back to ride the Spa Swiss Epic next year? <laughs> in my mind, I've, I've ridden the trails a hundred times today. I'm telling you, right now I'm back on that descent for tomorrow's early start down to that river, which is going to be beautiful if there's still no wind. If there's wind. Riders are heading straight into those brutal headwinds that are channeling along the river, followed by a 22-kilometer climb up Albula Pass, challenging the riders. So to all the riders in the race village, you didn't hear talk about that 22-kilometer climb tomorrow. We're not going to mention it. We'll talk about historic railway, beautiful views, World Heritage Site. Yes. That's what you're experiencing. Heidi and cows and chocolates. Everything, cowbells all the way. A final countdown, stage one, Lenzerheide, Lenzerheide, 51 kilometers, 2,000 meters of climbing. A final, final countdown on day one of five. Three teams, six riders, and they've got one minute left. Forty-five seconds remain. Thirty seconds for the final three teams, the final six riders. Fifteen seconds and no rider in sight. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. But we're going to be here for those teams. Because despite missing the time, they will have completed every centimetre of every metre of every kilometre of both the riding and the climbing. Lekker aan vir julle twee, sien julle morgen, lekker slaap. Bikkie bier drink, a pizza of drie, tot morgen he. So the riders leaving the race village now, we'll see you tomorrow morning. For those of you that are still sticking around, make sure you're here to help us welcome those last six riders, those last three teams. We know that they've still got the fire inside. Und Paul, wenn die letzten drei Teams auf der Strecke unterwegs sind, was denen dies geschafft haben, bleibt es Füße hoch, gutes Schweizer Essen erholen, rausbleiben aus der Sonne. Der Bach da vorne durch den Wald zum Campingplatz rüber, schön kühl, können sich die Beine ein bisschen erholen und ansonsten 
früh schlafen, die Route für morgen anschauen und vor allem freuen. Denn garantiert, wenn du dir das anschaust, diese Strecke morgen, ich weiß, ich weiß, ich bin schon wieder fast auf dem Fahrrad yeah, unterwegs. You might find me on the bike rocking up tomorrow rather than on the microphone. Well, I'll tell you what, we will mic you up like we do Stefan Zahm and Thomas D. And we'll send you out there on a bull's bike. So what would you think of all the Swiss food that you know? Would you recommend a raclette fondue as a wonderful recovery meal? Lots of protein from the, from the cheese and lots of bread for the carbohydrates. I really, really think as much as I love Swiss fondue or raclette, oh, as we got, got the next rider. on the finish line. With the number 157, one of our Singapore riders. Solo to the line, but he's smiling. And his teammates, all the riders from Singapore, give him a scream, give him a shout. I don't, I don't think raclette or Swiss fondue would be my first choice, because you'll feel that cheese on, you know, the climb that we don't talk about. That is part of the route tomorrow. What that 22 kilometer climb after you've been into a block headwind along the river, that one. That's exactly the one. But you won't, you won't even feel it because the views are so stunning. I somehow think you and I missed the memo which says, please motivate and inspire the riders. I think we missed that memo. No, no. In, in mountain bike terms, you know, 22 kilometer climb, that translates into amazing views. Stunning single trail, like manicured single trail descent with berms and jumps and little kickers. It's like literally, it's like an endless bike park they're descending after that peak. So that's what you want to focus on. What are the things that if I say Switzerland to, what comes to mind? So I'll give you one example, Switzerland, Swiss Army knife. Mountains. Mountains, okay. Uh, Heidi. Fondue. Um, chocolate. Hard to understand language. <laughs> uh, Tilshink in his first ever. Spass was epic, trying so hard to get fired so that he can ride it, ride it next year instead. <laughs> Ooh, I got one more. Mannerschnitte. That's very Austrian. I only get, ever get that in Austria. Nobody's oh, really? Ever, nobody's ever given me Mannerschnitte in Switzerland. It was just another attempt to get fired. But I really like the Swiss race office because they're like Iron Man Switzerland, the race office. The fridge is always full of chocolate. Always. Always. This time they had Haribo. Typical Swiss. What about Rivella? Which I believe we were serving for our riders at the finish line. And you know Rivella comes from a cow? Not entirely. Parts of Rivella come from a cow. No, it does. It's, it's a yeah. cow syrup. It doesn't go straight from the cow into the bottle. No, it doesn't, but it is an extract. The original product comes from a cow. For those of you listening at home, just Google Rivela, R-I-V-E-L-A. It's a clear, cool drink. has a taste you have to um, get used to. Huge, popular, massive drink in Switzerland. Just Google it and Google what it's made of. But when I think Switzerland, I also think vertical coffee, always. Uh, we have riders coming through the trees. Here we go. Two riders together. Singapore. Another one of our teams from Singapore. Here we go. With Lok Hong Yu and Lee Hon Kei. Screams of delight from the singing Singaporeans. Do you know what one of the things is I'm really, really excited about tomorrow? What, the train track and the Albula Pass and the views and the 22-kilometer climb? Well, that's sure, but I was more thinking 
What's the Chia Vita special going to be for tomorrow? Well, today it's buy two, two T-shirts and get an accessory free. They can't hear us because they parked the mobile home between us and them. But uh, I have no doubt it'll be another brilliant special tomorrow from Chia Vita. The logic consequence would be buy two accessories and get a T-shirt free. But we'll find out tomorrow. Igor. Wir haben noch ein Team und einen Solo-Rider, ein Individual auf der Strecke, draußen unterwegs. Der Individual-Finisher auf dem Weg zwischen Kilometer 48 und der Finishline. Und das letzte verbliebene Team auf der Strecke warten wir noch. Sie sind zwischen Kilometer 40 und 48 in der Abfahrt auf den Trails. Well, we are Spot Specific Operations and Logistics Team are getting ready because this race village has to move and so will the riders they'll be making their way from Lenzerheide to St. Moritz tomorrow big stage more than 80 k's of riding more than two and a half thousand meters of climbing and as we get ready for day two of conquering the Alps One team, two riders. Out of the 300 teams, the 600 riders that started this morning between 9 and 9.30. Final two riders. We need to bring them to the finish line here in Lenzerida, to the finish line of stage one to complete day one. They won't be official finishers, and hopefully they will start tomorrow, but they will start with the blue number board, not with the red one.
that's wonderful advice for all the riders. You've got to keep your head, but head up. No matter what happens, no matter how tough it gets, no matter how much you're suffering, it's the way to succeed in life. Finish what you start. Never give up and keep your head up. Irina, vielen Dank. Das Waldhaus, Spitze. Dankeschön. Merci vielmals.
Are we ready on the finish line? Our final solo finisher. Oh, look at you. From Singapore with the number 154. What a pull. What a day it's been by you back in Linzerida. I'm sure that's been an education and a baptism of note about the Alps. The sweet motorbikes are coming off the routes. These are our medics. They say there's two more riders. Nur noch zwei auf der Strecke, oder? Drei. Drei noch. Wirklich. Two plus sweep. Ah, super. Danke schön. I hope you enjoyed the trails on your KTMs and your Husqvarnas. Our medic team, merci vielmals for the great work that you do. Two riders and the broom on the way to the finish line. Two more riders, Hansi. And kind of backdrop near. Nine. Could I sport or? Two riders and our sweep is what remains. Two riders and the broom. Two final riders out of 600 that started. Stage ended at 4.30 now, nine minutes before five. But we stay here, that is the spirit. We stay, we wait, we respect, we welcome. One final team out of 300 teams that started this morning.
final team, the final two riders with 2,000 meters left. Two more kilometers to get to the finish line. Lee, you're all right? You're still alive? Tilchek, if you hadn't ridden a bicycle for six months, and if you'd had surgery eight months ago, and if your longest ride before today's stage was a little warm-up yesterday of 13 miles, which is what, 20 Ks, do you think you would have finished today? Oh, no, I probably would have started because I'm not smart. Well, I, that I, lead I, I don't... The same. Lee also says, I'm not very smart. Yeah, clearly. He says, it's not the smartest thing I've ever done, but he did today. Lee, good job. And when he finishes tomorrow, he's doubled his mileage for the year. Yeah, but, you know, you, do you know why he finished? Because he's a rock star. Because he's also not smart enough to realize that it's not smart what he did today. No, 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 no. Look, he's an endurance hero. He knows what he's doing. That Theragun's going to work really hard this week. Good job, Lee. So one of the two riders has yet to pass the 48 kilometer mark. One has, one hasn't.
the corner. And onto that finish straight with a smile. Yes, it's been a rough day. The grimace becomes a smile. But here you are from Singapore. Every centimeter of every meter of every kilometer of the riding and the climbing. Well, actually, you know that the population of Singapore has halved because the other half of Singapore owing the riders finish a tent right now. So I got to give full credit to Till Shank. That was his, his joke. A very good. Quite funny for a German. Team Singapore, I want you all on the start line tomorrow morning, yeah? Deal? All of you. Even your friend who's only just finished now. And your other friend who's still somewhere in, in the bike kingdom. He has passed the 48 kilometers. He's got three more to go. Three more kilometers for the final rider. One final rider. And the broom and the sweep. One final rider. Probably with about two kilometers left. And all of Singapore, you need to leave the tent and you need to come to the finish line. All of Singapore, I need you on the finish line barriers. Yeah, all of you. Well, I want some, I want an audience. And I'm sure you can tell me, what's the name of the rider? Aziz. Aziz. That doesn't sound very Singaporean. He's from Malaysia. He's a Malay. Okay. Okay. Yes, of course. Correct. Singapore, yes. Wonderful, all-inclusive, everybody counts. What does the 667 stand for? You knew I had to ask. The spirit of competition, 667, is that what it means? 
Your friends are laughing, so I think maybe you're lying. Yeah, I'm not and sure it's, I believe Do you that. realize it's pretty close to the number of the devil? Shame, Tilshink. Tilshink has just run out of energy. He stole some salty pretzels. <laughs> do you know how many riders put their hand in that bowl already? <laughs> Okay, Singapore, I've been to your country once. I was there for the Standard and Chartered Marathon, and it blew my socks off. What a beautiful country. What incredible people. Amazing cuisine. Phenomenal architecture. Super clean. But where did you ride your bicycles? It's flipping hot all the time, and you have no mountains. So what did you do? You, you rode the emergency exits of the tall the stairways of the tall apartment buildings in Singapore. Eh? Is, that what you, is that how you train? Now, don't stop believing is all I can tell you. Don't stop believing. So Team 667 from Singapore. I'm glad it's not 666. That would be dangerous. Uh, stick around because your mate has got about 1,500 meters to go. Yeah, 1,500 meters. Aziz. Come on, Aziz. We're getting ready to welcome Aziz, our final rider who's been out there 41 minutes more than the maximum stage time. Ouch. Somebody's going to have to, he's going to need a massage. Yeah? He's going to need, his bottom is going to be sore, and he's going to need a massage. His legs as well, his calf muscles, his glutes, his hamstrings, and his sense of humor is going to need a massage as well. So please look after him. Aziz. When two riders come walking through the forest and make you think, oh, it's our last. No, it's not the last rider. Okay. Thanks for the, for the little false finish. We are waiting for Aziz. Part of a big contingent that have joined us from Singapore. So let me guess, when you do your training, you actually leave the island. You go away for long weekends and stuff like that. Yeah. You go to Malaysia. Yeah. Yeah, fair enough. So when I was there for the Standard and Chartered Marathon, like I had to wake up at midnight to start the race at 2 a.m. And by 6 a.m. we were finished having breakfast. It was hilarious. It's a little bit warm in Singapore. You're right. Even in winter. Yeah. You don't have winter. I know, it's on the equator, it's always summer. Yeah, I know. Humid and hot and amazing and awesome. The godfather to my son is in Singapore. Yeah. Francis Lee, godfather to my son. Yeah. yeah. So I have a small connection to your beautiful island. Are you being funny all night now? It's all right now, all night long. What, how's it going? It's all right. DJ Dane Lee with the final tracks for our final finisher. One of the medics is on a motorbike going back on the course. No, he's not, okay, he's, he's done. Er Zermatt, merci vielmals. Ja, geh schlafen bis morgen. Merci vielmals. Wir warten auf unseren letzten Fahrer auf der Strecke. Teil unseres Teams hier aus Singapur 667. Ein letzter Wackerer Fahrer noch auf der Strecke unterwegs. 
circa ein Kilometer, bis er hier im Ziel ist, maximal sollte es noch sein. Dann haben wir sie alle durch und dann geht es morgen weiter. Der Start um 8 Uhr in die zweite Etappe, dann von Lenzerheide hier nach St. Moritz. 81 Kilometer, 2350 Höhenmeter und Paul natürlich wie heute auch bei schönstem Sonnenschein. Natürlich, bei schönstem Sonnenschein, Sonnenschein, ganzen Tag, ab Start bis zum Ende Linserei der Richtung St. Moritz Ah, keep forgetting us. Let's be speaking English. Yes, gonna be beautiful sunshine all day long tomorrow. And it's all right now as we wait to see the figure of Aziz. And Aziz has been chased by the gentleman with the broom, the sweep. Yes. Und Paul, das Gute ist, St. Moritz liegt da. Das heißt, jetzt wär's Rückenwind. Ja, super. One or two speed bumps in the way. Kleiner. So Team Singapore, did, did you hear Tim Schenk? He was talking about the 22 kilometer climb tomorrow. Why are you all dropping your heads? Where did the smiles go? You're not going home today, my friend. This is stage one. No, you're not flying home. You're going to come back tomorrow morning. No, you're coming back. No, no, no. Remember, the six, this, you are probably all very successful gentlemen. The secret to success is to finish what you started. You know that better than me. I will see you all tomorrow morning in K Batch. Yeah, at 8.30. It's a deal. Hey, but the good news about tomorrow's stage is almost, almost all downhill and tailwinds. It's, all, it's basically a recovery stage. You finally got the memo about positive messages, inspiration, and motivation. Lovely. It took me a minute. A scream and a shout from Team Singapore. Bang the boards. So that's why we got hard boards. You bang the boards. Come on. All everybody from Team Singapore, everybody, let's get you on the finish line. Bang the boards. The harder you bang the boards, the easier you go up the climbs tomorrow. It's a scientifically proven fact. Aziz, come on, brother. There's Aziz. Aziz, remember the smile, otherwise you're going to do another lap, another 51Ks. Another 2,000 me. Aziz is smiling. Yeah! Well done, Aziz. Finishing what you started. There we go. That is it for stage one, day one. Thank you, gentlemen. See you tomorrow morning, bright and early. To the broom, to the sweep. Well done to you. To the shank, thank you. DJ Daimling, thank you. To the volunteers, thank you. To the Spa Specific Crews, thank you. Bis morgen, Schlafgutz.